or for something for the gents these are absolutely fabulous now look at the boards when I show you that you you've got so many different elements there uh, look at here and of course what what they've done is so that you can then um, 3d him up like his arms separate and his legs separate but look at all the extras because you get the pots flower pots flowers here's our cyclist he's looking very determined do you think he's doing the Tour de France again you get in all of those lovely birds I love legend in lycra, I think that's brilliant. Holy mackerel, it's your birthday. Look, even down to the detail of the little tails. There's the fish jumping about. Um, I'm hooked, love that. And then of course you've got, look, the extras. If you want to make little thank you cards. Uh, here again is your base and you've got those lovely ones there. Fabulous. Uh, so it's only 12 pounds and 49 pence. And again, you can make, I'm pretty sure it is, three of each lovely one. It okay, it's £12.49, pence. that's all you're paying. 312178 is the item number. Okay, over to you then, Leonie. Thank you, my darling. It does say you've got uh, the packaging looking. there. Yeah. And I know the packaging, I'm sure it says three of each. This pack contains eight hand illustrated A4 sheets printed mm -hmm. on Buckingford, 300 is. Um, uh, mm, mm, mm. I will keep reading. She's keeping reading. Yeah. Um, okay, so what I have done, I have prepped this. So I've got um, all my elements ready to make our fantastic um, the, the Lycra Hero. So what you do, you colour it in first of all. Obviously I've done all my colouring in for this one, cut it out ready. Um, and then it's just a case of assembling. So you take this strip. Now this strip they'll have the lines for scoring okay so you'll score all those lines you will get instructions the little tabs fit on the card like this now they've designed it like this so obviously it falls flat so you're making sure you get that really nice finish so i've taken that off there and i'm just using the strong red liner tape here I'm popping that there so that will fall perfectly like that. You can use your, um, your, your tool just to make sure that sticks down. Still got my tool, ladies, our Cool Cats craft. Oh, I yeah. Know, every time I, 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 I haven't lost it, I feel happy. Um, so we're bringing this here now, like this. That is going there. Hold on. Like that. And squidge that down. They're not pre scored. You do have to score them because they come on a flat piece of Buckford, Buckingford. So already you can see that is going to stand up. Cool. Ain't it cool? And it squidges down. Yeah. So then all you have to do is decorate. Um, so what you're going to do, you've got an extra leg to give it that <laughs> dimension. <laughs> um, so you pop that on there, like that. I've put it on 3D form to give you that dimension. I've got a little arm. So the little arm is going to go here, like so. So he's holding on. Look at that. Ain't that cool? Yes. I love this. Yeah. And then you've got your balloons. Now your balloons, I'm going to use my adhesive. Where's my doodah gone? What are you after? A little tool that I had that I was putting on it. I'll put it on with my finger and then highly regret it. Oh, yes, yeah, they're right in front of me. Thank you. Always helps having an extra pair of eyes, <laughs> doesn't it? But me being me. Um, right then, so I need to let you know that we've managed to get just a couple, and I mean a couple more, of the one day special. Uh, they'll be on extended delivery for you. Is that from the, from the 6th of October? Oh, 5th, okay, 5th of October. Uh, details are on screen, 639035. Hooray! Okay, so the balloons. The balloons are coming out of his seat, okay? They're coming off his seat. Right. They haven't been tied to his bum. They're coming out <laughs> off his seat, okay? Because I quite like that. Um, and then you've got um, 3D balloons. So the 3D balloons, I've already put my foam pad on there. Um, but it's a really nice, I like using this foam tape because it's really thin. So it allows me to, to add the layers. So you can have it really fine if you want. But if you want extra dimension, you wrap it round like that, which I dare I really like. So pop.
popping the balloons on there. I have cut the centre out and I was thinking, oh, I'm layering that. I hope it sticks, but it'll stick. Mm. I've then cut um, the seagulls. So one of the seagulls is going to go on here. Got a hair there. Like <laughs> is that Dave? So cute, probably. Mm -hmm. So that little seagull I'll have flying here. Oh, decisions, decisions. I haven't even got much time and I'm faffing. See, these seagulls are happy seagulls, nice seagulls, yes. not like the ones in Brighton. Not scary seagulls. No. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, they haven't got the attitude. These are happy. They just want to fly with him and, and you know, cheer him on. You can do this. You get this. And then that one's going to go behind, like so. I absolutely adore this. Isn't that cute? Yes. Yeah. You've got another gear older. Yeah. Because I thought, yeah, they're just, aren't they? Those I, girls. They're so clever. I couldn't come up with things like that. No, me neither. Another gear older. So I'm going to have that there. I've then got these beautiful little embellishments. So you've got tons of embellishments. Absolutely. I mean, they just absolutely they ram these kits full of goodness yeah you know there's so many gorgeous elements i'm gonna pop a little bit of glue on this one. Oh, a lot of glue leona okay so a little bit of glue there mm -hmm. like that and then i've got another one of my little discs i like these yeah i think these are really pretty and that one is going to go there like that. And then another gear order, but this one is over the hill. Yeah. So because it's over the hill, I want this going over the hill. Yes. Yeah, like that, sense. you see. So see what we're doing there. <laughs> so with this one, good grief, this is busy as well. Um, two thirds of the stock has gone with this. It has only been on, I think it's only been on once before, so. hasn't it, Alex? Yeah, I think so. And it sold out that time as well, didn't it? Big um, time. Yeah. It flew out, I think. I'm pretty sure it did, anyway. I, I, I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. I'm sure the lady said it for, it had um, sold out. So, yeah, again, back in stock now, but absolutely flying there. Yay! Look at that! He's so cool. It's so cool, isn't and, it? And I love the seagulls I flying with I him. Just, I just absolutely adore it. Yeah. I just think it's such good fun. I've not hardly used any of the embellishments that you get. So because stick them on another card, another exactly. project. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, there were more ducks. There were more. Um, there were more sense um, sentiments. There's loads of extra goodies. Yeah. So it, yeah, you've got tons in those kits, and for that price, mm -hmm. twelve forty nine. Twelve forty nine. I mean, that's... imagine if you're selling them. I yeah. mean, you know, because you can really personalise them every time. Absolutely. Colouring them in differently. You can do tons with them. Amazing. Love it. Absolutely love them. Um, right then, so I think to finish off, do you want me to show samples? Yes. Yay. Let's do that because the design team are amazing. So we've literally only got a few left on, well, right, we're already 40% wow. of the restock stock gone. Oh, this, this way round. There you okay. go. So he's on his side. So we've got our fabulous um, uh, goat there. I love this one because these look like showgirls. Yeah, don't they? Yeah. They look like they're in can, can Yeah, that's just <laughs> brilliant. And then here's our wonderful pheasant. I love that. Look at the yeah, details. We've got the raised, wonderful um, pheasant. Now this one, we were saying earlier, weren't we, the amount of work that yes. must have gone into this yeah. is incredible because it does look like it was all masked off. Yeah, that is just phenomenal, isn't it? Isn't it? Mm. Yeah, and I love it's the three main characters as well. Yeah, and I love how the goat looks kind of shy and it's just peeping over. Oh yeah, don't it look cute? Yeah, that's so sweet, lovely, so pretty. I like this goat because you can you could tell it wouldn't eat your scarf. Absolutely, it wouldn't, it wouldn't. eat your scarf. I mean, it might, <laughs> but it wouldn't mean it. It wouldn't. It wouldn't, right. it wouldn't do it with intent. It would just do it by accident. <laughs> Small problem. <laughs> now we're approaching. <laughs> half the stock of the restocked stock gone uh, so it is 44 pounds and 97 pence or of course you can spread that cost if you want to two payments of 22 pounds and 49 pence 639035 so what what are you thinking for four o'clock because there's not a lot of stuff I left. don't really know okay. but so you'll still be here well I'll still be here Excellent. Um, yeah we'll we'll come up with something I'm quite sure but check your baskets out otherwise yeah. you'll miss out yeah thank you Miss thank Leone you, Miss we'll see you after the break We have got the lovely Lou and she is bringing picture this, followed by Emma with Clever Prints. And after that, we've got designs by Jubilee Fabrics.
Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we are from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to a chamber too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on the chamber. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. Over time, I want Craftoscope products to build you a complete library of dyes, stamps and stencils which you'll enjoy using whether you're new to crafting or you're a seasoned crafter. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the Chanda.
Well, hello there, hello and welcome. Welcome to Fabulous Air. We're talking picture this year and this hour. And you are feasting your eyes there on some brand new stamps that we've got. The wonderful range, the addition to the picture this range. And we're talking about railway cuttings, which is a little bit of an education to me because I had to do a little bit of research with regards to these. But um, we will talk about that as the hour progresses. Now we've got a lovely face, a new face. Well, not technically a new face because you have been here before with picture this. I have one learned? time before, yes. yes. And that, I love this when you were actually working with the stamps, you've kind of got a different slant on it to, to what we've seen previously. Obviously, Andy creating that amazing artwork that yes. we're going to be talking about. And, well. and, and they've been around, picture this, since 2018, and Andy's yeah. got a wonderful eye for the perspective, you yes. know, and the depth, and building up scenes and things like that. Yeah. Um, and obviously, colour. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, so I was asked if I'd have a play yeah, with them. Yeah. So that's brilliant. Oh. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it because it's, it is something a little bit different, and you can mm -hmm. create lots of different use them in lots of different ways well this is it and andy's very much a storyteller mm. with his stamps i think this is the key thing because you will know the range i am sure and of course you'll know fabulous andy you're watching hello there and of course nigel who comes along and joins us as well and what you've got here you've got an addition and it's kind of like a modular system really with the stamps you'll notice that we look at these you will see that the stamps just down at the front there they've got numbers so it's almost like collector numbers um, and none of these numbers are replicated but they're adding to the range and there's quite a big range as you can see from the numbers that are there and as you look back do check out the brand section on our website. You will find all the numbers preceding these, which will be all sorts of different um, things, different elements that you will see. And there's cottages there, there's old cinemas, there's all sorts of things there, allowing you to build up the story. And we can see here we've got the original artwork here that Andy has created, and this is kind of where the stamp started from. But of course, the stamps aren't the size that Andy's worked with here, but the amount of detail is still in there. Oh, the amount of detail is still in there, and they're also. I think they're beautifully done that if you want to put in the detail that Andy's got in, you can mm -hmm. do. If you just want to do a, a general colour wash, yes. you can do. Because the line art is so strong, it, it doesn't matter what your colouring skills actually Very are. You so. can still see all the wonderful detail from the stamps. Well, this is it. And the line that um, Andy lays down, I mean, here you can see one of those stamps, which is definitely kind of a modular element, because when you'll see with some of the finished samples that we've got, you could quite easily stamp this, stamp it to the left, stamp it to the right, and you've got a row of houses. Although it is a repeat of the stamp, mm. it still looks like they've got different houses. And of course, when you're changing the colours out of roofs and doors, they, they do have their own personality. Totally. And also seasons. Yeah. Changes the way Good things point, look yeah. as well. Um, um, one but of the things I love is these kind of like end of stamps. Yeah, they're end of stamps. So you can add them to the terrace at the end of, um, so you've got the washing line one side and you've got like that conservatory the other side. I love those. But I also think that, you know, they would make really good elements for a gatefold. Yes. So yeah, you could have them either yeah, side yeah. of a gatefold as well. And there you go. You can see that little conservatory down there and the, the washing line on the opposite side over there with the little post box in there. Love it. Um, and, of course, you've got additional elements like your lamppost, as you can see, which is perfect if you're doing a Christmas scene. Got characters in with these as well, Lynn. I know. <laughs> um, which is something new for Picture This. I mean, well, they've always brought characters because they have the Terry and June and they've got the little yes. people. I love the little people. <laughs> They're very, very versatile. But we've got the characters so they can... Th be standalone, so they've been designed to be standalone, okay. or you can fit them within your actual images. Yeah. Um, so you, it's you've got the choice there: fit them in and create, like you were saying, the whole picture, the whole scene, mm -hmm. or use them as standalone by themselves. Yeah. They're not on their own though. They've got little furry friends as well. You can see down here the cats. I love the way that cat is literally trying to get away from somewhere. Whether it's the, the little guy here on the go-kart, which gosh, do you remember those go-karts made out of pram wheels and they're most uncomfortable. I mean the kids nowadays, they don't know they're born. They've got I'm, these oh, wheelie things pallets, that they get on it? that they recharge. I know, you get little bits of wood, wouldn't you? Pram That's wheels, it, yeah. anything, washing line, well, uh, my no brake. My brother used to call it an onkonk because he didn't have a horn and he used to go on onk as he went along but there you go wanting to go off on his on conk but of course they all come together to create that story and that's what you've got here so what i've done there is i've actually taken the houses stamps and the first time i did it i've added the ends to the first block of stamps oh, okay, but then yeah. I've, I've stamped the three houses again yeah. to carry on going that, yeah and then i've added the actual characters in as well so you can make a huge scene if you want to but you could actually if you break that down into an A5 card. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, yeah. I've, I've stamped it so you can see absolutely all the detail. So I've got like the little dog in there, the cat, we've got the skater girl, we've got the, the guy on the go-kart. Yes. So you've got all the different elements in there. You, 
but you pick and choose which bits, you know, talk to you. Yes, and this is the beauty, and of course, being a modular system, you will have elements from previous sets of stamps that are going to work really, re uh, really well with these. But of course, you've got the detail within these. And that's something else that I always remember Andy for, is when he's actually come um, and worked with this before, he's added in additional detail, because mm. of course, the lines that you've got lend themselves well to things like your micron pens. Micron this is pens, a fabulous stencils. Idea. Yeah, that's well. a good idea. Um, and, and all of those details yeah but your micron pens do your little bit of extra doodling extra little bit of stamping which love i it. love <laughs> um, really do make them their own but again the characters are strong enough for you to use them just by themselves as you can see there or stamp them out in a slightly different way i love this now this is working with some stamps we'll be showing with you with that fabulous kind of art deco look coming up but if you're making your obviously your artwork with these your dimensional cards and here you go this is kind of a bit of a slant when you were talking about things like your gatefold mm. cards using i love this idea look like they're going down a a slope there um talking about slopes i've just seen a fabulous little card to share with you and um, that you've got something interactive as well mm. love this idea look at that taking a little trundle along the road there a little slider uh with your slider cards and i think um oh is it luke lou collins who came with these stamps mm. and these dice um, i think a little while ago they might yeah. be on the website mm. yeah love that <laughs> so you've got the character there now that character looks very traditional i've actually used that in an art journal oh Okay, good idea. I like it. I'll show you. Loads and loads of different examples. I mean, the design team have created some absolutely amazing results. Now, they are available as a bundle with your saving. You've got £5 saving. They are available individually at £10.99. So, if you do want to kind of take them to uh, certain elements, then you can do. But, of course, the biggest saving is by going for them with the big bundle. You've got 19 stamps in there, 380812. And, of course, we are going to see these in action. Now, I touched on the numbers and the letters a few moments ago. We've got a nice set of numbers for you with that very much an art deco look about them um, and these are they now you've got a good collection within here i'm going to move them around onto their side a little bit actually which way around are we going i always get it the wrong way around 50 50 chance and i always get it the wrong way um now these are nice i mean you can see here let me just bring in we've got a bit of a white card to pop behind them maybe there you go does that show those up a little bit better there you've got a lovely lovely look to these they are aren't the kind they? of tall slender look with these which means i mean they were you could use it as a whole background. I like that they've got the ordinals as well. Yes. And you've yeah. got number, so yeah. you could do number 11. So if you, if you were doing it like idea, a new yeah. home card, yeah. you've got the number point, 11 there. Yeah. But like you say, they're a nice size and they're not fussy. Well, this is it, yes. They're, yeah, they're not fussy. But I like, you know, like the three, you've got the different versions of the three there. I, I love that. Love it. We did see a couple of examples, but there you go. You could be using them maybe on a birth card there, because as you mentioned, you've got the ordinals in there. I'm guessing at some point, did we have an alphabet font that worked with these? I don't know. We've not got them. Oh, we've got some, we've got them coming up. We've got some. Oh, it's not an alphabet. They're actually the greetings. So things like your happy days, your joy, congratulations, they're coming up. So yeah, we have got those coming up. But if you want to include the numbers, details are there on your screen there. And there you go. If I flip that one over, it shows you the alphabet that we've got coming up. Not the alphabet, the sentiments that we've got coming up in a few moments. If if you fancy getting hold of those, at just £10.99. And, and that's the standard price that you'll see for any of these stamp sets. So whether it's a bundle you're going for with a discounted price of the individuals, then you're looking at £10.99 per stamp set. These are some that you might have missed out on, so have a little look at these. This one, because of course we've got that railway cuttings um, element running through, this one is called Bits of Railway. And the idea being is you've got, again, those little modular elements that you can add. The same weight of line with those. So again, where your buildings end, you could be putting bridges in, place you could be putting lots of content lots of detail in place and that's the whole idea with this one this one's been a popular one and already a quarter of the stock has gone and you've got obviously an example that was showing you with regards to the houses there but maybe using it and i think this is a nice idea because it's kind of a sidestepper card where you have got obviously your main focal point from your radio and um, radio your railway cutting stamps that we've been featuring but adding in the additional details as you can see here and of course this stamp that we've got to the side there um, is going to be featured within this little set that we're looking at here six stamps in total ten pounds and 99 pence three eight one one four two keeping going with that railway theme you've got your bits of trains and here you go this is where you decide on what your train is going to be carrying are you going to have carriages there the open carriage the steam train you can see all those different elements there again just ten pounds and 99 pence saw some of those featuring on the front of that card a few moments
moments ago. And this one, if you've got anybody that you're making a card for who's a railway enthusiast, then absolutely brilliant. Um, nice open area as well, so maybe you can be stamping on the little train as well. Um, but from over 40% of the stock gone on this one, so yeah, a popular one, 1099-881-637. But of course, we're talking about a modular system. There have been lots and lots of stamps that have come before the ones we're featuring during the show. And this is where you can build up your scene. So if you're wanting to build up that kind of um, backdrop, then you can do that quite easy with these. Now, this is a nice one. Look at the car. Look at that classic car. Doesn't it look amazing? Love it. So you've got your classic style car with this on. A good size car as well. It's almost like a film star car, isn't it, that one? Um, and again, it's one that you're going to be able to use in loads and loads of different ways. I mean, you've got your foliage featuring on that one as well. Um, and this one is number 50. So if you are collecting these as time goes on, then you can use them. As, again, as you can see there, building up your foliage, building up your depth of character with your projects. And again, at 10.99, incredibly affordable. And of course, they're nice scenes that you can use with other stamps that you'll have in your collection as well from other uh, manufacturers another one that you might want to add into your basket is this one here so again you've got um, trubbery <laughs> trubbery right um, so you've got lots of kind of shrubbery featuring within this one um, at 19 is uh, well, number 19 as you can see being your collective number with regards to this one I know when Nigel was here last time and I was working with him I did suggest that he did like a collection um, a collector's card <laughs> that you could perhaps a PDF download and tick these off as you collect them whether they've done that or not I don't know but 77 Six three zero zero. Of course, you might have your own little collective book. And now it's called Trubbery Let and Right because everything is kind of going to the right. Guess what we've got coming up next? It's the one to the left. So here you go. You can see again five stamps on this one. So again, this is going to frame your piece. It's going to give that story detail. We've actually got them stamped out. So let me show you these side by side. So they're kind of back to front. Well, say back to front. I don't know. This one over here is your right. This one over here is your left. But of course, you can see they're very similar. Just flipped over um, but of course if you want it I've got to remember which way around they are so there you go you could be having them that way around if you wanted to, to frame move them back so as we get them into the right order for whoever comes along next to present your show um, oh, look, I just missed them there I and mean, I'm not going to mix them up um, 566422 if you want to go to the left as well now of course those wonderful sentiments that we saw a few moments ago we're sharing with you in the next two stamp sets again 1099 again incredibly affordable with regards to these ones and again I'm going to just bring in a little bit of black um, white cardstock should I say just so as you can see those the packaging doesn't make it entirely clear but you can see they've got your anniversary um, and love pride celebrate joy congratulations lovely font isn't it that one ten pounds and 99 pence seven stamps brilliant value for money and again we've got your happy days happy days in fact I'll bring it in that way because they're the same size stamps Lou's been very generous putting these together happy days wonderful marvelous um, birthday laughter and love and I love those kind of little kind of um, levitated O's within there. I just think it gives a really nice look. And there you go. You can see good size when you are working with them on your card bases. Again, 1099, very affordable, very much a collective set. And again, these have got numbers associated to them as well. So 345054 if you fancy getting hold of those. Now, something I've not been able to show you in the fresh is this on the lofty lamppost set. Now, this one's a set of three stamps. And again, we have touched on lampposts before, but if you want perspective, then you need different sizes, don't you? And that's exactly what you've got with these. So you can see the lantern aspect with these a little larger than some of the ones you may have seen previously. So that makes them perfect for you to use in the foreground when you're building up your scene. Um, and again, just a nice little set to add into your collection. And this one is set number 26. So if you fancy these, 237358. Now, Lou, we're going to come straight over to you for your demonstration. Right. Which one are you working with? I'm going to actually work with the houses, so I'm and I'm going to also work with. So I'm working with the regular cuttings and then the the additional bits to, to oh, create okay. a scene. Oh, lovely! And this is with. nice because this is seeing obviously your slant on working with these, <laughs> and it, it's nice because some people might not have come across these before. No, um, and it, it, they're easy sets to work with. Very. Very easy. I mean, there is snippability into them. You could decoupage them up, you could layer them up, depending on what your crafting style was. And they've the lovely crisp images. So I just want to, I'm just going to think, I'm going to put that there. And there's lots of detail in there in the windows. I mean, the windows have been left plain, but it, I mean, if you're really into your colouring, you could doodle in some little curtains behind the windows and things like that. And, you know, they would come out 
beautifully. Or little lights, you know, when you colour them up, if you were doing different scenes, they could have different lights That's on. That's a nice idea. So there's lots of different ways, you know, you can use them. So that's the main oh, image. Oh, look at that. That is amazing detail. And I'm, I'm using it on a quite heavy-duty, thick yeah. watercolour card. So this is the one that has the little conservatory. And I was only seen when you were doing going down the counter there that I thought, oh, do you know, I didn't think of it before. Um, as a gatefold, these little bits of details, yeah. you know, you can add on. Now, if, if it's easier, um, use your stamping platform. Okay. So if you take the acetate that you get with your stamps, I'll mm -hmm. just do this and I'll show you what I mean. Because sometimes layering up for people can be, you know, you f find it a little bit trickier. But we've got those bits See, there. look at that. That's amazing. And, but if you took your acetate, so if you had your stamping platform and I'm going to and you put your acetate in place, you can put your stamp on top, yeah. put your lid down, yeah. and then it's in the perfect place lined up because you've got point. your magnets. Yeah. So don't, I love <coughs> using the acetate sheets for those. So we've now got must do the other side as well. But you see, you could extend your street, couldn't you? Because I again, could. Have you got your acetate piece there for the three houses, just to show that if you did want to extend that design? So there you go. I mean, that looks amazing, doesn't it? You could keep going up the hill. You could keep going up the hill. I mean, I haven't had a... Oh, I've only just thought about it today, um, was this stamp set with the stamp set that they brought out with the harbour and the harbour scene, you yes. know, like the houses going down to the harbour well, with the harbour like wall. They are kind little kind of fisherman cottages, yeah. aren't they? I think they would look absolutely perfect with that, you know, create a dimensional mm. card that way. Right, so I want to line that up. They are very forgiving as well because, as you said, get your micron pens, doodle. Mm. You know, if you miss something, I think I've double stamped there, but yeah, look, that looks like I missed my block. That's okay. But it goes all together. I'm still going to use it because I have got a finished one as well. No problem. But, so they can all join together. Or it's like you say, you know, carry on the houses or carry on the houses going this way. There is so much you can do. Bring your little characters in like your cat and your dog. Now, what I want to do is, I'm just going to give it a quick blast because I've got treated myself to a new ink pad. Oh, I say, nice and juicy. You know, and it's just a little bit juicy. <laughs> That's not a problem at all. <laughs> we are busy for this set, incidentally. You can see on your screen there you are going to get all 19 of those brand new stamps. They are available individually as well, but most of you are going for them as a complete bundle, to be fair. I'm going to move that out of the way because I want to splash some water around. <laughs> you know, you want to splash them. I just want to wet the card. Now, I'm okay. using Bockingford as well. I love Bockingford. It's a Bockingford. card to work with, yeah. isn't it? It's... We have a variety of suppliers that do bring us Bocking food, which you can obviously search for. I know we've got the one day special show. I don't know if they've got it featured in there. I know Charlie's Crafts bring us um, Bocking food as well. Yeah, so, yeah. It, there's so You'll much. You'll find it online. Now, a lot of the, the sample cards that we've got are traditionally daylight. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, let's try something a little bit different. Okay. So I'm going to go the opposite end of the scale. Ooh, and nice. I want to go quite dark. Well, not. So We're I, not I, talking I, nighttime dark. No, yeah, completely just, dark. Not completely dark. That you know that. What was the point of stamping out the images? Dark <laughs> sort of thing. So I just want to build up, and I'm just going to keep doing it that way because um, I want it. I don't want to put my colour directly onto here because I want it quite a loose colour effect. So we've got that there. And then I want to quickly grab, let's go for a little bit of purple. And I'm just going to blend them in. I'm just working with your pens here, Lou. I am. I'm working yeah. with the, my pens and I'm just watering them down. I, I just want to add a little bit of colour, but I, if I put the pen directly on there, it would be too deep a colour. Right, yes. So it's adding a bit of atmosphere so I, now. Yeah. So I can add more water on the side here and just uh, bring them down. So I just want to build a nighttime scene. I'm just going to add a little bit of blue. A bit more water. Probably using far too much pen. I do that with ink pads as well. You know, mm -hmm. you put too much ink pad out on the side there and you... And so I'm just going to... It's all... <coughs> I 
I'm looking at these and I'm thinking how how useful these are because obviously we saw them with that almost like that sugary um, almond look where mm. they're painted. But I'm looking at this and I'm thinking a bit Halloween. Yeah, actually, I think you as I'm could, looking couldn't at you? Sort of thing. You could go along that line. So I'm not doing Halloween. No, no. But no, but you easily could. Yeah. I mean, if I carried on with a little bit more of the purples, yes. and maybe even green instead of blue. Yeah. That would create that eerily sort of look. Definitely. I'm just going to quickly just dry off a couple of the areas Wonderful. that I want to next work in. Lovely. Um, now, don't forget, with those individuals um, that we've been talking about, you've got, um, obviously, we're talking about the bundle of four. Um, I know many of you shop for the individuals as you work with these, and that is the key thing with this one. So the one that um, we're working with, or Lou's working with, is the one with the three houses, as you can see there. So this is your railway cuttings. Uh, but this one, on its own, is stamp number um, 74, if you're wanting to go for this particular one. So the details are on the screen, um, as you can see. Now, the one that's next door to it is proving to be a very popular one in its own right. And of course, this is one that Lou has kind to kind of, uh, I'd like to say top and tail her design, but it's not, it's kind of si the side elements, isn't it? The left and right. Um, and again, lots of content within there, including things like your post box. Over 30% of the stock has gone of this particular one, which is £10.99, um, 48351. And then if you want to go for the kids, it might be a case of that you've not gone for any of the range from picture this before, where well, you could quite easily just go for the character sets, couldn't you? Quite easy. And these ones are brilliant. As you can see there, with um, Andy's artwork there for £10.99. If you're getting hold of those ones, you're getting two stamps within that set. The next set, though, this is where you've got your motoring couple in there. You've also got your little cat and dog featuring in this one. Um, and again, £10.99, so it's nice, easy for you to build those up. But of course, any of those, it's pretty much a half price deal, isn't it, if you're going for the bumper bundle, because you've got a £5 saving, which equates to not far off half of the price of one of those stamp sets there. So 19, um, 19 stamps, should I say, £38. And 96 pence 380812. Lovely Lou, how are you getting on? Fine, I've dried off. Now, what I've done is I've taken my pens and I've added a little bit Ooh, of yellow. Okay. And what I want to do is I just want to now start adding out a little bit of water and I just want to m m make it appear as if the street light is on. And it's just lighting up a little bit of the area. And I'm going to do exactly the same because we've got two light posts. Oh, so we have. And I'm just going to do exactly the same here. I have, I have got a dry one because I would be here a while drying it for the amount of water I'm throwing at it. But, but I thought it'd be nice if we create the illusion that the light is on. So it's a nighttime scene and we've got the illusion... You know, the street lights are lit up. And I could actually, you know, you could, like you were saying about in the windows, I could have like a little light oh, going yeah. on in there if I wanted to, or one up in the attic. And this is half the beauty of these stamps because obviously they're going to take your time to add the colour and yeah. add the detail. I but mean, you could go to town. I mean, I could um, add more grey to it, you know, so you could mm -hmm. add a little bit more shading. So, for example, where I've got it down here, I could add a little bit more. So it's lighting up the ground a little bit. So there's lots of different ways you can use the stamps. I mean, I'm using watercolours because that's just my preferred colouring, but if you were good with your alcohol markers, you could do exactly the same. So I could carry on lighting up the scene and you could carry on building and building and building. So I did that and then obviously I've let it dry. It was fabulous. And then what I did, so this is the dried one, I actually went on with white acrylic. Oh, wow. And I've made it into a snow scene. Gosh, that's amazing. So when it was all dry, so I've, I've done exactly the same and I've got some of the lights on and then I've just gone over with a white acrylic paint and I've just added little touches to the roof, to the trees, to the lampposts, um, to the telegraph, or are they telephone poles or telegraph? I think they're, they're telephone, Telephone aren't they? poles, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then just added a little bit more on the ground. That looks brilliant. And I just wanted to show it off in a, you know, the set in a different way, not yeah. traditionally. So bringing all that in let's bring my card in as well and what i've also done is i've taken the thrubbery that we've got on the show <laughs> and i stamped i've got to go right left left <laughs> yeah, I've got to go right left and i've stamped it out and i've color washed it exactly the same as i've done the building now i know i've got a strange bit of yellow there but that i will show why in a moment okay um so and i've added just a little bit so when it's dry the white acrylic so try and build the depth up of the seam so, it, you know, in my head it all worked, if that makes sense. Yeah. So that is going to be my um, scene. Let's grab my glue. 
and pray that it's going to come away. So it was just a, I want a different way. I suppose it is like a Christmas version because we're looking at it and we look at Andy's artwork and it's a beautiful, like a spring, summer, in, like, mm -hmm. in between season, isn't it? Like yes, I would say yeah. May, that lovely in between, just as the weather's starting to get a little bit better. But it's almost like when you're looking out the window and you see your street through the different seasons, through the different yeah. days. I think, think that would be lovely, way wouldn't it? Changes, yeah. That'd be a lovely way to catalogue them, actually. Yeah. You know, do a spring, summer, autumn a, with the trees because you, you could go gold exactly, and yeah. oranges. And of course, when you're working with these, we're okay to make and sell with these, yes, aren't we? So yes. you could almost do um, the four seasons of the year with exactly the same layout that you've got there. So Lou building it up with the houses, with the end pieces, and then just changing the colours for the season. Now, what I've also done is this was sentiment stamp set was from the um, sentiments that we brought the last time I was on and it was the Christmas words. So I've just chosen um, Let It Snow, which oh, was okay. on there. And I've just stamped it onto a piece of vellum. And I want to just capture it a little bit inside a frame that I've die cut. There we go. And then I can cut away the excess. That was being good and took all my backing off my stamp pads and now it's sticking to my board. <laughs> it's easy it's always a way, you know when you think, oh I'll be organised and do that. Time. <laughs> now details at the bottom of your screen there, we have got um, obviously a Happy Days set of stamps. They're not the Christmas ones, um, but um, obviously you've got Happy Days on there. You've also got um, a wonderful, marvellous birthday, laughs at love. So if you are looking for specifically Christmas ones, I'm sure you will find those on the bronze section. But of course we have got some for many occasions. In fact, we've got two sets on the show. I'll show you them again a little bit later. So I, do, I wanted it. I didn't want it to stand out the sentiment. I just wanted it to look like it was it's fading nice in as that, well. Yeah. So I'm going to take the thrubbery, and I was going to frame it. Now you've got the right and the left. Now what yeah. I could do if I wanted to extend that, if I'd have done the opposite side, mm. you could have created a whole yes. floral theme yeah. looking inside your. So you, there are lots of different ways that you can. The thrubbery, I, I think I have to stop myself using. Um, it's a useful one to have. I'm thinking of like the Victorian style picture boxes and, and things like that. Uh, you could really build diorama cards and it, things like know, that. And I love it for um, underwater scenes. It oh, really, yeah. because of the, the loose way Andy's drawn it, it allows you to colour it in the colours you wanted. So as soon, as soon as you start adding reds and greens and putting it on a watercolour background, um, like a sea, it changes. Almost like a corally look yeah. to it, yeah. Now, that yellow bit there was, I've stamped out the extra lamp ah. post that we get from the additional set, and I'm going to put it in there like that. So that's why it was clever there. Clever. Now, this is actually part of that set that we've been talking about. These ones are your, um, is it called your bits of cuttings? And that's where you've got your additional elements like the lamppost, which, of course, if you're going for the bundle on your screen, then you are able to get hold of that one in that bundle, £38.96. But I know some of you are shopping this for um, by itself, but over 40% of the stock has gone. The details are popping up um, on your. Uh, up, Oh, maybe they're not. They were. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to pop up on your screen. So, yeah, at the bottom of your screen there, if you want to go for the stamp set by itself, then £10.99 is your price. And then all I've done is I die cut uh, a few little snowflakes. I, went, I, got, I think I went OTT with how many I die cut. But <laughs> I just thought it brings in that theme. I've gone a little bit heavy handed with the glue, but that's fine. I'm not going to put it on my hand. And I just thought it just ties in. A little bit more that with the sentiment, yeah. But we've still got that beautiful um, scene of the houses just peeking behind. So it's creating like a winter theme. Yes, very much, yeah. So it's a totally different look. So I will leave that there. So that was just a, wanted to show a different way of oh, actually using it and creating it compared to the, the other samples that we've all gone for.
Love it, Lou. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't that come together quickly? Of course, we're talking about the, the the detail and all of the different elements that you've got. Which, of course, you can celebrate that. You can get really involved with your colour. But of course, if you were working speedily, maybe you're making uh, lots of these because you're wanting to sell them. Then the technique that Lou's just shared with us just shows how quickly you can get some amazing results with regards to these. Now, of course, the beauty is with uh, these that Andy has put them together with that idea that you'll work with them exactly that as to as we saw that together. So, of course, we saw Lou building up her own scene, but this could be a scene that you are creating um, using some of the elements, or maybe you'll be creating a scene, something along the lines of this. But stands a chance that you will start off with the houses because it's a, very much a modular system. So the houses, if you're going for the stamps for these ones by themselves, it's called the railway cuttings, and you've got five stamps within there, 10 99 but over 50% of the stock has gone of that one. But then you start building up your scene. So as you saw Lou create the kind of the end, that's what you can do if you wanted to you could multi-stamp that one have it going right the way up the hill or maybe you're going to end that story so if I kind of bring that in oh I'm trying I'm trying hard not very good there I need a bit of an acetate sheet don't I can you see that that would actually build up your design as you work your way along so the bits of cuttings that's a popular one by itself not surprised because it's going to work those end pieces are going to work with other buildings that you've got um, approaching 60 was that oh 50 percent of the stock has gone very popular um, I love the little post box I mean that's a useful one to have alongside any of those others got characters as well first time I've seen these kind of, kind of characters from Andy and you really captured their personalities, haven't they? This one, it doesn't look as if there's much control going on there, as you can see there. He's not quite sure where he's going to end up, um, is it that little lad that you've got there? And the skater girl there, she means business, doesn't she? That face on there, she's concentrating. Um, again, you've got different sizes. So again, the little lad is back again in his go-kart. But again, the perspective with, obviously, the couple in that vintage car. And then, of course, you've got your cat and your dog there. And the cat does look like it's making a speedy retreat, not a car quite sure who's heading in its direction but when you are building up a design as you can see here using some of those elements like the trubbery as you can see there um, kind of building up that scene or whether you are using them just by themselves then you can see you are going to create some amazing pieces again the characters just using the characters by themselves absolutely amazing using the characters with your concept cards again it's another way you can use them because of course they've got that element of movement the sentiment you can see we've got stamps for that one but equally so the characters will work with sentiments that you've got in your own stash already I'm sure and again building up your scene building up your story that's what it's all about that's exactly what Andy has done with this wonderful set now we are getting very busy for the individuals which isn't an issue if you want to go for them by themselves by all means you can do but of course do bear in mind you are getting a five pound saving so if you're thinking of going for a couple of these you're looking at paying what um, 22 pounds there or thereabouts um, you're not paying that much more really to the, get the extra two sets if you are going for the bumper bundle that we've got here and they do all work so well together not just within this little grouping that we've got here but with many of the other collections that I know you'll have in your stash as well here's a latest addition to the picture this range and of course there's many more that you'll be able to find on the website but if you want the brand new ones then here you go 19 stamps in total there 38 pounds and 96 pence 380 Eight, one, two. Now, the next one that we're sharing with you is the bits of railway. And this is where, again, you're building up your scene. So, again, here you've got your little elements. Um, and you can see there you've got your buildings. It could be the uh, the train um, station that you've got with these. You've got, obviously, in the, your distance. Whoops, a daisy. Come back. Don't run away. Runaway train, <laughs> as you can see there. Um, now you've got obviously all the different elements there building up your scene going over the bridge. Again, your perspective, you've got your smaller elements for your distance, some elements there, as you can see. Again, I mean, that one there, that is a classic, isn't it, for any overground that you're looking at. Over 40% of the stock has gone of this particular one. So if you do like the look of this one, six stamps there for just £10.99. And that's the same when you're looking at any of these sets. Bits of trains being the next one and this is where you are building up your train to to be whatever transportation you like obviously you've got your carriage at the front there so that we kind of, it's always good to have that one at the front although saying that when a train turns around it does end up at the back doesn't it for a short while 
because of the way that it works the kind of the coupling up and the moving around it's interesting watching it's one of those things i love watching steam trains and barges when they go through the locks i'm fascinated by how it all works and it all comes together anyway we digress this one here over 80 percent of the stock has gone at 10 pounds and 99 pence 881 637 is the item number a few more to share with you then we're going to head back to see lou because time is, is flying by lou's back a little bit later on though i think aren't you lou five o'clock so don't worry you've got another show with lou later this is a nice one again that classic car look isn't that a fabulous car and this one you've got again lots of foliage featuring this one i love those kind of palm tree elements that you've got with this as well could be that you you're driving through the the extravagant roads of torquay because they have lots of palm trees in torquay i remember torquay and having palm trees love torquay um at 196211 if you're wanting to get hold of that one next one we're looking at trubbery and trubbery we've got two oh trubbery right has left the building so to speak that one has sold out so well done if you've got it in your basket check your basket out but don't worry we have got trubbery left um, here but this one is limited in stock so if you are wanting to get hold of this one or you've got right and you're thinking actually i wish i'd gone for both then there you go your left is there as well 10 pounds and 99 pence but you need to be quick um sentiments we've got some fabulous sentiments this particular one is your love and pride and there you can see you've got joy and congratulations um anniversary celebration pride love and again the font is absolutely amazing with this one it means that you can use it alongside many of those other sentiments that you may already have in your stash and equally so the, ne the next set that we've got the last set of sentiments happy days again you've got that lovely look and again that uniformity of design which means that you are able to bring those in with previous ones as well and of course the numbers that we were talking about earlier on happy days wonderful marvelous birthday laughter and love beautiful love it ten pounds and 99 pence now as we mentioned there's lots and lots that you can consider with regards to the picture this stamps all the ones that we're featuring within the show you will find as you watch online scrolling along the bottom of your screen as you can see there but of course you can look into the brand section and find even more but these ones are featuring in the show and in fact i think lou's going to use them in the next demo ten pounds and 99 pence will get 38 of those fabulous numbers love the way you've got your different styles but repeats of numbers as well so you're not having to kind of position them and go back in and fill the gaps also got your ordinals and your ordinals and everything in keeping with that art deco look which of course works so well with those sentiments that we've got as well loads of you taking advantage of these this one is one of Lou's favorites the lofty lampos just 10 pounds and 99 pence and again it's building up that perspective that's a wibbly wobbly lamppost if ever I saw one <laughs> um, if you fancy getting hold of those then do add those into your basket and of course when your basket total 60 pounds or more you can spread the cost so if you're going for the bundle that we're looking at here and just a few extra of those stamp sets you'll soon find yourself going through that 60 pounds threshold Lou what are we up to this time I'm going to use I'm going to use a lofty lamppost ah oh, I love it now but, you like this one don't yeah you? I took inspiration from a card I think it was Val um, has made and I thought oh I love the composition so I'm gonna take the bits of kids so I'm gonna take the go-kart so I'm using the bigger image of the go-kart boy that comes with the the skater girl mm-hmm I think she'd look cool the skater girl on some retro 50s oh, sort yes, of backgrounds yeah. It's a strong that roller derby, that sort of. Yes. Yeah. I love the go karts. I mean, the go karts. They just they had a mind of their own, didn't they? There were no mm, brakes oh, fitted. No brakes <laughs> at all. My mum used to call them, um, you know shoe killers because that's how we stopped them wasn't it it was you just yeah you put your feet out either the, side yeah, took the soles of your shoes away <laughs> uh, so i've just stamped out <laughs> a few of the images that i'm going to use so i've done the cat and he's got something oh sorry i thought what's what was that <laughs> i was getting a little bit worried then <laughs> steve-o's watching steve-o's loving these stamps good to have your company this afternoon steve hi steve-o hope you're well but so i'm just gonna dry the ink there and it's got a lot, such a lovely image to him. I think it's there's so much character, as you say, in there, sort of thing. Right, I'm going to use my watercolour pens because I just love using my watercolour pens, if I'm honest. <laughs> it's, it's my preferred way to colour. I know everybody has theirs slightly different. Um, it's, I, I, I'm not a patient colour person. Okay. So I love watercolour because you can sit there and go, done. Yes, yeah. So you like to see those instant results yeah, rather than building um, it up. Yeah. If I want, to, you know, I, I love 
watching people colour, you know, when they do all the alcohol markers and they add all the different shading and everything like that, but I haven't quite got that patience level. And these are good size stamps, these ones. They are, and there's, a, there's enough detail in here that doesn't make them complicated to colour either. Mm -hmm. um, you don't feel like you have to, you know, you've got, you have got smaller bits, yes, but they're not tricky smaller bits. No. Do you know to colour in? So I'm just going to colour him up and I carry on with his shorts. I think he's going to wear denims today or something along that line. I love the rope in this. That that is that has got the real nostalgic feel to it. Well, the rope in it. The I mean, that, Andy's artwork is so amazing. He's such a talented artist because he literally he's not amazing, not just amazing artwork, but he captures the essence and the feel hmm. of what's going on with the characters as well. You feel like you need um, speech bubbles because you could see yes. a, like a speech yeah. bubble coming out, you know. Or a thought bubble, because obviously he probably <laughs> he wouldn't be naughty enough easy. to actually say it out loud. Like a, a, yeah, word processing <laughs> um, program on your computer. You could be doing that quite easily. You can add some of your sentiments. Yeah. Lou, sorry to interrupt That's again, okay. but an important update, I'm afraid. The the little train one that we were looking at here, the bits of trains, that one has now technically sold out. So if you wanted that one, please do be quick. If it's in your basket, check your basket out. They're not yours till you check those baskets out. 881637. Of course, it works so well with the um, element and the characters have been chatting about. So I'm just Oh, gosh, I'm on. back again, Lou. I'm sorry. No, you go for it. I'll carry on colouring. I'm more than happy. Well, you know what happened to Trubbery, right? Well, Trubbery left is extremely limited in stock as well there. As limited as a limited can be. We're probably only talking about the next couple of people. Getting that into their basket and checking those baskets out will ensure that you'll get hold of that one. So 566422, you have to be quick. We don't always have the entire collection in stock. Technically, it's sold out now. So if you are that person that's added it into your basket, check your basket out. Um, these are collectibles and we'd like to say that we have them all in stock all the time so you can dip back and get those stamps so as and when you want wanting to. But of course the thing is that uh, yeah, we don't always have that stock here for you to dip in and out of so you have to take advantage when you see them. Sorry, I just carried on colouring. I hope you don't no, mind. No, you're having a lovely time and I like that. So I'm just building up the character and I'm sticking to quite... It's like he's you know, coordinated himself um, when he got dressed this morning, which it's most children trendy, don't do anyhow, yeah. do they? We coordinate them. But if mm -hmm. they pick their own clothes, it wouldn't be quite along those colours. So I'm just going to colour his hair. <laughs> you adding that cat stump in there? I mean, that's just—he's <laughs> literally making that just, quick, the quick getaway there. I just wanted to show there, but you've got that really cute um, dog <laughs> as well. I mean, I'll just stamp it on. I won't colour him up. But you've got this really cute little dog. But he—if you look carefully at him—he's barking. Oh, is he? So if I stamp him on, you can see. So those people who are going oh, past, yes. oh, can you see he's actually yes. barking as they go past? <laughs> so he's, he, he's a really cool character as well. <laughs> you just, there's so much. A very vocal little pup, that one. Very vocal. He obviously wasn't at all happy. <laughs> so I'm just going to add there. Lovely. I love the little bits of wood we've got here. I do think this wood, though, is very neatly... I don't ever remember cutting ours up quite so neatly like that, <laughs> unless someone, you know, a parent or someone helped you. This is true. Now, we've had a very busy, I can't believe the time as well, I've just looked at the clock, they're in, uh, rapidly approaching a quarter to um, uh, two, so, yeah, time is a right, promise, I have, Liv. I'll leave that there, because okay. I have obviously got... Oh, fabulous <laughs> as well. She's having too much of a nice time there. I was. I, I, could, I could be colouring there for ages. <laughs> I do apologise. Not at all. So let me just grab all the bits that I want. Right, okay. So that, if you colour your image and carry it on, and I cut him out. Lovely. And I have gone round all the tyres and the wheels. Only because I like cutting. Yes. I know, yeah. you, you, so you don't have to. And then I have added the cat as well, <laughs> and I have coloured him up as well. So, let's move all the bits out there. And this is, as Ooh. I was saying, that is the um, lofty lamp post. Oh, nice. I like this one. And then that was the shrubbery that I've actually added around the outside. I so, you know, see. like you were saying that they all interchange yes. with each other. But you wouldn't know, would you, that it's, no. it's two different stamps? And, I mean, like I, I love that. I mean, this one would be perfect for Halloween. Yes. You know, it's got that sort of, like you yeah. were saying, because of the lamp post. But what I've also done was, we've got the drain here. Okay. And I've just stamped it at the bottom. Button, That's clever. the other way around to to give me um, a road. Yes, 
and it just made my eye know where I wanted to focus my That's image. That's a clever technique, Lou. Because once you've coloured it in, you don't notice that it is actually upside down. Yeah, that's true. Well, in my head, anyhow. Well, I, I didn't so notice So I have gone ahead with. and I have coloured mine in. <laughs> Lovely. Now, can I share this stamp with everybody? Because it's been a busy one, this okay. one. Rapidly approaching 40% of the stock. This is one that Lou loves to work with. You can see the details are on your screen there. Two, three, seven, three, five, eight, ten pounds and ninety-nine pence. And it's nice because it's a good size lamp post it as well. Is. So if you don't want one right in the distance, and this is a perfect one. No, for and you as to I said, for. this was taken from inspiration. I'm sure it's um, Val who, who did that. And I saw it and I thought, oh, that would just be so cool. The way, the way she added the go kart guy. In as well. I think I find the exact and card that you're talking about. That particular one? Yes, that's it. So it she's used the skater girl just to show that it works with the composition like that with the skater girl. But I love the fact that the lamppost is green. Yes, yeah. Not black. I mean, I've done mine traditional colours. Um, and you've got the little dog there, look. <laughs> He's still barking. He's still barking. Still barking. Right. So Thank you for that one. Down. Rapidly, uh, yeah. Oh, actually, we're over 40% of the stock on that one there, so yeah. So I'm going to just layer these up. My glue's going to, as long as it works. <laughs> you know, you go, as long as it works. So I just want to, I've got my background there. Now see, this is why I think about how, you know, you colour the lights, a bit like I did on my first demo. Yes, if you wanted yeah. to with that, you've got that there. And then I've got your chappy. Cause so where I've done these here, all I've done is I've just added some extra greenery in. And I thought, you know, he can sit as he's going around the corner there or looking like he's losing control mm -hmm. and I thought the cat could be going off in front ah, okay. ahead yeah so let's put them down I will I would probably use 3d foam pads but I'm not going to wrestle with the backs okay no problem. you know when you just go sometimes no <laughs> <laughs> so I thought he could sit there so he's got. So this is what I mean. Once it's coloured up, you don't notice that that drain yeah, is true, the opposite yeah. way round. I will put some more glue back there, and then I've got the cat, and I thought it'd be nice to carry, elongate the scene, so it doesn't actually have. To, you don't have to stamp it as part of the scene, but you can make your, the scene go on in different ways. So there we go. There. I'll just put that to one side. Now I've die cut myself some stars, and what I want to do is I want to put like a star there okay and yeah. I want to put a number inside oh, them yeah. so it could be like for a, a birthday good idea I like that so what birthday should we go for? Stamp set for it. I think shall we go for oh so I do love that three I think we've got to use that three sorry <laughs> <laughs> you know when you go got to use that three well, nice because I mean numbers are numbers well you I think, know but with these you've kind of got different stars of the numbers so you can audition the different numbers if yeah. you're wanting to check them out different sizes because you know, haven't necessarily got um, the size always the right size sometimes the stamp might be too big mm. for the area where you're wanting to put them so you've got choice within this set I, I do I, li I like three it was um, actually the reason I like it as well it was the way it's similar to the way we were taught how to do Z's at school when I was younger oh right yes actually you're right yeah I think that's why I like it yeah and like you say it's got such a lovely look to it now I could have lined these up together but I just wanted to make sure that three had center stage mm -hmm. <laughs> on the the star and kind of the quirkiness of this um, font as well is clever because if you're not very good at lining up, and I'm not saying you aren't, Lou, but when I start, <laughs> I can't line oh. things up for toffee, I'm terrible. But that I could get away with that because oh, it doesn't look whether it doesn't look right or wrong. It just looks well as it is. And then we've got that I can put the the th in because I can fit it in there. I've got 13, and I've put my lid on there because if I don't I will end up putting my ha hand in it. I'll layer those up. Nice. Now I could, because of time I won't do it, but I could have gone around the outside to match his colours, you know like I'll go oh, around with yes, the orange course, and the yellow yeah. to tie him in with the actual um, his age. So I thought that could sit along like that let's put that there yeah now if, if the, the circle bothered you I could have easily moved it across there but so let's have that there because I'd like the 13th so the circle itself the circle isn't actually on the stamp is it the, the 
the circle around. I think you can mask it off. Oh, I didn't. I see that's what's happened. Because yeah. I was just looking at the one that um, Val had done. I was yeah. ever so confused because you got the, the circle. You can wipe the ink away, can't you? Yes, yeah. I, have, um, so I just stamped. There you go. So if you don't want it, there it is there. Uh, I, I suppose it's kind of giving you the, the point of reference for the glow as well from the lamp, I it suppose. It is, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. So I've stamped the birthday, which is from the, the set. And I would put this on with 3D foam just so it stood out. Mm -hmm. So I'd go around the star and then I'd have the 13th birthday and I would have the two images along Love like it. that. That looks fabulous. And um, the happy day stamps just popped up on your screen because that's where the birthday has come from. I love that. That is it's, fabulous. It would something to, but it's bringing in, like you were saying, all the previous stamps yeah. and the way they work. They mm -hmm. work with all the newer stamps that are coming through. So you, you, you can mix and match absolutely everything together. And I've coloured this a lot. But if that's not your style, you don't yeah. have to either point. just pick, you know, the elements that you like to colour. Yes, yes. And it's nice because the lofty lamppost, as you can see on your screen there, that's one of um, the previous stamp sets. That's not one of the latest ones. No. But then it is featured alongside one of the latest sets that you've got there as well. Lofty lamppost, incidentally, half the stock has gone of that particular one. Details are on your screen there. £10.99. We've got about four minutes left, Lou. So if there's anything that you wanted to share with, you, um, with us, I'm going to do a little bit of a review and we can come back to you if you well, want to share Well, I was going to share something. one thing. Now, we've got the... I've stamped them out so you can see. And this is this beautiful couple. I think they're so cute, you know, when they're looking at each other. Nice. And it has got a, a really traditional image. And But you see, when I looked at it, mm -hmm. I saw something else. Oh, OK. So the right. first thing I did with it, actually, was that. Ooh. Oh. Because I actually saw steampunk. Yes. That works so well. So you've got the traditional image like from the yeah. samples there. So if I put it down there, so you've got... But I actually saw steampunk, so in my <laughs> journal, I actually created... That's a nice idea. Yeah, I like that. So y you can... I know the images have a tr traditional vibe to them, but as I was saying, like the skater girl, suddenly change her mm -hmm. into like a 50s retro. Yes. And you've got a totally different look again Definitely. with them. Definitely. Um, thank you, Lou. That's very informative, as I'm sure you'll agree. And of course, she's been working with those brand new stamps. Um, and these are just a couple of ways that you could actually work with these. So, of course, you've got the build up of the houses here. Um, and what you can see is the steps that we've got here. This is the first house that is attached to the second and the third. That is one stamp set. But if you replicate that and work your way up the hill, you could make that row as long as you want. And then, of course, you've got your connectives, which are starting off your run and ending your run there. That's one way of you putting them together. But maybe this is going to be the way that you put them together. This is the beauty of the picture this collection. It's a modular system where you have got the individual stamps. Now they are available individually. So the railway cuttings, £10.99 if you're wanting this stamp just by itself. It is part of the bundle that we've been chatting about as well, but it has been a popular one by itself. You can see the details are there, 777434, £10.99. It's been a popular one by itself, three quarters of the stock having gone. Um, another one that's proven to be the, a popular one is this one because this is where you've kind of got your end connective so one end you've kind of got your washing line one end you've got that fabulous little kind of porch or your um, conservatory and um, then you've got your additional elements with things like your lampposts and your little post box all with a perspective of depth there 10 pounds and 99 pence if you like that one 848351 that's been a popular one by itself then you've got your character stamps of course we saw Lou working with the little lad arm or little girl could be on the go-kart as you can see and then the skater child there as well um, again careering almost down the road there with a very concentrated look on the face two stamps there for 10 pounds and 99 pence and then of course you've got your motoring couple that joe um that we've just seen joe where did i get joe from i don't know lou <laughs> Two letters, two letters, I don't know. Um, but so there you go, you can see you've got obviously all the different elements there. Again, with your cat and your little dog there. And of course, your perspective of the little lad there a little further away. 10.99 again, but you are going to get all of them. As Lou's shown us, they work well together with other elements that you've got. So don't forget, if you are going for the lamppost, the lofty lamppost, then that's how it's gonna look when you are working along with that. But when you use them all together, you are building up your scene in whichever way you choose to. Whether you're going to the traditional route in the way that the modular system or whether you're just taking little elements here or even just taking the characters by themselves you can see you've got some amazing results now Lou you're gonna be back with us a little bit later on at five, five o'clock yes and I'm going to be using the the couple 
in the okay, car yes, yeah. um, in the denim and I'm going to also use, be using all the sentiments that we've got. Oh nice, look forward to that. So make sure that you do tune in a little bit later on. Now if you've not gone for these already then why not? They are brilliant to work alongside the other elements that you've got from Picture This and I just love the idea that you can use them for your kind of concept cards as well or just use them by themselves. I mean that's the same stamp, two different ways but two totally different looks. And you're going to see lots more from Lou, lots more looks, lots more ideas coming up at five o'clock so i hope you can join her i'm going to be heading off home but i'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at seven see you later bye so another lovely hour and with clever prints looking forward to that one. Oh, we've got the most amazing fabric show coming up with jewelry fabrics before we have a final look at our current one day special at four o'clock see you tomorrow hi there i'm nick from craftoscope I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. Over time, I want Craftscope products to build you a complete library of dyes, stamps and stencils, which you'll enjoy using whether you're new to crafting or you're a seasoned crafter. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda.
Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Well, hello everybody. What a miserable day it is outside. This is perfect crafting weather. Uh, so do stay inside and let us keep you company. Can I introduce you to the lovely Emma? Hello. Hi. You know, this to me is such a great start to the day. I always enjoy working with you. Yeah. And it, well, it doesn't really feel like work. We're no, just going to have some fun. Like We're going to do a bit of crafting. Yes, yeah, so I've been playing. I've been yeah. here for ages playing already. already getting yeah. set. <laughs> what I would find, I say this a lot, I think you've got such a clever prince have such a distinctive style yeah you and you just connect with the work so a lot of people they kind of found their tribe with you i hope so i really yeah. hope so i mean i think i've got quite a quirky way of mm -hmm. doing with color and I don't, I don't, there's no rules really, it's just what we slap like. it all on. You, you have fun. <laughs> uh, everything as well, hand drawn by Emma, so this is original stuff. Yeah. We're not talking about stock images, no. and I love it when I get to say this. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start with these stamps. Look at these, brand, brand new, and there is a lot more coming up. Uh, 14 99 your price. You were, Emma, 14 99 and you were getting... Uh, 37 stamps. I know I did actually get a message off somebody saying, is, is that, that price right? wrong? <laughs> is it <laughs> I right? said, even if it is, just buy them anyway because it's too late now. But I mean, the worker stamps, really, these ones, I wanted them to live on your desk yeah. and they, always go back to them. There's something for everything. Um, there's pretty florals, there's quirky shapes, there's even some words on there. Yeah. Now, and they're not tiny, tiny. They, well, I've got them in my hand. Look at all of these stamps for fourteen ninety nine. Beautiful uh, stamps here. I mean, absolutely chock a block. Emma's made uh, maximum use out of that full uh, sheet, that A five sheet. Now I've got to tell you, seventy percent of the stock has gone. Now you did have a show earlier on, Emma. It was very busy yes. with Alex. The amount you can do from pattern building. Now this is just one of those thirty seven stamps. Yes. So uh, did he say did it? Her husband actually said. It looks printed. He said, "Oh, you look. It looks like you've printed that yeah. off, like it's off the graphics." But it looks so. beautiful. So we've pattern built. We can build our little scenes, quite modern, abstract, or equally, create a little border in the mix. But then you can start taking on your bigger projects as well. Is it the work for everything? There is so much you could do with these. All your, that's beautiful. Yeah. And they're going to work with every single line. I've brought out and probably everything I want to bring out for the next 12 months. I know you, you More. always have that in your mind. Mm -hmm. It's that sort of backdating and also future yeah. proofing as well. Look, as crafters, we can appreciate getting a stamp set of this size and this quality for fourteen ninety nine. You cannot go wrong. And if you're a Freedom member, that is your delivered price. 241 your item number. We are busy for this option. I, mm, I don't know if it's going to last the hour. I'll obviously keep you updated. Now, something else that is another new today. We're going to show you some beautiful papers and this is something where you really excel yeah, to bring these beautiful papers. I love making them. Yeah. I, I do find it hard to use them because, you know, I, I get them back. I don't feel like it's my work anymore uh -huh. because I send it off and I bring it back. I, go, oh, I just want to keep it forever. Well, <laughs> but you get two of everything in this pack, so I've made sure you can use one, keep one if you want to. Now, <laughs> you are getting an awful lot here. So we've got our frames. That's on Mixed Media card. Yeah, Mixed Media right? card. You can throw absolutely all sorts at it. That's I have tried to break it. And short of putting it in the bath full of water, I can't really break it. That okay. would, though. It is Good. paper after yeah. all. But Love this. Yeah. And this is such a nice starting point. So what Emma does, she gives you beautiful designs that you are then going to go up, go forward and build up on. Use the stamps, use dies we have on the show, use existing stamps in your stash. So perfect for your card, your construction, your scrapbook, your journaling. Now we're going to look at the papers. I've got those up to down. There we go. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It can be anywhere, really. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to show you here. <laughs> 
These are I mean, stunning papers. You're getting multiples of each design yes. as well. These are more like a collage paper, but if you look at them, see art and see like an uh, ice castle and their sort of thing, just different, oh, yeah. it's like abstract. And there's one that looks like the sea and the beach and the sky. and. The colours you incorporate, remember, yeah. two of each design, but the colour, that's beautiful. Mm. Tear them up, obviously collage with them. Mm -hmm. I think, to be fair, if you had an Ooh. MDF box and you collage this, wow. see that to me looks like the seaside. You know, that, you can yeah. just see that, it's got a wonderful coast effect. The colours, the detail, the I best like bit about it is, I can't even remember how I did that, so I'll never be able to do it again. <laughs> so I'm really pleased with going in papers. Well, each one <laughs> original, so yeah. you're getting an awful lot there for 14.99. That's your price. They are new today uh, and proving popular. 065 618 item number. Uh, now. We've got dies for you. This is, I think I'm right in saying, Emma, this is the first time we brought these as individual options? Yes, the, um, the, this whole jungle collection was a one mm -hmm. day special. Um, and I really wanted to bring it back as all singles so people could pick and choose. Nice. Because it is a big line, and I thought, wait, well, some people might have just got a couple last time, might want to yeah. add to it. And these dies, I mean, the start, they're massive. Yeah. They're really cool. But they so fit in the A5 machine. Just having a look here, that is your jungle fever. You're getting 13 dyes in total. Look at that leaf. You've got flowers. Uh, really nice there. Saving three pounds, 19.99 at your price, 213511. Then we have our flutter bug. So as the name suggests, our main feature being that beautiful sort of a fantasy Butterfly, Flutterfly. Uh, then we have Flutterfly. I just made that. I made that up. I liked yeah, it. Yeah, that's I fine. Did, I just made I, it up. And I did that deliberately. Yeah. Uh, then we have little cherries in there as well. So all those elements. That is your Flutterbug. Uh, Nineteen ninety nine. Your price again. Saving three pounds. Uh, six seven three three six zero. So uh, we're going to give you the details. They have individual item numbers because they are individual options. These flowers are stunning. Now this is when feathers appear. So you've got that beautiful feature feather. But I love the floral aspect to these as well. If you look at the heart, the drippy heart, and then the one with the spiky top, they're actually in the little stamp collection as oh, well. Oh, okay. So everything mix mixes It coordinates. Yeah. Now I love the little squirrel Where's at the bottom. Is it a squirrel it's at the ant, bottom? But it can be a squirrel. No, that down there, is that an ant? Yeah. Oh, it is an ant. Oh, sorry. I've got them I here. just saw the top. I'm so sorry. It's an ant. <laughs> it is an ant. I apologise. <laughs> uh, I just saw the top of it from a distance. Uh, 19.99 your price there. It is definitely an ad. Uh, 235.906 your item number. I loved them. It was like a squirrel. It could be a squirrel. Uh, it could. Well, it was an ad. Uh, and then we have here. This is your Emma's bug. So we've got some very cute bugs. We've got ladybirds in there. Is it ladybird? No, it's a dung beetle. I don't it's know. It's an Emma beetle. It's an Emma beetle. Uh -huh. um, okay. The one with the thingy back, I was armadillo, I'd, I'd been to the zoo with my little boy uh, and we'd seen all these weird animals and I don't yeah. know why he turned into a bug but it's me, armadillo bug. Um, I like armadillos, let me just... <laughs> I've, I've got, got an anteater one as well somewhere. Now I apologise because we've been going through these, I haven't been actually showing you, I've got, well I say I've got Emma made up some boards just to show you. I mean there is an, this is one die set, look at the amount that you're getting. So you've got your beautiful feature bugs, you've got a uh, lovely little palm tree, textures, hearts coming through, that could be turned around as a balloon if you wanted, uh, flowers, then we've got the alphabet, both the positive and the negative. That's on your one set with your Emma's bugs. I will just whip through very quickly because we've got the other ones as well. So that is your uh, feathers appear, or when feathers appear. I mean, that's a large flower. And then we want, uh, do you know, I'm making life very hard for Emma, um, Emily, I've choose, sorry. Uh, let me just go through here. Then we've got our flutter bug in there. So there's your flutterbug, borders coming through, worker dies, and then finally we have our jungle. Is that jungle fever? That's not jungle fever. I think I've done I've hopped two. I've got jungle I think that is jungle fever. Is that third one? <laughs> I haven't got it. It's just going through. Is it this one? This not Oh, is this jungle fever? Yeah, oh, yeah, I, I think apologize. The big, big feathers they've been, feathers they've been appear, messed up. Yeah. There we go. They've been messed up. Yeah. Uh, 19.99 your price there. Uh, I think we all agree. I could have done that better. I apologize, Emma. Uh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Just heard. Everyone does agree. Uh, let's have a little look here because we've got more for you. Now, these are lovely. Uh, again, individual options. Look at King Kermit. Can you tell us a little bit about King Kermit? King Kermit appeared 
after my very own parrot, there's pictures of him on Facebook, yeah. um, decided that he was going to rule the roost. He's a little parrot, he's not very big, and he is boss. What? <laughs> he Love walks around strutting. <laughs> I can see him now. Uh -huh. Now, having a look at the size of the stamp that you're getting here. Now, you're not just getting your King Kermit, obviously you're getting full, full stamp set for eleven ninety nine, and there is a lot going on here. Four stamps in total, but look at that as a feature. Could you imagine King Kermit proudly being displayed in your home? Oh, wait, wait till you see this. Look at that. That is a King Kermit indeed, but it shows Emma's imagination and how individual all of the designs are. Okay, so that's your King Kermit. Now we're going to move on to our total, sorry, take a leaf. <laughs> so there's your take a leaf. So as the name suggests, you're getting all the leaves uh, in their different leaves. Love the branch. Now we would be using that. Yeah, they say it next stand that, do what you want. These are worker, worker stamps. Yeah. I've used these leaves so many times and I've cut them out individual. I've tried to keep them quite easy to cut out. So even if you don't want to cut all the stems out, just cut the stems off yeah. and have the bushy bits of the leaves. Just going to pick up, I've just got one of the sets. I want to give you an idea of the size of the stamp set and just how much you're getting. Also, the quality of the stamps, they are very, very thick. I mean, They're I've just... used mine so many times and I'm, I've only got one set of them. Yeah. And it... I mean, if anybody was going to manage to break it, it would be me. They're good quality stamps. Actually, a bit so much clearer <laughs> that way. Oh, for crying out loud, yes. So there we go. Uh, so you can see all the elements that you're getting, but just put my hand in the shot. 11.99 for that stamp set, I think, is very good value for money. 157.719, your item number there. Now we've got some tropical flowers for you. Beautiful uh, floral sprays that allow you to, I mean, just colour. These, to me, mm -hmm. alcohol markers, yeah. I, actually, I'd be getting with my alcohol markers, or your paints. Yeah, paints. Uh, to be quite honest with these, I don't even tend to stay in the lines. I use watercolours a lot, yeah. probably more than anything else, and I just colour the whole thing how I want it, drop the watercolours into each other so they all mix them in and then I've kept them quite easy to cut out so then cut them out the paper and glue them on. I'm just and showing you here. You couldn't get any more easier. Look at all of the different stamps that you're going to be getting. So this actual stamp set, yeah. you've got these wonderful, I mean that to me was it like a lotus? I, no? don't, know. I don't know. Fancy. <laughs> Daffodil maybe, whatever you like. Yeah. Anything at all. Okay, so that is your beautiful uh, total, uh, tropical flowers. And then we have our jungle fever, uh, jungle feathers going through. Yes. <laughs> I'm still thinking about the jungle fever. <laughs> I'll just pick this up and I'll show you that as well. So your jungle fever. Ooh. I mean, there are some beautiful stamps here. Look at those feathers. So when you start mixing up the sets, the dyes, the stamps, the papers, special things happen. But eleven ninety nine for a stamp set of this quality and this size, you cannot go wrong. Uh, one eight eight seven seven six your item number. Uh, now we've got Colour My World coming through. Oh, I love this. I've got to show you something. Colour My World. You've got this wonderful chameleon. Look at this. It's Carl. And Carl the chameleon. You made it in my size as well. Yes, in a fish. Thank you. Uh, let's look at that. Is it Carl the chameleon? Carl the chameleon. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> I did a Facebook live and we named him Carl. Yeah. I love that. That is incredible. Uh, okay, big fan of this set already. But this is the thing. Have some fun. Don't just think about your paper crafting. Mixed media. Get onto fabrics. You've got Carl. Then you've got. You've got your, uh, um, I'm laughing at Paola. Paola, did you just nearly fall over there? Uh. You know, I thought I saw you stumbling away. Oh, that's your normal walk. Oh, I, that's a little bit awkward. Uh, okay, let's move on. Uh, we've got Every Storm. Having a look here. Another, now, Every Storm, I would imagine, goes very well with our uh, car. Yeah. The chameleon, right? Yeah. So we've got this. I'm just trying to see if I've got any finished examples. I haven't, but I will show you. I'll show you the actual stamp set. You give us so much in but your set, Emma. I try and fit as much got as I possibly can. Got the rainbow in there as well, with rainbow hidden in it. You've got your main feature. So, uh, gecko? Um, hmm? Lizard of some Just sort. a lizard. It'd be okay. whatever you want them to be. I love your free, you're such a free spirit with your designs. You're not, you don't pin yourself down. If you want to create a lizard, <laughs> I'll, I'll create a lizard. Yeah, yeah if you want to okay. cook bits out of them, make bones with it, do it. 
Okay, uh, 11.99 there. We're going to move on. We've got She is Incredible. This is our Jungle Diva. Um, I know she's a big fan of Kermit's as well. And Carl, look at this, everyone together. Mike, who did this? Anne Marie. Oh, wow. Anne Marie, yeah. Anne Marie wow. and Sue. I borrowed them off Charmaine. Look. The, the two <laughs> fabulous, fabulous crafters. That is incredible. But the main feature here uh, that you're seeing for our Jungle Diva, how beautiful is she? I will show you the stamp set as well, because I think it's important to see what you're getting. Definitely going in my basket, Emma. I mean, come on, for eleven ninety nine, you're getting such a beautiful character. This just screaming for character uh, color. You've got your sentiment in there as well, your textures, all of those stamps for eleven ninety nine. One last one to look at. This sums you up perfectly, Emma. Uh huh. Sunshine and happiness. Yeah. Not a lot of sunshine in the UK today, uh, but Emma's definitely spreading the happiness. So we've got some lovely stamps uh, coming through. Let's just have a little look at these beautiful. All right, that banner in itself, I would use all the time. I'm for your albums, yeah, it's for your really scrapbooking. It's a really big sentiment, but if you put on shrink plastic and shrink it down, yeah, it it's sti it's still totally clear, and it makes a lovely smaller sentiment as well. The prices are really yeah. good. The quality as well, and it's just something it's hard to translate um, through the TV, but they're good. Stamp. They're good thickness to the stamps too. Eleven ninety nine. Your price zero four two two six eight. Your item number. Now we're going to head to our first demonstration. Let's jump onto the website. Lots to discover. What I would suggest is at your own leisure. If you do have access to our website or the Hochanda app, whether it's on your phone, your smartphone, or your tablet, have a little look and just see all the goodies on the show. So first time we brought you these elements individually. Do take advantage. We've got so many characters uh, to really bring to life through your inspirations. Uh, we didn't see our Frida Frog, so we're just going to show you here. There's Frida Frog, who is awesome. Uh, I know we did feature her a lot earlier on. Okay, we're going to head to Emma for our first demonstration. What we got, Emma? I'm going to use Jungle Diva. Amazing. Yeah. I just want to show, I know the big stamps, and if you've got a stamping platform, go for it. Yeah. Use that if you want, if you're not very confident. But I don't. I did have a stamping platform, but because... Um, not D and E or I stood on it. Oh, <laughs> oh no! I dropped it, stood up to get it, and stood on it. Oh uh, no. Yeah, I'm like bull in a china shop. Is what <laughs> my gran used to say. So what you can do? I've got the mixed media card, and I've already started with a little rainbow. So I was doing when you came in. Okay. I'm not sure how. I'll put it there actually. Oh, that's nice. They're just really. I mean, you don't even have to do mm. much. If you leave it on for a couple of seconds as well, the ink sort of soaks into the fibres. Mm. It's the same with if you do them on fabric. Yeah. Um, to make sure. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. And it doesn't take too much effort. No, not at all. So, what I have done, because I know some people like to mask off and some people like to cut out, so I started colouring one on here. And I've used some of these that are on the show. So you can't actually paint with them, the paste, okay. but you can paint as well. Oh. I'm just using the water brush. Nice. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to mask off. Yeah. I'm just going to, I've already coloured her and cut her out. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stamp all the little stamps behind it. Right. Just to let everyone know that the uh, paints that, or the gels that we were using, details are on your screen. So it's Pretty Gets Gritty. Uh, it's a Pretty Out There Acrylic Texture Gels collection. You're getting five in total, $29.95, saving five pounds. And they look really, I haven't had a chance to have a go with them myself. But they have look very not? interesting. They're, oh, I love them. They're mine. Yeah. <laughs> they're not Pretty get Gritty anymore. They're Emma's. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've already gone through a full Good. set of them. I've got them everywhere. Wow. In my journals. And yeah. I can't wait now. Uh, Lynette's back at Hochanda. I can't wait yes. to work with her. Well, I'm lucky enough to be helping her out as oh. well. Well, do next time you chat to Lynette, say hello from me. I bet she'll probably be watching. Oh. She will. She'll be watching. Mm -hmm. So that's the dragonfly. Like I see. I mean, it's an A5 stamp set, but they're not tiny little stamps. No, they're not. Um, I'm going to go in with my colours as well. This is what uh -huh. else these have made us do. It's a brand new stamp set, by the way, that you're working with, right? Yes. Yeah. They're so much more, because mm -hmm. there's so much more than what they are. I thought yeah. see it how it is. Um, so these mixed media papers, they've made me sort of stop, um, what's the word for it, chucking so much on. Mm. Is that? Yeah. So what I've done is I've stamped her out so I know where she's going to go, and all I'm going to do is go around it with these little stamps and 
build up a pattern. Oh, okay. It's going to look really messy at first, right. but I promise it won't be. Looking forward to seeing this. <laughs> See what happens. Uh, I think I'm trying to use every single one of them to show everybody what they're like. Yeah. I mean, you, you, 37 individual stamps. You're yeah. not going to be sport for choice, are you? I think so. And these are actually going to live on my desk. I'm pretty much guaranteed every time I come back with the line, these will be coming with us. Uh -huh. I don't know if we'll have them to sell still, uh -huh. but they'll be coming You'll with us. You'll have them to play. It's so just because it's a bit of everything. When you were designing these, I kind of get the impression that these were designed by a crafter for crafters. Yeah. I know that sounds very sort of cliche, yeah, but, but no other way. genuinely you can see it. It's what we, what I feel like I need when I've got stamp yeah. sets and things. Sort of just reaching for every yeah. time. Yeah. I do, I do think, I think we're all sort of, I mean I don't know, I might be speaking for myself, I think we all struggle a little bit to find that one thing, that little bit that goes behind. Yeah. Um, I mean even that one is just a cool little shape. Mm -hmm. You don't have to colour them in, you can just play. Right. What else? Oh, there's that one. I'll put that one on because this is the one that um, oh, yeah, like is this. the die as well. Yeah. I mean, bring your die cuts in even. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm only on for the two hours today. I would have loved to have kept going because I've actually used the little stamps on the die cuts uh, to build them up. Well, no, I've that's done them in journals. Yeah. I've, I mean, I've even die cut onto this paper, so I've already got mm -hmm. the black behind. Okay, can you just show those again? We got a shot of it. Yeah. Can you just show those? these ones so and this is what we so stamping onto the die cuts there's the flutter bug as well oh wow Colored it. Oh, i've got loads of them you can tell i've been a i yeah. mean even this flutter bug here if you if you maybe just um move they're just, no they're just hard to see if you can take oh. out the uh yeah. that's it that, better. that makes go. it so they're easier. all different patterned yeah. ones okay but then this one here it's a flutter bug butterfly type thing if yeah. you just cut that wing off You've then got a flutter by dragonfly. Uh, yes. And all the layering dies that are in here, you can mat and layer them up. Yeah. Or you can make flower petals. So, so was that something you're conscious of when you're designing or you discovered after? No, I try I try and think and usually what I do is I send them to your mum, I send them to your sister, mm -hmm. and then I ask Christopher. And he's got the best imagination. Yeah. And he'll say, No, it's rubbish. Yeah. And it's, he's brutally yeah. honest. Kids are honest. Oh yeah. brutal. And I mean, I, drew, I was drawing something the other night and I showed him the five different pages I'd done. And he said, not that one. I like that one. <laughs> and I thought that was my favourite. But it's nice to have that honesty. Oh, definitely, without a shadow of I wouldn't spot him. Because nine times out of ten, he's right. Mm -hmm. Sitting there, when we've filled that over there like that, okay. you can see it all behind. I think we do need some more flowers in, though. Okay. Not these ones. Yeah, Christopher is brutally honest and I know I keep talking about them all the time but I don't do anything else. Oh, well, you're a proud mum. I've got a Daniel as well. Yeah. But he's a teenager. <laughs> he's marvellous. No, they're both really good. Does Christopher watch you on TV? No. Oh. <laughs> he used to, he tells everybody. Yeah. He must be, he must be proud, mum yeah, on TV. Yeah, he's just, just taken away from what he's doing. He's a busy child doing nothing. <laughs> oh, those were the days. All you oh, have to yeah. do, what, what are we doing today? You have to play. Have a little yeah. nap and then play. So I loved uni. Is that what you did at uni? <laughs> played? That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much that. <laughs> and what I'm going to do actually for this one as well, now I've got Gorn. Yeah. I'm She's gonna, beautiful. Such a character, our yeah. jungle diva. I'm going to put some of this piece through in the uh -huh. blue. Right. Now, I think you can find these stencils, we class them as an end, end of call, so when you're checking out, uh, you'll get offered some items that you can add to your order and you won't get charged any additional uh, uh, shipping. Equally, if you're talking to our call centre, they can always add it into your order if you want. I'm just going to add a little bit. I'm not bothered if it goes over the flowers and things, because it's just going to add that little bit. Oh, that's nice. Something I like that. This is coming together very nicely. The, it all really works together. I mean, I brought out three new stencils last, last time I was on Fortnite ago, and even them work with these. Mm -hmm. I am very conscious that I want it all to work. Mm. I'm a bit uh, obsessive about it. Yeah. 
Emma, we've had a picture. Would you like to see oh, it? Oh, yes. This is from please. Linda. Let's have a little look. Oh, wow. Oh, that's the, the oh, one dear special. Yes. Of us. yes. I remember that. Linda, that's beautiful. I'm making full effect of the angels there. Uh, do you know what yeah. it is? I've seen some lovely pictures. Do yeah. send us them on Facebook. Yeah. And Linda's saying that she um, she also bought the So Much More stamp set. So that's going to work very nicely together. Ah, oh, excellent. Yeah. I'd, lo I'd love to see them. I mean, I do. if anybody does need any help, message us, honestly. You can, and as Emma said, and she genuinely would love to see what you make. So if you have made a purchase or got any crafty projects, do send uh, a picture to Emma you can find on oh, Facebook. Yeah. And also yeah. tag O'Chandering because we love to see it uh, too. Also, you'll find there are a lot of competitions uh, and giveaways following Hochanda on uh, social media. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It is well worth following Hochanda. And also keeping up to date on all the latest news, new additions to join the Hochanda family. Definitely. I love getting the email. Yeah. Of what's going to be on the next day. I've got, oh, there it is. I'm using the collage papers as well, mm -hmm. just behind here. I know it's going to look really busy until I stick her on. Okay. But uh, I like busy. But this is what it's about building up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just, I mean, this is the only one I've torn up. I've done a few samples with it and I just keep, I just, I just want to keep one of everything. Your papers are perfect for this technique. But this is what I wanted these ones for more collage. Yeah. But I'm going to mat and layer it onto mm -hmm. it. Um, so I'm going to have that one there coming down. And then once I get her on, mm -hmm. you'll see it all pop. Yeah. That's yeah, nice. Check them in the right place, though. Even saying that, even if it is a bit wonky, it doesn't matter because yeah. we've built up so much behind. Perfect. See, I've lost a leaf there, which isn't even a problem. Just Paint it in there. Lovely. And then, oh, I need to do my dragonfly. I would paint all these little flowers and things in the background as well. Mm -hmm. And then, shall we have um, jungle fever as well as a sentiment? Yeah, let's do that. I mean, these are um, the water based ink pads as well. Mm -hmm. So, if you can react to that. Yeah. Even do actually, people. Do you good. tend to travel in your mind through your craft so when you're designing obviously here we've gone in got such a tropical feel to the design um yeah what yeah really it's i don't, I don't want to make it I, I, what i when i was a kid i know i've said before about the imagination and things like that um when i've seen things they've kind of stuck yeah so when i'm drifting off on a night and i start to think of things mm -hmm. Sometimes I get back up <laughs> and start wow. to doodle or write it down. It, as a creative, it's the worst thing if you do, if uh, you, you can't stop your brain and you get an idea in the middle of the night, you do I have mean, to get it, jot it down. The as very you first die set I drew, I drew that like five, wait, well, it was early and that was half three I got up. Wow, wow, uh, half three? Half three I got up and I just went, oh, and I must have been thinking about it in my sleep, which is a bit odd. It's beautiful. I have to say, the team, and I, I forgot this, but we had a, the Hochanda years ago, we had a night out. It was a fancy dress night out. Yeah. And Emily, our producer, came as Carmen Miranda. So really? they were just reminding us of that. See, yeah. I, when I drew her, I didn't uh -huh. actually think of it as Carmen Miranda. But she's got that vibe too. It was one. Yeah. It, her butt, obviously, it's got that vibe to it. I've yeah. seen it and it's yeah, stuck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the same as the frog. Yeah. I mean, that's, I've, I've obviously seen something similar uh -huh. and it's stuck from a storybook. Yeah. I'm massive on st but like kids' stories and we're constantly influenced by our surroundings. Oh, definitely. I mean, like the angels last week. It turns out I'd seen an ornament very similar when I was a kid. Well, you told me you telling uh -huh. the story because your mum reminded you yeah. of that, didn't she? These um, gels. But gels, yes. Yeah. The pearlescent, so if you look there, you can oh. see the different colour, it goes so purple over the black. How would you use the gel? So we can stamp with them, we stamp can use them with, uh, with our stencils, stencils, we can paint with them. Yeah, mix yeah, stuff nice. in it, mix beads into it. Oh, okay. Anything you want. Nice. So that is that. I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. Where's she gone? There. there it is. I've got my tiny stamp block. Yeah. Because I'm dead organised. Huh. I even came today without. Pokey tool? A pokey tool. Oh, so I watched your show earlier. I came without a paintbrush. Is that all yeah. left at home? Yeah, it's all left It's all right, because you do have to, I mean, I can imagine you so don't yeah, travel light to a show. Must be a lot of things you have to put into the car. I come on the train. I'm normally organised. I've normally got two more Wait, do you come on the train with everything you bring in? Yeah. It's got me little uh, wheelie suitcase. <laughs> I'm fabulous, as you yeah. should see, as I'm 
don't want to travel light either. As <laughs> long as I've got a pocket for my phone. <laughs> I'm going to use this. Okay. It might be a bit dark. I might have to use a darker colour. Okay. But so I'm looking for a... No, nah, you need a darker colour. Alright. Let's try again. Good thing about that is you can't see it, so I can just go straight back over. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Oh, no. no. That's all right. No. Do it again. We're going on a yellow. This is how I play at home as well. There. That's where we're going. Lovely. Yeah, better. Better. And then, mm -hmm. I don't try and cut these out. Perfect. Just go around. It's like a banner then, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, they are and the perfect papers to decoupage with, aren't they? Oh, you can do all sorts. I'm going to um, decoupage a box with them. Oh, that would be nice. Put them onto a box. Instant, because they give that illusion of texture, colour. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, the design team have had a lovely time. At the mm. fit, as soon as they got them, I got a message saying how much they love this paper pack. Oh. With the mixed media ones and things. We do need to mention the design team because they've done such a good job. Yes, I've and got some beautiful I, inspirations here. I have a list on the floor. Oh. I'm still saying I've got okay. Denise, yep. Linda, Clay, Julia, Maria, Julie, uh, Jules, and Tamara. Oh. And then I've stole two of Charmaine's, which is Anne Marie and Sue. Yeah. Because they're very good. So I borrowed them as well. well so I've nice. had loads of help. Sh nice that you there share you nicely. Are. There you go, it's Jungle Fever, it beautiful mixed media piece, could be the start of a scrapbook page. You've yeah. got choices. Thank you, Emma. Thank uh, you we're very just going to have a very quick recap. So, what we have here, it's a brand new today, and this is what Emma's been playing with are uh, new stamps. And I have to say that you are getting so many stamps on one set. I'm just going to hold this up so you get an idea of just how many stamps and the size that's the dragonfly we we're using so beautiful stamps if we just refer to the packaging now and you'll be able to see obviously the design in a little better detail going through but all of these elements that you're seeing on the front of the packaging are stamps that you get so you've got that drippy drippy heart you've got the insects in there as well like little butterflies you've got textures we've got floral aspects fancy aspects stars think about mixed media for your textures building a focal point because you can take all those floral elements and you can create such a quite a focused design or equally we can pattern build or we can add some texture into our projects as well what Emma has done with these stamp sets, she described it as these are the stamps that you will reach for all the time. Just having a look, you've got that wonderful little butterfly in the mix, then we've got our dragonflies, love this inspiration, and then your flowers. So here we've been quite focused. Get another inspiration here, using the papers, and that's just a, a lovely focused design. Oh, the um, papers of the vase, is that the rain? Yeah. Yes. I, I didn't see that before. Every time you look, you see something different. We can then use here, we just created a lovely little border with the detail. So it shows just how effective the stamps are. Or equally, what about this? Isn't that nice? So we've got our main feature here, but then all that detail in the back using the stamps as well. Great stamp set. It really is. And you're getting an awful lot for your money. I think $14.99, good price considering it is a new today. You're getting 37 stamps in total. There, 241777, your item number. We also have the papers for you, uh, and Emma was just showing how effective the papers are. What I'm going to do is just, I'll, I'm going to hold up some uh, examples with the papers, how you get instant effects. So if you want to die cut the papers, that is an absolute win. Uh, with the papers, you've got that mixed media paper in the, the printed mixed media card, I should say. That's the frame here that you're working with. This is another one with that mixed media card. Just love the frame because it gives you a perfect starting point. Or now, if you do love your mixed media, oh yes. Isn't that fabulous? That is cool. Or how about here? This is another really nice showcase of how the papers can be used to such great effect. Cut them down. There's, I mean, there's a lot we could do. This is just the front of an album. Beautiful. I will show you the papers very quickly, and I will be quick here, but I think you need to see them. So, now there are your papers. Look at that, though. Beautiful. Oh, actually, I'm going to turn this around. 
and that looks good. Or how about this one? What this is my favourite. That is such a lovely piece. I don't think Emma had it in her mind to create a coastline, but I can't see anything else now. I think that's stunning. You are getting two of each. I'm just holding up each of the designs just so we can see them, but you will be getting two. Lovely colours, each one individual, something different in there. And it's a nice starting point. So if you are daunted, and I hear this a lot from crafters, sometimes staring at a blank piece of paper waiting to start, it can be a bit daunting. But what Emma has done, now we're onto our mixed media card here, is giving you a starting point. So whether you just want to add a little bit of colour, pop of colour, leave it at that, you can. Sentiment done. Or equally, build it into a larger collage and composition. So there we go, getting all of those. $14.99 is your price, getting an awful lot for your money, 065-618, your item number. We're going to head back to Emma for our next demonstration. I'm playing now. <laughs> You've lost us. I'm making, because I love to make ATCs. Yeah. And I know my stamps are really quite large. And then I've got these little ones. So mm -hmm. I was thinking ATC feathers. So now I've cut some of them out in the mixed media. An ATF. ATF, that's yeah. all right. You said that earlier on, so I can't take credit yeah, for no, that. No, but yeah. yeah. I just thought, I thought if I get it muddled up and I say something, I shouldn't. Because yeah. <laughs> it'll come out. I remember uh, talking about the UN the ultra thick embossing, and yeah. that came out all wrong. Okay. What mm. I said for that. People will remember if they've watched. Oh, you're going to have to tell me after the show I now. Will. My mind's wandering. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory, really, if you think about what else. <laughs> there we are. What I've done is I've stamped yeah. the little flowers out onto them. Yeah. These ones. These were just uh, the mixed media card. Mm -hmm. And then these ones, what I've done is I've cut out into the mixed media. Oh, right. Into the ones with the uh, monochrome on. Yeah. And I'm cutting them out. But, as you build these up, right, you've really lost us now, I'm so sorry. This is good, no. <laughs> this is what I like. I'll stick with these three that I've got. Okay. And then this is one of the dies as well. Mm -hmm. I'll tear it down. And I've got loads of flowers and things cut, yeah. and cut out and coloured. I didn't think you'd want to stand and watch us colouring all afternoon. Do you know what I like? Emma, do you know what I love about working with you is yeah. it just feels like hanging out with a crafty friend and just doing a bit of crafting. Yeah, that's what we're doing. This is it. Yeah. This is why we love to craft. Uh, lots to explore. What I would suggest as we're doing this, any questions, please get in touch. Studio at hochanda.com. We would love to hear from you. There is no such thing as a silly question. Uh, equally, have a little look at everything on the show at your own leisure. So you can do that on our website or use the Hochanda app. There definitely is not anything a silly question because everybody's got to learn. Yeah. We we'll all start somewhere. Mm -hmm. There we are. You're not going to be able to see the feather anymore on this, but you could have just used a plain bit of card behind. Yeah. Oh, I've cut this one out as well. I would have that coming. Like that. No. I know what I'll use. Where have they gone? I'm going to use my little squirrels. These feathers would be nice to create your own dream catcher. Oh, yeah, definitely. There's my squirrel on there. Oh, yeah, the little ant. <laughs> I'm not going to live that one down. <laughs> and then there's some of the leaves mm -hmm. as well. See, I've even sort of made it so you can get away with not cutting out all the thin little lines. And nice. he's hiding. Cute. And then we need some words. This is honestly, this is all I do. I play and I make so much mess doing it and so many don't get seen. Uh -huh. But it's the best way to learn, isn't it? Yeah. Um, happy. Happy. You you always strike me as such a happy, positive person. I am. I get wrong sometimes. I'm grumpy. Hmm. I can't imagine you grumpy. Not me. No. The other half I call grumpy. Oh, oh, oh yeah, cool. <laughs> but that's it. It's a yin and yang. Oh, definitely. He'll ring me sometimes. And he'll, do you know when you just want ring somebody and you want someone to whinge along with you? And I'm like, no, oh. it's fine. He's like, oh, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking to you anymore. You strike me as a kind of friend who you, you pick people up. You know, you've got friends we talk to and there always seems to be a drama. With you, yeah. it's the opposite. You're no. the person you ring up and you always put a smile on your friend's face. I, I don't know about that, but I don't like drama. Yeah. I'm going to stab that on end day instead. Nice I was doing mind. it on the papers, but I've changed my mind. Oh, come on. It's teasing you. Yes, it's Leonie's. I blame her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to add that one in there. And there okay. is, you can't actually see it anymore, apart from a bit around the edge. 
I'll make a bigger one as well, so I can see it. Okay, go for it. You can do whatever you like. Yeah. We've got lots of time, so why don't yes. you just halfway through the show? So I'm halfway. That's fine. Yeah. I've just got loads of stuff to play with. Yeah. I always come over prepped. Uh, we're using the gels now. These are your Pretty Gets Gritty gels, the acrylic gels that I know you're a big fan of. You've been using I these a lot. I am a big fan of these. I'm a big fan of um, most of Lynette, like all of Lynette's things. Yeah. I've been collecting it over the years. I've got quite a bit of that MDF as well, which I'm keeping for yeah. a special occasion. Do you know what's nice? And I love this, how well all... So there are so many companies and crafters here, and you all get on so well. We do. We really, really, really do. Yeah. I mean, I talk to everybody. Yeah, yeah. And not, not only that, you shop as well. Yeah. Like Emma shops. Like, for instance, uh, well, I was doing a show, it was Be Crafty, and yeah. uh, you got some stamps from them. Uh, yeah. John Next Door, I saw Crafts yeah. too. You got the carry case that I actually yes. bought for my mum and my mother-in-law, and they love it. Yeah, it's brilliant, that carry yeah. case. It's That's a good buy. Yeah, well, I bring it with us. I've got my nice. little suitcase, which is behind here, then I've yeah. got my little carry case with nice. everything else in. Oh, yeah. There we are. Oh, that's nice. Hey, these gels are cool. Pink and green. See, colours you wouldn't normally think mm. to put together. I just put them together. Why not? They say no it. rules. I'm looking after the brush because the only... <laughs> okay. And then again, I've got all these little flowers. Nice. So what, what advice would you give anyone maybe just building up their knowledge and experience as a crafter, especially with mixed media? What advice could you offer? Just play. Honestly, Good just, advice. I think a lot of it's fear in case people get it wrong. Yeah. And to, it's a bit of paper. It's not the end mm. of the world. I mean, you, you can recycle it, put it in the recycling bin, it's not the end of the mm. world ever. Do you ever have a plan as you're doing it? So when you're going, do you kind of maybe lay it out and have an idea or you just let, let your creativity guide you? Sometimes I layer it up. Most of the time I just mm -hmm. put it on. If I don't like it, you can yeah. take I mean, it's not stuck forever at first, is it? With a bit of wet glue. Um, no, I'm um, just go for it. I know mm -hmm. I've had quite a few people say I'm more adventurous now since mm -hmm. watching. But the best description I was ever given when you say just let the creativity uh, mm -hmm. take you. I was having a conversation with Chris, our director, mm -hmm. and I didn't know this, but he studied creative dance at, at university. All right. And he was saying the key to it is it is just to let go and see where it takes you. It is. I, I do think it's the fear of the unknown for a lot of people. Yeah. And at the end of the day. Uh -huh. It's like anything, everybody, it's like learning to walk yeah. or learning to write. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all this is is shapes, and all you're doing is putting it together in colour. I mean, buy a colour wheel if you really, really yeah. uh, can't decide what to use. Mm -hmm. But me, the clashy colours are the best colours. Orange and yeah, pink yeah. together, I love it. Have some fun with it. Yeah. Oh, that's not, now see, that yeah, looks very cool. As well. I like that a lot. And then even the bubble flower, I mean, you could. Pop that in. I mean, now yeah. I'm building up a page. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm off. Okay. I grabbed it's my journal. We got you. That's it. I was tidy. Nice. Now I'm not. Oh, can, it, can we take a moment just to have a little peek at the front there? Yeah. Oh, the front. This Look is, at this. This is my very first stamp set. Em, I love your style. That's that is lady beautiful. Book. I remember her. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's obviously the frog and jungle diva and the feather. This looks amazing. Yeah. This is like your art journal. Yeah. This looks so cool. Yeah, and then, I don't know. Oh, there, that's the yeah. girls as well. Okay. I was going to see how far back. I've got some things in there you're not meant to see yet. All oh, right, okay. But wait and see what's coming. Oh. oh. See, now I'm thinking I've got that one I made. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that that, that absolutely works. It really does, doesn't it? And that's another thing. My art journals are never finished. Yeah. Ever. You can always go back. This is a good example, and that highlights the point you can see it how well all your designs work together so something yeah. from your first release is still working equally well with a new release today yeah, I mean, just <laughs> oh there's yeah. some of the baton paper see it'll work over then even oh, okay you'd be um, very conscious not to reveal I know, anything i don't want to show anybody the secrets but watch this okay. space it's so exciting <laughs> 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 so that's that i think yeah. we need some words okay and it's gonna have to be this one yeah there's my tiny block again so can you uh can you let us in? Because obviously there's some hidden things inside your art journal. Obviously, don't show us. No. But no. Can you let us know when we might be expecting new stuff? 17th of next month. Ooh. Yes, it's all yes, and wait. Oh my gosh, wait. It's, it's gonna cool. work perfect with this. Really? All of this. Oh god, yeah. I love your excitement. Yeah. I'm really excited. I actually got a picture uh -huh. of the stamps and things yeah. that are all in packets now because uh -huh. the first they were in, but they've been ready for ages. 
the, the last thing to do was the put in packaging. Yeah. And I got a picture. Amazing. I did, I rang you, it. You have built such a, a strong fan base. I would say more like a community. So yeah, many crafters more follow you. I wouldn't say fans, friends. Yeah. Or friend, friends yeah. base. Yeah, but I see it, and I see your interaction on social media, and you've got so many viewers who love to watch your shows and have really embraced, because you have got such a distinctive style. Yeah, um, there's a lady in Australia, actually. What? <laughs> Australia? I didn't <laughs> yeah. know this. I've been talking to her for a while. Um, I she's I think she emailed in some. on the earlier show, I'm she told. She did, yes, yeah, she emailed in. She was wow. probably asleep now. Whereabouts in Australia, is she? Adelaide, I think. Ah. She did send us a picture of a koala in her back garden. No way. Really jealous, ah. yes. Really, really jealous. Um, yeah, there's a koala mm -hmm. in her back garden and she yeah. sent us a picture of the beach and I'm like, it's practically snowing in Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freezing. We went out with our hat and yeah. scarf on the other day. Yeah, we literally got, had to have a scarf on. The heating's so starting to come on now, isn't yeah. it? It's got that kind of... We've held off as long as possible. It's still warmer here. A it's lot nice warmer. Here. Yeah. I mean, I was cold last night here, but I come out get off the train and I'm immediately taking layers off. Do you know, lovely coming to work at Ho-Chanda. When it's scorching hot, no. we've got beautiful air con. When it's freezing cold, we've got nice heat. last few weeks and you walked out there. Yeah. I got sunburnt looking out the window. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was awful yeah. hot. I'm one of these people that want to go on holiday in November, though. Yeah. I've got ginger person's skin and dark hair. Yeah. <laughs> so... Having a look. Well, there we are. I would say that's, that's nice. maybe finished now. That's lovely. I much prefer it. Beautiful. And just showing you what you can achieve uh, with the stamps, with the dies. Oh. Maybe you're creating your own. Uh, what's this? Another one. That's what I was showing this morning. Ah. Just made a little. Yeah, so many, so many things to play with. So just letting you know, we've got two new todays today, and we're also featuring dies and stamps that you might have seen in the past, but on the show today, it's the first time you've been able to get hold of them individually. Uh, the stamps are very popular, and they absolutely should be. Can I just say, hand on heart, as a crafter, when I saw this set, and I'm just going to hold this up to show you the amount... Mm, I need some weight. Look at the amount that you are getting on one stamp set. That is a big stamp set, 37 stamps. And when you think about this, and I know as crafters, we can totally relate. Just using one stamp, so say that dripping heart, or the little butterfly, the dragonfly, uh, you've got a little floral spray here. I'd be using the textures coming through. We've got stars, we've got raindrops in there. We've got modern contemporary uh, flowers in there. So many, each one of these a separate stamp. It is chocker block. So pattern building, being more focused. We can do everything. We can create borders uh, with this as well. Just going to show you a few examples of what you could be achieving. For instance, I think this is actually using the set. Is that using the set? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to hold that up. So there, you've just got so many, it's resources. And I find, and this is the biggest tip I could give, especially with mixed media, is having a stash to build up or to dip into. Mm -hmm. You've got 37 stamps in total, so we can pattern build. We can create beautiful mixed media pieces. We can be a bit more focused with our designs as well. There is so much you can do. If you like clean and simple, fantastic. If you wanted to pattern build, absolutely. It is a brand new stamp set. It's proving popular. 37 stamps. If you're a fan of Clever Prints, if you're a fan of crafting, and you just want to add some diversity, something new into your stash, 14.99 is absolutely not going to break the band. 241-777, your item number. We'll head back to Emma, who you've got about six minutes. Yeah, I'll just, it's just a really quick one. I just want to show that you don't just have to use them. This can be a finished bit as well. Okay. So I'm taking some of the flowers. I've made them with masking sheets. Uh -huh. And we're using the frames from our paper bundle and card, yeah. mixed media card. There's three frames on the sheet and there is two sheets of it. Okay. So just masking. Oh, Emma, come on, you were right. That way. Masking them off. Lovely. I'm trying not to smudge the ink as well. Do you tend to make a lot of masks for your stamps? No, I'm doing it more now mm -hmm. than I ever did. I quite like cutting out. Okay. Um, but it's each to their own. Yeah, of course. These masking sheets were on a happy hour show. And you nabbed them, did you? Uh -huh, I got them off that. I thought, yeah. oh, that's a good idea. You, I, Emma, you watch a lot of Ho Chanda. 
I've just nothing else on, really. <laughs> you <laughs> tend to have us in the background. Yeah, just it's company. If oh. the kids are out and things, and I'm in the house, I mean, you want to just put these on, then you so just oh, chat. Nice. And the parrot as well shouts on, so I turn it off, so I can't hear him. Does a parrot like men? The parrot prefers women. Yeah, do you know, I've experienced this, because I, I had a friend when I was younger who had a parrot, and the parrot just disliked men. No, he doesn't reason. dislike me, and I mean he likes grumpy, but ah. he doesn't like grumpy being anywhere near me. Michael's grumpy. Just <laughs> this parrot did not like men, and I remember right? walking into a room, and the parrot, it turned and looked menacingly at me, mm -hmm. and then started flying. What it didn't realise was the patio doors were shut, so it closed <laughs> patio doors. It was absolutely fine, can I say, <laughs> but I seen the, the parrot stagger around, I thought, you've learned your lesson there, because you're about to be mean. My but brother did that. Yeah. What did he do? <laughs> Ran down my grandma's stairs and tried to jump through the patio window. Oh. It was like a comedy thing, you know, in the land. Stairs it was back. fine. Yeah. It was absolutely fine. I mean, it'd take a lot more than that. But I love how it tickled you, though. Oh, it really did. <laughs> oh, dude, I did. used to love it when he hurt himself. It was so funny. That's a, that's Not a as long sibling, as it wasn't serious. That's face. a sibling love. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, he used to laugh at me as well. Yeah. I mean, the best bit was we're trying to the tooth fairy and trying to get a tooth out when we were kids, and I fell backwards off the ladders, and he pretended to sleep when my dad came upstairs and got wrong. And he was trying to pull me tooth out. He and you got in trouble. Yeah. Oh. I mean, trouble off my dad was get to bed now, but yeah. that was enough. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So we're just masking off the flowers. Yeah. There we are, getting in the Lovely. right place. I will do a quick reveal. I know I haven't got long. Right. No, you got time. Yeah, you actually got a few minutes, so don't rush. Yeah. I'm going to take them off now anyway. You've got about four minutes. That's so cool. I do really enjoy that look that you get from them. Yeah. Well, that and is nice. That mo see, the masked effect is nice. I say you can either cut out, we can mask off. Yeah, and just use your watercolours, ink pads, acrylics, mm -hmm. um, alcohol pens, pencils. Whatever, you, whatever floats your boat. We had a show on. I wasn't in, but I, I tuned into Hochanda and watched a little bit. We had some uh, new alcohol markers. They look really good. Oh, I've got my eye on something. Simsy's bringing soon. Who's bringing? Louis Sims. Oh, okay. <laughs> I keep calling her Simsy. <laughs> Forget where I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she mentioned she had a show coming up with something. And I was like, oh. Oh. Okay, I don't so know if I can say though. Watch this space. It's a weekend. Maybe it's okay. next weekend. All right. We'll lose in today, we have to ask her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she may tell you, but yeah, yeah. it's uh, the fabulous. Nice. And again, I'm not being precious colour on the main. Yeah. At the end of the day, flowers are every colour. Of course they are. Mm. This is the hard part, picking the colour. You Colour, I kind of, every time I work with you, get the impression colour is a big part of yeah. your style. You it's really a big do like part to express your art. Life color. really, isn't it? Yeah, it just cool. makes us happy. I mean, black and white, yes, it's lovely, but throw a bit of colour on anything, it mm. cheers it up. Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to a little bit more. And then what I would do to finish that one off, because it's there, really, okay. I would. I need to must remember to put them back. This one in pink, love. I do like the love. I like my curly. Me curly lip. Yeah. And then this can go on the front of a card. I mean, it could be get well, it could be anything. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I think that's really, really sweet. We build it up onto here. Yeah. And then mount it onto some black. And then you've got a card. Oh, that's nice. And just everything makes everything pop. The frames uh, which you get there on the mixed media paper with uh, mixed media card, sorry, with the papers that you've got there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, everything just works beautifully and coordinates so and wonderfully. Everything together. goes together. I mean, that that is the plan. It stops people. It takes the guesswork out for for a lot of people as well. If yeah. something automatically is going to work, yeah, then you don't need to. Worry, do you? you right. Just play. Just a quick just reminder the with bit. the papers, I will show you the designs that you're getting now. They are brand new today, but beautiful. Like, come on. That already, you are winning. I love the colours, and it just goes back to what we were discussing how uh, colour is a huge part of Emma's crafting. 
She likes to express her designs with those colors, but not only that, textures as well. That is such a nice starting point. So can you imagine using that building, adding your dyes on there, your stamps, decoupaging, tearing little bits off so you can just tear a bit off and add it onto a piece. So much to play around. And what Emma's passionate about doing, my favorite's coming up. Love that. Oh, you've got to use Anyone uses this, please tag me in. I want to see how you use it. But look, just fantastic pieces. But then we have our mixed media card. And what I will do is just show you here. I'll give it a. That. It's good stuff there. Fabulous. Yeah. So we've got our mixed media card as well with designs you can throw water and textures and mediums at that so $14.99 you're getting the colored backing papers and you're also getting the mixed media uh, card stock in the mix as well so 10 of the printed mixed media cards and 14 of the color papers 065618 Emma when are you back I am back the 17th of November with a one-day special with a one-day special Ooh. I'm still building here yeah. can you can you say anything it's a little bit different, but it'll match in perfect so with everything. 17th of November. 17th. It's a one-day special, yeah. um, and it's colourful. Okay. And it's That's cool. what you're saying. Yeah. Watch Emma and Clever Prince on, or look out for them on social media. I'm sure she'll give you some sneak peeks. Thank you oh, so well, much, Emma. Thank you so much. I'm still Thank pleased. you for your company as well. <laughs> Enjoy. So we have got the fantastic Jubilee Fabrics up next, designs by Jubilee Fabrics. After that, Pink Ink Designs, our one day special, and then another look at Picture This. What an afternoon here at Hochanda. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family-run company from the Midlands and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. Tune into our Chanda, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate 
to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hachanda. Well, good afternoon. We have got an hour, a, fa a fabulous hour. Of course, it's featuring Dewberry fabrics and designs. Now, why would you, how would you like to make a bottle bag perfect for Christmas presents? Well, we have got the woman who has uh, designed it for you. And of course, uh, Julie is here. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Glad to be here. Uh, very glad to have, uh, uh, to have you here. Now, I was thinking bottles of wine for Christmas is a perfect present. It is. But but all year round. It's yes, what? it is. Um, or you could uh, put any other bottle in there, really. But, you know, like, so a bottle of gin if you want. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> or maybe uh, if you are like many people now, they are doing, uh, you know, the dry October. So yes. they could be elderflower or something like that. Oh, or, yes. Uh, you know, I discovered a really nice tonic the other day. <laughs> and it says you don't even need the gin. It's absolutely delightful. So that could, you know, that is a lovely present. Yeah. So with, with those, I've quilted them, but you don't have to quilt them. And that one there, if you put insulated wadding in it and you put it on the table, it would keep your wine cool, wouldn't it? So Now for your champagne. Yes, well, your champagne, yes. <laughs> I mean, or Prosecco or Cava. I mean, I'm just like going, uh, you know, what, I'm thinking Christmas. But that, that's amazing. That's yeah, such no. a good idea. Now, now well, you have got uh, different options here. Uh, I can see this and this way. Then there is uh, this other way. Do we get all three different patterns? In the pattern, yes, you do. So you can choose what you make. And I've, um, with one, we only use, we use some ribbon, so I've included that as well. So, um, so if I'm going to give the um, uh, to everybody at home, if you want to go just for the pattern, that option is available at the bottom of the screen. However, you probably want to go for the pick and mix because that you pick two of them and you will get the fabric and the ribbon to make two of these yeah. ones. Yeah. And again, they get the instructions on how to make all three of them. You do. Yes. So, for instance, if I went for this pick and mix, I could do, say, these two out of, out of these ones, and then I could do the third one out of fabric. Of my yeah. fabric. Yeah. yeah, you could. What, well, can we talk through the options that we okay. have here? Right here? Of course. So, the first, oh, that one's um, the red bauble, and I've added a red lining to it to, to finish that off, and with that, you get some red ribbon. Oh, that's got a slightly metallic. Um, yeah, printing print is it? throughout it, yeah. yes, which makes it very Christmassy and also it with does. Christmas baubles. And, and it catches, and I love, as, uh, you know, that metallic printing on the fabric because it does give that luxury it feel. Does. But it still is super soft. It is, yes. It's, it's a good quality fabric. It is. One. Yeah, they are beautiful quality. And then you have got the gorgeous, is that a pint? Uh, yes, a fur cone, cone yeah. yes. So, um, and I've added a, a pale grey lining to that so that you could, you put that, and you've got a white ribbon that goes with that one. 
But then again, it's very pretty, I think. It is. One. It is. I, I think the choices of farm breaks are gorgeous because they are very elegant, classic Christmas, yes. but also I think all year round. There is one that I definitely think is definitely all year round. Then we have got, is this the holly? Holly, uh, yes. Um, so that's quite a cheerful one, isn't it? A hot, that, nice holly with some red lining fabric. I love the lining because it's like a it's like, Yes, it is snowy, isn't it? Or it could be bubbles of oh, champagne, or you know, or <laughs> or whatever, you know, or it just you know, just uh, a tonic, just without the gin, you know. Also, <laughs> and then we have got the gorgeous let us know fabric. That's in a here. bit of a jolly one, that one, it isn't is, it? It is. It is. You know, I have to say, as a car maker as well, I kind of thinking this is fabric. I just want. To trim bits in here. Do we get any leftover? You will get some leftover, yes, because um, you don't use the whole width of the fabric, so you will get some leftover. I mean, if you wanted to, you could make little mats, you know, yeah. coasters. With because I was leftover. thinking, this I would definitely want to yeah, and use it for little cards and things oh, like yes, that. You, could so, do you know, that. bits yes. and pieces. And of course, this one comes with the lining. Of, I, there is something to be said about printed white on white, even though the camera struggles a little bit. And oh, look at that. You can see it perfectly. But it's just gorgeous. It's so elegant. It is. I think so. And then, of course, that comes with uh, the, yeah, the white uh, ribbon. And then, then we have got the poinsettia here, which is, well, it doesn't get more traditional. No, it doesn't. Christmas. And I've picked a nice lime green um, lining to go with that one as well, which finishes it off nicely. Yeah, it does. And it makes it the red pop. It does. It, it definitely does. does. Doesn't it? Uh, that comes with the red ribbon. And finally, uh, I think this is your favourite. I think that one's my favourite, yes. I love that fabric. Oh, this is But to be honest, you could use that all year around that one couldn't you definitely I think this one is absolutely the one that you could use at all year round I'm going to show you a, the finished sample with this one because I just think that once you put it and this one has been quilted beautifully but look at that isn't it beautiful yeah when you have it like this it's definitely all year round yes and I think um, you know if you're going to give a bottle a bottle over at Christmas whatever bottle just m putting it in a handmade bottle bag just makes it that little bit more special. I love your idea because of course there is no wording included but I love the idea of um, the insulated, insulated wadding. one. So they could put in wadding or if you don't want to put in wadding you could just interface the fabric as well so there's a couple of options which is why we didn't include the wadding because you might want to insulate it, you might not want to put wadding in, yeah. but yeah, so there's a few and, options. And of course, uh, you can find wadding on the website or interfacing as well. Uh, 378586 is the Ankton number. Remember, you pick whichever two are your favourites. £19 and £99 is your uh, your price for that one. And then we have got the gorgeous tote bags in here. Now. They are big bags. They are big bags, yes. <laughs> and they are absolutely beautiful. You have got three different options for you. Now, you have got the B in natural, which is the one that you can see in here. Then we have got the B in pink with a glorious, uh, go you can see the detail at the bottom. And then, uh, oh, oh, that's going to that's going to fall over. Oh, let me put it down. And then we have got the Highland Cow. Shall I put them down so you can see them better like this? And then like this, because I can. So then we have got the Highland Cow there. Uh, now these ones are the different options. Now I'll show you with this one because it's, this is a proper nice it big is, size. Yes. I mean, I think I would fit inside. <laughs> Like, if, because I'm so short, I have no legs to speak of. But, you know, you can just like... Uh, but it, it, this it is, is so a big handy. bag, yes. But it's a great bag for going shopping with, you know. You just put... And it's quite strong because it's got linen in it. It's very strong. And I also thinking, as a quilter that you, you know, are, are, are so is, this is perfect for craft mats that you may have the small... The 12 by 12 or the 18 inches. Will they fit inside it? Yes, it would. Yes, yes. So uh, also, so it's like also kind of a craft. It bag. could be a craft yeah. bag. Yes. I love them. Uh, now, of course, what do we get exactly? In I'm going to put them down because it kind of otherwise I cannot through, look through. Um, now, what do we get exactly in so the kit? So you'll get two of the panels, the picture panels. So okay. you, so you have yeah. one on the front and one on the back. 
and then you're going to get some coordinated fabric which is a small print version of the panels which goes down the side and along the bottom of the bag and the handles and then also we've also included a little bit of colour um, fabric just to make it you know a bit pop a bit okay. And then, of course, you have got the uh, panel, uh, the, the little binding kind yes, of element. Yes, yes, so that's, that's the little flange, which just adds a little pop of colour. And there you can see it. And, and this is a perfect match of colour, isn't it? It is, yes. It's kind yes. of that beautiful. And then, of course, you have got the, uh, is this uh, for the that's lining? That's for the lining in the tote bags. So you get the lining, so you, you've got everything you need to make it. Fabulous. And, of course, you get the instructions you as do, well. You do, yes. So you get in the instructions in here, so nice and easy to follow. If I open them, so you have got the written instructions as well as the pictures as well. So yes, you have we always got put a lot of pictures in our patterns because I think it just helps. It helps you to understand. It does. Now, of course, that I'm going to show you the finished sample of uh, the actually the, the bee in pink, and you can see how glorious that bright pink then come out, comes in and the binding in here. Well, no, do you call it binding or? It's like a flange, you know. Flange. It's like a piping sort of little. Uh, extra, yeah. yeah. Flange. How how do you spell that? F L A N G E. Oh yeah, that, I thought that that's what um, anyway. <laughs> that's, no, it says in Latin it's also fang, finger. Oh okay, yeah. oh, right. <laughs> I don't know random thing. <laughs> okay, well I've learned something today. So have I. So you know, uh, right? That is the V in Peng, and then we have got uh, the. Um, the, the Highland cow in here, and then I love the Highland cow. I think it's in a stunning image. It's lovely, isn't it? It is powerful as well, and it, I just love how the hair the comes, hair, yeah, yes, comes like, across. Yeah, it's just it's like the eyes. Be, you know, it's such a sweet image. And of course, you have got in this one for the flange here. Uh, you have got the um, the <laughs> and you can see that beautiful lilac. Uh, beautiful fabric and the sides as well and then the final one that I want to show you because that one will have the different um, piping or influence there uh, is the uh, the one that is in the black which is the B in natural right is your options of you can see them there is they have got the same item number 518967 and 19 pounds or 99 pence is the price right moving on we have got one more project using the Highland cow and this one is the cushion and Oh, I love that. He's lovely, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yes. Now, what do we get here? So you get one panel, and then you get the coordinating fabric for the back, and so you get little cows on the back, and oh, then yeah. s s the fabric to go round the to frame the cow as well. Yeah, look at that. And of course, you have got that. This is piping, right? Or yes. Yeah. Yes. That would be and that gorgeous matching color. And I think you you have got such an eye for color, putting the matching ones. That yeah, kind it of just makes it um, the picture or the stand it out a little bit. It. it does frame it. It frames it, it yes. perfectly and brings it to life. Right. And of course, you have got the instructions in here. Let me show you again. So those, I'm just going to show you a pa uh, page in here so you can see that it comes with a lot of pictures as well as uh, the writing instructions. Now, if you want to go for this cushion kit, brand new today, 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Remember that you have got in here as well the zipper. It's a long zipper, that one. It is, yes. Yes. It's, uh, so it goes all that one. It would be on the it's side. Extra, yeah, so it's extra long, so you can trim it to size. Perfect. So we would, you know, we would just cut through it and then yes. glue. Perfect. Uh, Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. Uh, six four five three six three is your item number. Then we have got the baby safari head. Now there's different options in here. So let me tell you that you have got two. First, the first choice that you need to make is which color you want it, blue or pink, and then which animal you want. The zebra or the giraffe so basically you can have the zebra in blue and the giraffe in pink or vice versa so it's your choice of now 15 pounds and 99 pence is your price what do we get for our money so you actually get two little panels so it's a double-sided cushion so if you flip it around you've got a little saying on the back oh that's so um, cute so yeah, so it's quite cute so i you get all the fabric well you get all the fabric to make that so you yeah, just don't need... go breaking my heart. That's so <laughs> no. cute. 
<laughs> and, and I think the, the, um, the, uh, the zebra's got a different saying, sleep tight. Oh, good night, sleep tight. Oh, so this is one of those ones that you can have during the day, like, you know how in the very fancy hotels, they kind of then, uh, they turn the bed over at five o'clock or something, I don't know what time, and then they leave a little chocolate or something like yes. that. You could do that with the pillow. You could, yes. So yes, then you, you want it. That's so cute. I love this. I love so right uh, if you remember that you make it your choice between the color the pink giraffe the pink zebra the blue giraffe or the blue zebra 15 pounds and 99 pence is your price 355-944 is your item number right jump on down to the website to see exactly what jewelry designs have brought today there's lots more including quilt kits that they come in three different sizes including lap is the slab size the single and the double options there you can see them is the kaleidoscope uh, pretty in blue then also there is of course there is those toe bags that we have referenced but there is a beautiful elephant the work the elephant in work uh, sort of quilts which is really striking as well now there is also the kaleidoscope rule oh that's that's the one elephant walk quilt kit that's vibrant and beautiful colors as well and not forgetting the jewelry designs kaleidoscope ruler which uh, can, you can see that probably works with the kaleidoscope, I would imagine. The uh, kaleidoscope ruler, yeah. you, c you get a template, but if you want to use a proper ruler, you, okay. can, you can get that as Perfect. well. Perfect. Uh, right, so we'll head back to Julie uh, to see uh, the first demonstration of the, other, uh, of the hour. Uh, what are you going to show us? So please? I thought I'd show you how to make um, one of the bottle bags, first of all. Um, so with these, I, if you're going to quilt them, I would quilt them first and then cut them to size. Okay. Um, so that the size is written on, on this um, pattern, but I'm just going to place it here and I just want to cut this shape here because this is going to give me my handle. So I'm just going to draw it actually. Well, actually I'll just cut it with the rotary cutter. Let's go for it. Um, and I've, I've layered all my layers. So I've got two pieces of my lining and two pieces of interfaced okay. um, yeah. outside fabric. So and we I, do that at the very beginning. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just going to cut round. Okay. Would you use uh, just a regular rotary cutter? A rotary cutter. If you're not keen on using a rotary cutter, you could just draw around here and then cut it off but um, if, if you were using scissors would you pin it before you could pin it yes yeah. yes definitely pin it so I find it that way with the rotary cutter I'm not not everybody I mean, likes yeah. rotary cutters well, but yeah it's, 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 a, it's one of those things that you need to get used to <laughs> yes Yes. And I think it pays to getting used to it because then it, it's so much it, easier. Are, it is much easier once you get yeah. used to them. So that's now I've got my handle shape. So the next thing I need to do is just to cut some squares out of um, the bottom here. Okay. So um, I'm just going to measure, and it's like a one and a half inch square. And I'll, I'll draw this. This will be easy. I'll, or I just put little dots here, and that's that'll be my um, cutting line. Um, so I mean you don't have to cut them all at once if you okay. feel happier cutting them out individually you can do that as well and I'm just going to cut straight across uh -huh. and on this side and there we go so now we've got our our shapes already. So the first thing we need to do is to actually join the seams together. So oh, on both the lining um, and the outside. Yeah. So I'll just do that quickly. Now I'm just I'm not using a quarter inch seam. I'm not, not too worried about it. I'm just gonna use the width of my sewing foot just to sew down each side. Okay. Sewing first the lining and then we will do the Yeah. Thing. And then I'm going to. Oh. oh. <laughs> that wasn't very good, was it? 
Oh, okay. The uncredited. Well, you thread uh, the machine. That's the, uh, I will, yeah. Let's, let's give a reminder while Julie rethreads the machine. That happens to everybody, everybody even the experts. I'm so glad. <laughs> but only, you know what? I'll let you into a secret. Only happens live on TV to the experts. I know. It's this and real life doesn't, you know, doesn't happen. Anyway, and now I'm going to grab the samples from the bag because, well, Look at them. You can see how beautiful each one looks. I love the red and I love the black in here. How luxurious. This is, I think, even it's, you know, see in Spain, we would use this one for New Year's Eve. I, because for us, Christmas lasts until the 12th night. So you can use Christmas bubbles for uh, New Year's Eve. It has got that festive thing. Or New Year, um, Christmas Eve as well. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? It has got that air of sophistication of the black and the silver and the red. So that's one of the options. Remember, you choose any two and you could be making, let me grab another one because that's the same fabric. If you wanted to, you can go up for two of the same ones. And like Julie was saying, using that wording that is insulating ones. So then you can have these on the table. Imagine doing two of them exactly the same in on the Christmas table. So you can have maybe your uh, white wine and then you have got uh, that one is insulated and the non-insulated, the red wine, uh, the red wine. So then you have got, anyway, Julie, I think uh, Julie is uh, back to, um, it's all okay? Yes, I've, I've sewn them together. So I'm just going to give them a quick press and then mm -hmm. we can move on to the next bit. Fabulous. Okay, so that will flatten the, the seam. Just, I'm just going to press the seam open. Okay. Is that very important to do it in this step? I, I, I'm a great believer of pressing as you go along. Um, I just think it makes it makes it easier and it's more accurate and you get a finished I better item at the end. And does it make sense as well because it doesn't add uh, extra bulk? No, it doesn't. Yes. So on this one, I haven't, in, I haven't put wadding in, I've just interfaced it so you can see what that looks like. I'll just press this one open. Okay. Um, but these are very quick and easy to make, so... Yeah. Press and this open. Yeah. And that's the lining as well, press flat. Okay, so there we have. So the next thing we have to do is we're going to put right sides together. All right. Right sides together. And I'm just going to um, hold these in position. And we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to sew around the curves and that's all, all the only pieces that we're going to sew so I'll quickly do that okay. yeah. again I'm not worrying too much about a quarter inch seam it's just the width of my foot now you have got a companion on the table Pardon? You have got a companion. Oh, I have. <laughs> Little Humpty, yes. Uh, no, that's Humpty Dumpty. Uh, no, it is a fabric panel, uh, so you can get it at home. And of course, then you could be creating him. He's a man gorgeous. Uh, it, he we, is quite sweet. Yeah. And I think if you turn him around, so he's, he's oh. smiling on one side oh. and he's crying on the other side. Oh. You also get... Um, some little horse figures that go with it so oh probably and it's a panel so it's you are getting the oh he's 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 having a snooze now he's just yes, like he's fallen <laughs> over um, but, uh, but it, it comes with all the instructions they're all pre-printed on the panel so and it, it's really quick and easy to make yeah absolutely so look at it i just <laughs> i kind of i just kind of he's like oh sleeping you know through the back that's so I've just got to do this center one and I'm just going to put a, um, a clip in here just to hold it in position and what I tend to do with this on here this side is I start in the middle and come up to the top okay yeah um, right. so Okay. All right. 
that's it. And then I'll flip it over and we'll do the other side. Okay. That's going to go on there. Let's get the fabrics all together. And off we go. Now, uh, would this be good for beginners? Sorry? Would this project be good for beginners? It, I think it's quite easy and it's a nice little project as well. So you can easily finish it quite, quite quickly. Well, I've, I've done this from the beginning really, so it's quite quick. So the next thing we need to do, we're just going to turn one of these out the right way. Okay. And then, so just the one? Just the one, yeah. Okay. And then... I'm going to give that a, just a quick press. Just make sure the okay. seams are at the edges. Okay. And I guess, suppose you have got three patterns. You, if you go for the pick and mix, you get two fabrics. So it's kind of the, how long does it take to make all three of them, say? I don't, an hour, maybe an hour wow. and a half. Wow. Something like that. You can, you know, especially once you get going. Yeah. Um, and then what we do now is we take this and we're going to poke it inside. Oh, right. And, but what you need to make sure is you get the right sides of the fabric together. So we want to make sure we get both the fur outside fabrics matching okay. and this on here. And you literally poke him up. I see what you mean, yeah. So it has to, the, the fern has to, fa uh, it has to, it has to face the fern. Yeah. yeah, otherwise you'll, it'll be twisted. Okay. So we just. There we go. Right. So, yes, I see it where you're going. Yeah. And then I'm just going to sew across the top here. Right. It's my. It's, it's one of those things that I love. See it coming together. <laughs> Well, my machine's coming up. <laughs> it's come undone again. So uh, uh, I'll give just the details again. Uh, if you want to go for the uh, pick and mix uh, options, uh, remember you choose whichever two. So it could be the beautiful red, red bubble. Uh, then uh, we have got uh, the beautiful fur cones in here, which are beautiful blue and silver as a printed printing. Then you have got the option for the holly, uh, which of course with the red uh, lining and of course the red ribbon. Then you have got the lettuce snow, which is a blue uh, kind of background with the white and writing in here. Then you have got the poinsettia, which is a really traditional, beautiful, but also kind of it feels very, you know, just right and cheerful as well with that lime green. And then finally the fern, which is of course the one that Julie herself is using. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is a price. Remember, you choose whichever two you want. Now, Julie, you, you okay, have okay. So I've, I've re-threaded and I've sewn it through. So now I can just pull it out. Okay. Out the right way. And there we have our our first handle. Why? That's fab. And then we're just going yeah. to fold this round. I'm going to bring it yeah. to. Yes. Here, I'm going see. to sew down the edge. I'm going to sew across the bottom, and then I can show you how to box the corners, and then okay. that's pretty much done. I'm just going to reverse just to secure it, and then it's straight down to the bottom. would you recommend for this? I'm just using an ordinary cotton thread. You could use anything really, I think. It doesn't have to be stronger because it's the I don't think so, no. I think this is a 50 weight I'm using. Okay. So. so now we've done that, I can just pull this apart, flatten the seams, press the seams together, and if I sew across this yeah. here, then you will get your nice corner and then that would create a flat bottom sort yeah, of a thing. flat bottom yeah <laughs> we always have that wrong to say it doesn't <laughs> it but that's the technical term it is a technical term okay. 
And of course, then it's quite nice to then put, you know, a, a nice bottle inside it or a cheap one, and it looks so much more expensive. It does, <laughs> doesn't it? Yes. I think it just makes it more personalised, doesn't it? That you've actually, you know, made something for it. So that's the, the main bag done, and then for the lining. You just sew about two inches down, then leave a gap of about two inches and sew to the bottom. So right. I'll, I'll do that and then we can flip it round and it will be pretty much finished. And, and so that would, I mean, we are 28 minutes, we kind of, and you have been basically from start to finish. I have, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah. That's incredible. And of course, I can a little bit longer because it's the first time but then this is one of the things that once that you invest in one of the skates you will have the templates all three different templates so imagine that and this is something that for good you know it, it always is a nice present it is yes I think so and I think the ones where they've got the open neck I think they would look lovely on the table at Christmas yes with the champagne in it, of course. Uh, yeah, obviously. Yeah, it's just kind of. But I just think the idea. I just love the idea of having it insulated uh, to keep it cool, and then you can have the cool one and maybe have the cooler tones and maybe the fern insulated, so you know that one. And then you have got the red one for the red wine, and yeah, then it's not insulated. Yeah. That would be really nice. And the wadding. If you wad it, the wadding will keep it at the right temperature, won't it? <gasps> Oh, I was thinking, what drink is it? It comes in a bottle. Maybe it's a Spanish drink, though. That is kind of, it has to be a little bit warm. But, um... I don't know. Oh, it, it's probably a Spanish thing, so... And I don't, I don't remember. So I'm just doing my last, um, yeah. corner. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, and then... And then that, from start to finish, is under half an hour. That's amazing. Um, so I've left the, the, the gap open here, and then you can just reach in and pull it all through. And that's it. Um, and then you can sew the, the lining shut. Oh, yeah. And I just do it on the machine because it's not going to be seen, <laughs> so you haven't got to worry about yeah. it. Um, and I also top stitched all around the hand ledges just to keep it nice and flat. Uh, now, okay, I was having a question. Uh, could it be reversible if you sew it properly? The, the you could do, I would guess. Yeah. Yes, you could do, couldn't you? Yeah, because that's, that's a very good idea. Oh, yeah. good! I have got a good idea! Oh, that's my quarter yes, for so the if day. You, if you, if you um, sewed it neatly, yes, yeah. you absolutely could reverse it, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah? No? Well, good. I like so I would just literally stick close to the edge all the way around and top stitch yeah and then thank that's it you, thank you julie that is so lovely and it is this is the thing it's a project that you can accomplish at home whether you're a beginner or uh, maybe you know an experienced craft uh, sewist you can do it and you have got here of course the three different templates for the all three different shapes so you can see here that one that is the open one that could be the one that has got the insulated um, you know wording in here perfect for you know if you want to have, have keep your drinks cool you have got here the handle one which is the one that Julie just shown and then finally the last up the last template you have got the one that ties with ribbon now if you go for the pick and mix you will get also the ribbon to do the tie up so well the only thing that you will need is an interfacing or the wording if you want it and we you can find those on the website you pick any two of the patterns and then you are going to get both the fabric for the outside and the inside and you have got all six different options for the beautiful red bubbles the beautiful uh, fur cones the kind of holly the let the snow the poinsettia and the fern in there which is one of my favorites and you can have two Two of the same ones. Three seven eight five eight six is your item number. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence is the price for them. Remember, you're getting the templates for all three and enough fabric to make two of them. Now we hinted when we were on the website to the kaleidoscope uh, quilt. Now there is three different sizes. There is the lab as a quilt, and the size in there, which you can see is 65 by 65 inches in size. Now what do we get in here, Julie? So it's made just simply from two different fabrics. So um, you've got 
lots of the border print. I mean, in the large one, I think you've got around 10 meters of fabric in total. Um, and you use the kaleidoscope ruler just to cut it around. And in the medium size, um, sort of the single size bed quilt, I think it's about seven and a half meters. Yeah. And then in the lap quilt, which will be just yes. like these four yeah. bits here, is um, I think five meters, something like that. So a so lot of fabric. You have, yes. Uh, but also the beautiful kaleidoscope. It's an octagon, but then of course they have got the triangles in there as well. It is. It's lovely the way it works, isn't yeah, it's it? It's like the kaleidoscope. Yeah. They look into the light, and of course they has got that hydrangeas in there. Is, are they pansies as well? I think there's all these hydrangeas. I think there's some pansies. I think these are pansies, aren't yeah, there? Yeah, they look. Um, they're beautiful. Some daisies. I think those are supposed yeah. to be daisies, but yeah, I just think it's a lovely fabric. It is indeed. Now, the lab quilts, uh, you have got also flexi by option, three payments, all one off payment of £119.99. Uh, 788292 is your item number. That is a lab one. Of course, you have got the instructions. Then, if you want to go for the medium for a single bed, uh, more or less, uh, you have got that option. Remember what you said about seven meters of fabric? Medium yeah. size, like seven and a half meters. A half. Yes, I mean that's a lot of fabric. Uh, 179 pounds and 99 pence is the price. You have got a flexi buy, I believe, option of three pa three payments of 60 pounds. Uh, that is the size of the medium one. It would be uh, I see 68 by 60 and uh, 95 inches in there. And now finally, if you wanted to go for the large, it has got a different item number as well. That's the one that has, gives you, a, I mean, that beautiful quilt in there. To £129.99. Now it's 95 by 95 inches and the item number is 552473. Can you imagine having these you know, on top of your bed? That glorious, the whole area. It's just incredible. And also, always, I think that the techniques that you learn from doing a quilt is like then you can take them and maybe make table settings, uh, table mats, and things like that. Right? If you want them, you can have them. You have got the details on the screen. And remember, all three different sizes have got different item numbers for that. Moving on to this put a smile on my face is the one behind me. Shall I move away so you can see? Shall I put that one away as well? Just so you can see it. Uh, this one is another elephant walk <laughs> quilt. I love that. It's just such a smiley. It's, it's it's joyous. It's the, of course, uh, the elephant trunk is upwards because it's receiving all the blessings, all the fortune. And of course, you have got the beautiful colors that are gorgeous fabrics in there that just, you know, you cannot just look at them without smiling as well. Uh, 72 pounds and 49 pence is your price. And you have got all the fabric that you need to do the top of the quilt. And you have got, of course, the instructions in here. The only thing that you will, um, you know, that you, you might have to add on, uh, you know, is the wadding, the thread, and the backing fabric, and the fusible web. Everything else is there. Uh, 358868 is your item number. 72 pounds and 49 pence is the price. And the finish size is 49 by 49 inches. You have got also a flexi buy option to spread the cost in two interest free payments of 36 pounds and 25 pence or one off payment, 72 pounds and 49 pence. Right, uh, that beautiful cushion that I moved away, well, it's back because, of course, you can have it if you want it. Now, there is three different options, I believe, in this. Well, oh, four! Oh, I, this is one that I like too much and I wanted to keep it all for me. That's what it is. It's the beloved. Uh, Cushion Kate. I see a beautiful, isn't it, with that detail in here. So the different options is referring to the color of the fabric and look at the beautiful color. Let me grab them. The different options that you have got in here. So you have got the blue yellow, which is this one. Then we have got the, I think this one is the aubergine and pink. And then we have got here, this is the purple, I think it's pink and lilac. And finally, we have got purple and green. They are, am I, is my eyes deceiving me or do they have like a kind of a beautiful, kind of almost wavy color coming in and out. It's just beautiful. Love, love that woven sort of technique in there. Um, then uh, 21 pounds and 99 pence is the price and you can see how it works in there. Beautiful fabric and of course you have got the, the, the fabric for the, uh, for the whole element of building the cushion kit. Uh, the, the back is, uh, 
look at that. It's quilted, so it's, it's up to you how you are going to decorate the back of it. Right, if you want to go for this, £21.99 is your price, 064526, and you just choose whichever colours you want, and you will have the instructions as well for that. Right, and so then we have got the toe bags in as well, so we looked at them. I love this big sizes. It's going to be the next demo, so stay tuned for that. Beautiful quality. It has got linen in it, so it has got extra strength as well. I love that they are sizable. I love that you can put a lots, lots, a lots, a lots of chocolates in there, uh, or lots of craft stash, or you can put your quilting tools. This also, I always think that will make lovely if you put like a, a piece of cardboard at the bottom and then you put a magazine kind of sort of magazine elements that you have got your maybe your sewing magazines your quilting um, you know templates and things like that and then it's easily you can kind of keep them away and then bring them out whenever you need them you have got three different choices you have got the B uh, you have got the B in pink which is the one that I'm lifting up so you can see why is the pink because of that glorious flower at the bottom of the B but also look at the Lounge in here with a beautiful, sh strong, vibrant pink that lifts it up and kind of, kind of says, you know, frames it. Then you have got the bee in natural. So you have got it in here, and the B in natural comes in with the, with bl the black flange in there. And you have got also the fabric with the smaller bees on the side, side. Then we have got the last option is the Highland Cow. Oh, the bee is kind of going a little bit sleeping. Sleeping, having that it's, it's not, uh, I'll, I'll tell the joke from the director, it's not behaving behaving <laughs> behaving i uh, behaving even better than no, i mean yeah this yeah all right behaving all right anyway and then we have got the glorious highland cow it's just like that french under the hair just love it all uh, right that is the option and it has got that kind of lilac here a full lunch in there now whichever is your option it will come with instructions as well as the lining for the inside 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price 518967 and remember you have to you the only thing you have need to choose is your you know the panel the front the animal that you wanted anyway without further ado let's take a head back to Julie to see what is she's up to right Julie uh, hello okay so I'm just going to show you how to do the tote bag okay so you get two of your panels and just make sure that they are the right way up okay because it's very easy to flip them all right and what we're going to do is that's the right way I'm going to add the flange down each side okay so I've cut my flange and I'm just going to fold it in half and sew it down. Okay. Okay. Oops. Uh, you can pin this if you want. I tend not to bother. And on this one we're going to use a half inch seam. Um, the reason we do that is because this fabric can fray a little bit. So we're using slightly bigger um, seams. Okay. And the other thing, if you can, if you want to, you can zigzag it just to give it a little bit okay. more strength as well. So I'm just going to quickly whiz down here. Yeah. Right, and then... I just love that the little detail that adds so much, so much, um, you know, oomph to it. It does, it does. We, that's why we, we added it, because it just gives it a, yeah, it just frames it as well, doesn't it? So that's that. If I was sewing, I would have changed my thread colour, but for this, I'm not. I'm not going to bother. And then we can take our B fabric, yeah. and I'm going to add this onto here. All the measurements are obviously in the pattern. Okay. Um, Uh, 
actually sew down there. And because you're sewing through these, uh, quite, it's a thicker material, isn't it? And you're d d double there. Do we need to use a stronger needle? Um, I'm not. I'm just using, I like to use um, quite a sharp needle. It's a Microtex. It's a sharpish needle. Okay. But it's one that I just use on everything, really. Okay. Um, but if you are worried or are struggling, you could always use a denim, you know, a yes. jeans needle. So that's our first flange in, as you can okay. see that. And then I'm going to add one to this side. And what I'll do is I'll, and I'm going to also add our other B panel. So I'll just make sure it's the right way up. Okay. That, that's him up that way. So we'd continue to do this. So we've got two side panels, and once we've added those on, I'll show you how to do the handles. So, because okay. the handles are quite a, an easy one as well. Uh, we have had a question. Really. Um, we have had a question about angel policy. Right. Can they make to sell? Yes, they can. Any other project, like a yes, that's fine. Oh, fabulous! So you can make to sell with the, the top bags or the um, as well the bags, uh, the the bottle bags. Yes. Ooh, that's an idea. Christmas market. Well, you know. Oh, you could do, couldn't yeah. you? Yes. Well, that's excellent. So. Can you, I it only takes about 20 minutes to make the bottle bags. It was very quick, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> so. And, you know, you could, if you're actually making several, yeah. um, you could sort of d do it in, you know, like a production line. So you sew all the yeah, seams, you absolutely. know, and then you'd really whiz through it, be even quicker. Yeah. Or so. also, I'm thinking this is a lovely present, um, you know, for uh, teachers. Yes, oh, yeah. brilliant, yes. <laughs> because it's Especially a textile teacher, how pleased oh, would they be? Oh, that's a good one. I was also thinking, I was also thinking that the one that you did, the one with the handle, would make a lovely, um, you know, for the brushes, like whether it's makeup brushes or paint brushes, you know, the long ones. Oh, yes. To carry them, so it's like a pot. Oh, yes, you carrier. could do that, couldn't you? Yeah. So, I've done that. Now, I, what I would do then is add another panel onto this side here. So you have one long piece. Um, but I'll show you how to do the handles. So this, we've got an extra long piece, and I'm just going to cut that into four inches. Um, so, cut that four inches. Where do we cut it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now to make the handle, we're just going to, or the handles, we're going to, actually I'll cut it in half because it'll be easier to show for, for the demo purpose. But when you're making it, you could make it in one long one and then cut it. So, um, okay. So to make the handle, we're going to press it in half. Um, so I'll do that. So you bring the raw edges together right. and give it a good press. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then we bring the raw edges into the middle here. Okay. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. And then we're going to fold it over. Perfect. Um, so I'll do that. And then you can just simply stitch close to the edge all the way down each side. And that's how you make the handle. So I'll Fabulous. So, so that's now, while, while you do that, I'm going to show you the handles, how they are finished. If we look at them closely, you can see that uh, it has got that stitch in one side and then a top of stitch on the other side to create that extra strength in there. And you can see it there. 
finish them perfectly. And they, and they are so much stronger because they are these four layers of fabric in there that you have got. And four or more, uh, no, four of them. Mm. Two on the one side. Anyway, don't call me. There's so many. I, just, I get confused. Anyway, anyway. anyway uh, right. Yeah, remember that you. No, one side is two and the other side is four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of it. Anyway, you have got here the different options. The Highland Cow is one of the options. That glorious image, the watercolor effects of it. That has got that fluidity, natural touch of it. Then the second one. We have got the uh, beautiful bee in pink in here. You can see that, uh, of course, with a beautiful uh, flange here on the, with the bright pink. And then we finally, the other option that we have got is the bee in natural. Uh, and that one has got the edge in black, which has got that really classic look. Now, you remember that you have got those three choices that you are going to get everything you need, including the, um, the instructions. The cow is in the lake. 40% of the stock has already gone off the cow, a Highland cow. Not just any cow, but a Highland cow. Uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price. Uh, 518.967. And of course, Julie is sewing, of course, that beautiful toe bag. <laughs> right. So I'm just going to do the other side, and that's one handle done. Okay. By doing it this way, it actually makes the handle really nice and strong as well. Okay. Because you've got four layers of fabric, so um, if you want to fill your bag up with Christmas shopping. Oh, that's a good idea. Yep. So there you go. Well, you have to buy the bottles before you fill yeah. <laughs> yeah, them in. Yes, so you have. And you need a strong bag. <laughs> So but that that's another idea. Sorry, could you put? Okay, these in, in, in. You can take them inside the toilet bag, and then you can go to the shop so they don't break the yes, bottles. Yes, you could do. Yes, they, yes, so they'd be protected as you're buying all your bottles. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> I think that's a, actually a practical use as well as a, as it a is, beautiful isn't one. It? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I've got one handle done. Um, I'm on again at seven o'clock, so what I might do is, is get to a certain stage and then complete perfect. this bag yeah, later. Um, but we'll measure in from the center. Okay. Let's have a look. I think it's one, two, three. We have got about five minutes left. So have we? Okay, here. so I think it's about four inches in. And then we could tack these into position. Just want to make sure that you get the same measurements at each end, otherwise it will be lopsided. And then, of course, we will see, so oh, okay. we will be seeing this at seven o'clock. Yes, tonight. I can finish it off later on. Perfect. So, I can, so yeah. do you t thank you so much, Julie. Uh, remember to check out your baskets. Uh, Julie will be back with Yanis at seven o'clock. So then, Julie will finish that project. Uh, but just let's remind of, of course, of that that's options of the bag, the tote bag. You have got the Highland cow. You can see that in the image. And uh, remember, then the pretty, uh, the pretty pink, I call it, but the bee pink as well. Well, because she's pretty in pink. And of course, then you have got the other option of the bee in natural there. You can see it. Beautiful. It's bold. It's kind of the watercolor and printed into that fabric that has got that strength because it has got some linen in it. And 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price. 518967 is your item number. Right. But very popular are, of course, the, the wine bottles or the bottles uh, bags. Um, yeah. The, bottle, the, the, the wine bottles are always very popular, but they're bags to carry them are also very popular remember that and if I kind of show you the uh, different options that you have got here of different patterns now uh, you can see in here that is the same fabric but you are going to get all the all three different uh, patterns for the bottles what your choice is is two fabric combinations 
So, uh, your choices are, the ones that I'm holding here is uh, the bubble, the red bubble, so you can see that with a beautiful red inside it. It could be, uh, it could be that you go for the same color if you want it, and then you do the different uh, options, and there you have got. Then you have got the fur, fur and con, uh, with a beautiful silver tone, so let me grab the ones that are here. Unfortunately, all the bottles are empty, so therefore it, they are not as heavy as they should be. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> apparently they were full, full before the director walked into the studio. Uh, right, so you have got them here. No, I'm just joking. They definitely were empty. Uh, after. Uh, then we have got the beautiful holly and with the red lining here with the splatter as well. Then you have got the let us know with the white on white. So let me show you this one. And you can see the white inside it here. And of course, and this is one of the options there. I just really think it's really cool present. I mean, can you imagine kind of going somewhere and kind of handing that beautiful bottle in there? Uh, and then it can be a slightly cheaper inside the wine because then it's you know it's just they will be uh, surprised that you have made that effort for them uh, they would in my case anyway then we have got the poinsettia and the lime green option in here so this one look how beautiful it looks and you can quilt it or can you can leave it as it is and then finally you have got a beautiful option of the fern and this one is Julie's favorite and it's my favorite as well it's so elegant with that metallic uh, you know your metallic printing as well here now check out your baskets you will get instructions on how to make all three different shapes and it's your choice of whatever fabrics you want to get and you will get two of them so if, for instance if you want the fern and the poinsettia that's fine then you can have it right and you can go for the pattern on its own so maybe you already have got fabrics maybe all year round fabrics you can go for that and the details are on the left hand side of the screen 999 is the price 428180 now Julie it's been a pleasure thank you very much and thank you for so it. much for coming uh, we will see you but you're staying here until seven o'clock yes, yes, <laughs> what am. we will be we'll see the end of that end of the bag yes fabulous now stay tuned uh, because after the break we have got a fabulous hour the final call of the one day special uh pink ink designs with leoni and yanis Uh, well, it is, uh, yeah, it is Leone with that final look at the Pink Ink Designs One Day Special. Then after, the Sims is picturing this and then a brand new One Day Special. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line. And we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. 
Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I designed the brand myself to make sure that every product that comes out to you is the best quality, has an individual design and also is versatile. I like everything to match, so if you've got a product from the very beginning of the John Next Door brand, it will match with something that you buy right up to the minute. Everything working together, which makes things more versatile and easier for everyone. I really hope you can join me on Hachanda and continue your crafting journey with me and we can see all the new ideas, tips and techniques that we can do together. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters carry-all. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Well, hello everybody and a warm welcome. Now, normally I'd be saying this is the final call, our one day special. I'm not gonna be saying that because the one day special, it's gone, it's sold out. So that has no, uh, gone, it is no more, but there is still good news. Actually, two bits of good news. First is we still got the wonderful Leonie Pujal. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> Sorry, I'm putting things in. I'm having a cheeky bit of time at the end. Yeah, it was meant to be a surprise. Now, can I just say that is incredible TV skills. <laughs> Leonie wasn't ready, she had popped down, but the minute the camera turned to her, she was. Ah, yeah. <laughs> incredible. Uh, all right, so we got. This, is, this we, is just what happens, you isn't know, it? You know, you're poised at any moment <laughs> to go into TV. Uh, look, so we've got a lovely Leonie like who's, who's going to be having a little bit of a play. Also, uh, we have got individual options, so that's how we can. And still get the most from his new release. Shall we have a look? Because we've got two beautiful pieces. I'll start with our wonderful look at this. This is our goat. <laughs> this is our goat tally or goatly gorgeous. Uh, so goatly gorgeous, grab your, uh, grab your goat you've pulled. That is such a great, I love the sentiment, but the poses, both of these, come on. You put them together and it really, I've got to show you some inspirations and again, pink ink, when it comes to design team, look at this. <laughs> the, team, the team, throughout the hour, Leone, we're going to be recreating some of these poses. So your first challenge, Leone, when oh we come yeah. to you for oh your I. demo, oh you I. have to copy this pose here, okay? That's the pose we expect it's to just see. Look come at to. that, in it. Pretty much. I, I don't know if Kathy actually based uh, any of the characters on the teams you know. What about this? On the t on the team, basically. Mm. I don't know. She's looking. Oh, she's doing. She's kind of being Playful. coy. 
playful. Isn't she coy? Co oh, coy. Coy. Yeah, that's I a, that's a good description. Coy. So look, that's your uh, goatily gorgeous. Then we have, I know Kathy and Mel love coming up with good names. Now, different item number, we have got our pheasant. Look at this. So this is your magnifer pheasant. <laughs> Look at that. Mag Genius, though, isn't it? Yeah. Magnificent. Isn't it? I mean, uh, every it's funny. It's one of them words that uh, you either nail it or you j just fail. Um, I, I'm obviously the latter every yeah. time. Fail. Um, but Paolo nailed it, then a bit oh. failed. Alex nailed it, and then a bit failed. So oh, it's one of those that you it's get fun. it, and then it goes, yeah. oh. And it goes out your head. But it's, it's fabulous. And... I just love that image. I think ma I think it is indeed magnificent. It is magnificent, and we love our pheasant. It's mm. the oh, look at this! Look at the design team. I have to say, pink and design team are awesome. Look at that. They are They're actually mixing they? some of the other colours. Now our duck got sold out individually. That strut. It you is said, beautiful. You said something that made me laugh. That pheasants. <laughs> they're they're lovely birds. They are beautiful birds, but they're a bit dopey. There's a duck. That doesn't come with a set, but just showing you how well they work together. I was driving back from Hochanda a couple of years ago, and a pheasant was on the side of the road. I saw it. It was happy. It could see I was going. It was uh, on a country road. I must have been going about 40. So going down, and then the pheasant decided when I got nearer, it was going to run across the road. It ran across the road, and the only way I can describe it, it's me. If You know if you forget your towel in the <laughs> shower, and you run out the shower really like you're trying not to get any of the floor wet. It was like that. I was like, how can you not see me driving towards you? I did manage to avoid it, so it was all fine. I have got a theory, though. Go on. Um, the pheasants don't know what cars are. No, I don't think they do. I think well, they think cars you, are friends to go and make, you know, well, go and chat to. the thing is, I mean, animals don't drive. Uh, so it's like, unless it's been passed down, you know, unless they've learned by, you know, by all this dying and that's <laughs> clocked. But simple survival <laughs> instinct. Like, for instance, yeah, I've never been confronted by a big Indiana Jones boulder coming towards me. But if it did, well, you've watched I'd get film. out of the way. You've watched the film, mate. Oh, you see, you see, the you've seen the film. If you'd know, if you've no thing mm. you've reference, what's the what's what's the term? Mm. Well, yeah, if okay. you've no thing you've re point of reference, point of reference. It, then it just looks like the sunshine coming towards them. Do you know I like working with you? You show us great inspirations, but you trigger some thought as well. I like it. <laughs> now, they've no point of reference unless they've seen one of the mates. Do you know what a group of pheasants is called? Um, doomed. <laughs> oh, we've gone dark early, Leonie. I haven't got life. Uh, it's actually a bouquet of pheasants. Is it? A bouquet. Oh, oh, they are beautiful birds, though. They are uh, absolutely and beautiful. I have to say, I will just show you again. I mean, where I think Mel and Kathy are so good with the stand sets, they give you so many elements. So we've got our sentiments, you've got individual uh, feathers in there, your feature hero stand. Oh, you've got. Oh! Are you, you okay, okay, Anna? You're right, bless you. Oh, it's a horrible team. Just drop, drop the ladder, so it's okay. Uh, so, 1749 there, 711053, your item number. Everyone is well. Do not worry, everyone's well. Uh, okay, we are going to move on. We've got uh, some more great stamps. Again, individually, so sold out the bundles have gone. Having a look here, such great ones. The boudoir. Now, uh, Leonie, tell us a little bit about the boudoir. Um, these are beautiful. The frame stamps are absolutely exquisite. Um, you've got that main humongous frame. I mean, it is an absolutely stunning frame. Uh, but you've then got um, the extras. So you've got the beautiful one at the top, which is absolutely stunning. Are they not? I mean, your left hand. This one? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's, that's a square one. Thank you. Um, so you've got that beautiful, <laughs> uh, the beautiful main frame, um, and then you've got your sentiment. Now the sentiment in this one uh -huh. says, "When a friend told me I was uh, delusional, I nearly fell off my unicorn." Um, <laughs> so as usual, it's proper thinking. <laughs> Wait, can you read that again? That's yes. really that funny. When my friend told me I was delusional, I nearly fell off my unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's uh, such a great sentiment for you. I love it. That sums, up, that sums you up perfectly. Uh, but look at the detail. I mean, it's yeah. absolutely stunning, is that stamp. Really, really pretty. And things like this you can use for so many gorgeous, gorgeous stamps. Yeah. Obviously, 
and they'll fit with our um, our wonderful animals. But the, they're really standalone stamps yeah. as well. You can do all sorts with these. There's Beautiful. just the sentiment and the frame, and it is a great sentiment. But equally, if you do want to put characters in there, I know I started with this, but how great, it is the perfect frame to get. Come on, that is amazing. Okay, so that is your first one. That's a boudoir. Uh, then we also have in the mix <laughs> the frames, uh, this frame series, The Decadence. Just going to show you here. Fabulous, darling. Fabulous, darling. And again, that is, I mean, look at that sample. That is amazing. It is the design incredible. team is so good. They really um, are. Oh, they are amazing. Um, I mean, the colour in that. This frame again. Now, when you look at them, I mean, these are good size frames. You know, you'll be able to use these for all sorts. And the thing this is, is we, yeah, isn't that just delightful? And again, with something like this, you can use them for, for really different cards. I mean, that one, that's really interesting. She must have, has that, that must have been cut out because it is a full stamp. Is that, it is, I has think that been cut out? No, it hasn't been cut out. I think maybe some masking's been involved. That's very clever. Yeah, that is yeah nice. I like that a lot. That is beautiful. And oh, I love that. I mean, that does look like it has been 3D done. Yeah. Though. That does look like a frame that has been cut out again. Uh, nice really, really beautiful stamp. And then it's all the extras. You've got the gorgeous butterfly. You've got beautiful corners in this one. Mm -hmm. A smaller frame as well. So, yeah, there's loads of stamps within that. For 1749, yeah. they're very good quality <laughs> and amazing value. Do you know what I like? And actually, I will just lift up and just show you the frames to give you an idea of what you were getting. There we go. So that was the uh, decadence. So you've got your sentiment in the mix, you've got that beautiful frame. I mean, they're, they're a good size, but it's the quality, the originality in design, everything here, hand-drawn by Kathy, and she works so closely with Mel to really zero in and make sure they come up with something special. 1749 is your price. What I do like about the frames is these will work. They're never going to date, and they'll work with anything you have in your stash. So they are real builder uh, dies. 352476, uh, your item number. Now... This is interesting. We have a few left. It's our card making pack. But have a look at this. I mean, there are cards and then there are cards. These are incredible, Leonie. I love them. Aren't they fabulous? Um, I'd never seen these before. And they're just really, really cool. Um, beautifully hand drawn, as usual. I mean, all original drawings, of course, because we're talking pink ink. Um, I love the way you can build them up. You've got lots of little embellishments, so you can control. I mean, the actual design of it, um, there'll be instructions in there so you can put it together easily. But then, all the little embellishments it's up to you how you want to layer them which embellishments you want to use and of course they will fold up flat and um, printed of course on Buckingford darling and um, so good quality cardstock as well we love yeah, they're really cool and aren't they different really cool they've yeah. only been on once before and they did sell out so I know flat. they've been really popular in the past please send photos in yeah so we're getting eight hand illustrated pages to really bring to life let me just show you no, what make you're two getting. of each so we can make two of each just showing you here they are so original though so someone for the garden then we've got one a chap who was in the boat the previous one uh now we are on to our bike all the elements to bring out and then finally we have our fishing in the mix but i have got some boards as well can i just show you? is it okay if i show you quickly Let's have a little look. So this shows you what you're getting uh, with everything. So all these elements, that's just on one sheet. You can see the happy birthday, all those elements, your sentiment in the mix too. Then we've got our biker. We are getting busy for this for 12.49. It's the originality, creating something that really is special. Now, what kind of, would you go with alcohol markers on this, Leonie? Um, I'm not, uh, well, you can if you want to. Mm -hmm. I mean, the card will absolutely handle alcohol markers. Um, I like my, my pens, my watercolor yeah. pens yeah. Um, with this one. Pencils will look absolutely beautiful. It's Buckingford, so you can use all sorts with it. You yeah. know, it, it will handle sort of what, whatever you chuck at it quite yeah. Okay. Uh, now I've got to tell you, nearly 70% of the stock has gone here. So if this is the kind of thing you could see yourself making, it's well worth having a little look. All those elements, lovely. It's all gone to pot. 12.49 <laughs> is your price. 312.178 your item number. Now, uh, last, certainly not least, paints. The paints are so good. These are pick and mix 
for you. Uh, how many times have we seen uh, Leone, Kathy, Mel playing with these paints? The quality is exceptional. They will go on to uh, fabric as well because they are a multi-surface paint. They will even go on to a wooden spoon. I only say <laughs> that is because we've got some swatches here. Which is a clever idea though, I right? I love them. I think it's a really uh, yeah. clever idea. And it's really good because it does show they'll go on to yeah. a wooden Anything. spoon and it shows the coverage yeah. and also the beautiful pearlescent sheen of these. I mean, Ooh. they've got a stunning, stunning finish to them, haven't they? They really do so just choose any four uh, lots of different colors that you can choose in so just show you this sparkles there as well I'll show you the sparkles actually I've got those to hand there are your sparkle oh oh I like a little bit of sparkle okay so that's uh, paint onto black spoons to get that sparkle okay 15.99 is your price and you're picking any four let's show you how you do the pick and mix now you can pick four so I tell you what shall we let our producer Emily she can pick two and how about Holly our director pick another two teamwork <laughs> so uh, Emily's going for the aubergine she likes an aubergine and then we've got the sparkle sunlight okay good choices good choice. from Emily good choice, Holly Emma. She likes a spiced mm, pumpkin. That's a nice one. Nice. And the green apple. Strong. Nice. Good choices. Strong. I mean, let's them. face it, I'm not going to say any of them are horrible. No. I'm, I, I mean, but the thing is, they are really nice paints. I use these a lot. And of course, they'll go on fabric. I mean, yeah. that was very important um, for Pink Ink because obviously they've done so much work on fabric. So um, that is exceptionally important. I'm making an absolutely horrendous job of folding that. Um, okay, it's okay because I'm not doing this one yet. So I'll. I'll have recovery time to make that look okay because that's my second demonstration. Okay, first demonstration. So what I decided to do, now I haven't had time to colour this in. So what I thought, I'd do really, really quick colouring and it is going to be one of our 3D cards. So I don't know if I'll finish all the colouring because I want to get it back, I want to get it together. But I want to get it together. So this is your 3D card. So what you've got, first of all, this is the wheelbarrow. So I've already cut that out and scored where it told me to score. Um, put a double-sided tape on there so I know where I'm double-siding it. And I've cut out loads of elements. So you've got loads of little flower pots. You've got his watering can. You've got loads of flowers. Um, now, they do suggest, the lady suggests you do your colouring in before you cut it out it does make sense it's a lot easier obviously I couldn't do that because um, just time and you've got your little gardener and you've got obviously your little elements so you can 3d them so really really cool now what I'm gonna do really quickly um, I'm gonna use mr. Phil Martin's pens just because I wanted the full array of colors for this and he has got a really good selection of colors so I've got my three sets because at the moment my fourth one is missing which is I know right I'm gonna have to start searching the building so I'm scribbling on on that the surface and let's start now I'm being really quick with this I'm just giving it a quick wash and this is the, the lovely thing with your Bockingford I mean that will flow and um, what you do want to do however is make sure on the um, the other side of that tab, because you are going to see that, or you might be able to see that tab. So if you are colouring it in, you put some um, put uh, some colour on the other side of that tab as well. So just adding a little bit of grey, and I'm doing it like this because obviously it's quick. But because it's Bockingford, if I went directly on, I could literally just drag the colour down like so. And I mean, that's the beauty of working with a card like this. Now, this cardstock, I mean, it's lovely that it's been printed on here because it is quality. But if you are buying the Bockingford, the lovely thing about it, of course, um, is the fact that you can do so much with it, but it's so smooth. So it does mean if you are using this for stamping on, it'll give you a really nice effect. And I just love how easy my pens glide on this. So I can just, oh, I've saturated that a bit much, haven't I? So you've got that beautiful finish. I'll unsaturate that like so okay so that has only got a touch of gray and i'm just because i'm being really quick i'm just putting a hint of color on so a hint of color in there just a little bit of blue 
like so and it's it's actually I like things like this because just a hint of colour can sometimes really work. So I'll put that to one side. I'll get my little watering can and again just a nice little old hint of colour on there. So how I'm doing, I'm just touching a bit of the, the pen on there and then just with the water brush, just mixing that colour. And it all, I mean because it's got shading on there as well, it means that you've already got a little bit of the the colouring already done for you and it's a really nice way of colouring in actually because when you are under a little bit of pressure and you have to be a bit quicker it does sort of make you think right okay how do we do this so we get a really nice result but speedily and you absolutely can with something like this so there we go taking a little bit of brown and just going around the the wheel I possibly won't colour it all in just because of time. And I do get carried away, even the speedy colouring in like this. Now, with the wheel, if you want or to, you could cut out between the spokes. That is absolutely up to you. However, it is nice having that, that sort of extra weight on there. That does work. I'll put a little bit of brown on there. And then, so when we fold that up, it's that part I'm going to see there. So a little bit of brown on there. And I'll just do a few other, I'll oh, see. It's easy to get carried away. And this is just quick colouring in, yet even that's really quite fabulous. It's always quite addictive, isn't it, colouring in? So a little bit of brown on there, like so. And then, take my, shall we, we should colour him in a little bit, shouldn't we? So we'll just get one of the nice blues. That's a nice blue. That looks denim. Now, with um, with our lovely gardener, I heard on radio the other day an internet sensation. I've forgotten his name, actually. Email in if you heard the same report. And it's this gardener, and he's got absolutely thousands and thousands of followers worldwide. And it's just this chap who loves growing large uh, vegetables. <laughs> And he's like, he's become an internet sensation. And honestly, he's here on um, Radio 4 yesterday and he sounded so lovely, so chilled out. But yeah, he's got a mass of followers. What a good colour that is. Now, because that one's going over this one, I'm just going to put a little bit of colour on that. But I'm still going to put colour around the edges because obviously if you see behind it, you don't want to have that colour. He's wearing dungas like me. Now we've got my have his hat so it matches. Have you found him yet? Internet sensation, large veg. <laughs> okay, big marrow. I know, maybe don't type in big marrow. You have to be careful with that internet, don't you, what you get up. Really? Yeah, well, the... If we're on Radio 4, so it must be true. All the radio stations are available. However, look at that. How quick and easy, but doesn't that look pretty already? Good colour, that. Good colour, Phil Martin. And then, let me just do his hair. Not vegetable. How is it? It's, yeah, no, it's the gardener. It's not the actual garden. It's the gardener who's the... the there's an internet sensation on Twitter. Other what's it's are available again. But yeah, it's a Twitter. Oh gosh, sorry folks at home. We are, I mean, it's gonna be good news. When we get it to you, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like on point news. I mean, other news today. <laughs> but this is good news, exciting news. <laughs> How can I, oh, put, have you tried um, Twitter internet sensation? No, a gardener who grows big vegetables. <laughs> oh, emailing anybody who heard the same thing. A nice little chap. I mean, maybe they were over overstating how big of an internet sensation it was. Maybe it was a quite a quiet news day, and um, it was one of them. You know, as they go, as it fades out, and it's like this chap's an internet sensation. He might only have like three for hits. Then who knows? <laughs> 
Now I have got really carried away, but I'm having a lovely time. And so just doing. And this is so quick, but you can see how effective it is. And I love this because obviously when you're colouring in, colouring in you should take your time because it's a ridiculously fabulous pastime. But is it what, sorry? He did post pictures of his potato, yes. He is called the Vegetable King. That's him. Seven to one years old and he's a Vegetable King and he's followed from around the world. See, 36,000 followers. That is an internet sensation. 36, uh, see, see, internet sensation. What's his name? Let other people follow him. There you go, Gerald Stratford, everybody at home. Go and follow Gerald. Um, so if you've got nothing else from this show, at least, uh, yeah, if you want any gardening help, our Gerald is the man. Um, see, gosh, the amount of information we've brought to you here at Achanda. <laughs> Card making, quick colouring in tips, and a man who knows his veg. Hi, Gerald. Uh, actually, it was just so lovely listening to him on radio. And like the lady said, you know, you just sound so chilled. Well, she said the word slow, but I think it was wrong. Yeah, but she meant as in the way you spoke, you know, just chilled and, and soft paced and just, it was lovely. But yeah, he does grow big, big veg. Anyway, and there's a knack to growing big veg. So there you go, folks. Happy days, all inspired by this wonderful card. So what I'm doing is just putting highlights and um, a bit of shadow in there. It's been in garden quite a bit. Oh, no, it's blended in. There you go. Isn't it fabulous? Lockdown heroes are Gerald because of his growing. Isn't that lovely? I thought that was such a nice story. Oh, I'm glad I could share that really cool story. I like stories like that. He is very happy. He's a, just an happy man. But don't you find anybody at home... Don't, yeah, pop a picture in the screen. Show, can we show it on telly or not? No, we can't. No, we're not allowed. We're not allowed to show telly of pictures of other people on TV, but I'm allowed to look at Gerald. Oh, go on, go and look at Gerald, everyone. He's a proper happy man with big, um, big potatoes. potatoes. Eh? Well, maybe that's... Well, he must be growing... No, his curlies don't look that big either, does he? <laughs> well, what can I say? Maybe there's other things that are bigger. The man with ordinary vegetables. <laughs> Oh, I've just made my garden a bit green. That's <laughs> there we go. Maybe, um, yeah, mine's a bit peaky. No, that's why it's sat down in his pot. So, um, I've got already coloured me. See, now, how quick is this? Well, we're chatting about Gerald. And I'm just going to do a couple of pots. Oh, if anyone knows Gerald, to... <gasps> Email in if you actually yeah. know him. Or oh, wouldn't it be good if Gerald watched a chapter? Oh, I mean, we... I... We need a you collaboration. Know. Maybe you could make him a card. Yeah, that would be ace. Oh, let's all send Should him Should we a send card him one of these cards? And make him watch us. Yeah. We haven't got his address. Well, no, we can I try bet and if, I bet if we just put it in post, Gerald, the, the gardener, he'd find Gardening him. Gardening King. Gardening King. Yeah, the Gardening King. I bet he'd just find him, because that's what happens, isn't it, with, with, on films. Mm. It's generally when kids send them to like, you know, the 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 one that um, you know them really bad Christmas films that are on every single year. Yeah. And it's like obviously a woman goes with bloke, bloke cheats on her or something, she has a <laughs> right thing and then she meets this other bloke and her kid goes, That's the one for you, but they never talk to each other. Yeah. So the kid goes, So the man in the beige jacket yeah. and then the um the letter gets to him. You've just ruined the story for everyone. <laughs> Of 500 movies. <laughs> it's all the plot of all 500 of them. Uh, sorry, everybody at home. Sorry, Pink Ink. <laughs> Hopefully um, you don't watch that show. Right, just a couple of little flowers, and I promise I will actually start putting this together. But I just wanted a little bit of colour to it, you see. Mm. And I wanted to show just how quick and easy it can be. I mean, obviously, one of the joys of this is actually taking ages to colour it in because it is so beautiful. The artwork, they're beautiful. And 
as ever, it is the quality of not only the artwork but the print as mm -hmm. well. Um, when the ladies do suggest this, they do suggest that you cut out, leaving about a millimetre around the edge. Now, I've just coloured in little bits. My poor garden it does look a little bit green, but... So, what you do, score, 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 OK? And then I've already put my adhesive on. A red liner? Yes, indeed, a red liner tape. Because you want this to hold, I probably would put adhesive on there as well. But as I... Um, oh, yeah, it'll be OK. So... Popping this together, so that is going to sit, let me make sure it's right, because I know my, my folds weren't completely on point. So that is going to fit there. They're fun cards like to make. So. They're ace cards to yeah. make. They're really, really cool. And they're just a little bit different, you know. Oh. Do they send no. flat? Have I done that the right way around? Yeah, I think that's the smaller one. That's the worst one. This one here, is it? I don't know. But anyway. The little wheelbarrow. Yeah. Oh, you're it's because right. I'm holding it upside down. Yeah. It's okay. It's just me. And then this bit mm -hmm. is going to go on here. Now, I am going to use wet glue for this just because it's easier. Yeah. So, a little bit of wet glue on here. I love these because they are easy to put together. Um, the instructions are in the, the uh, kit, of course, but they are really quite easy instructions. Um, and, of course, with something like this, you can personalise it. There's loads of little empty plaques. Yeah. So, you know, if you want to put someone's name on it, they're fabulous for personalising, you know, for making it really specific for someone. It's one of those cards that you will definitely know someone one mm. that will be sitting in this wheelbarrow you know and it's I think it's different I mean it is huge isn't it growing stuff and I think I do think lockdown has absolutely made people yeah. really appreciate the gardens and really appreciate that outside space and there's nothing better I love growing stuff yeah I love the smell as well you know the when taste. you actually you actually dig stuff up yeah. It smells fab. Yeah, Home the grown smell veg of it tastes amazing. Oh, don't it Doesn't just? It? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I grew um, just some potatoes from mm -hmm. you know potatoes that have, have you've let go, yeah. and you know. So I grew some potatoes, and I was digging those up the other day, and they'd actually grown, and you oh. actually feel like you've achieved oh. something, which isn't. I mean, you know, it's like I've done that. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you didn't, no. Angela. Oh. Well, Angela heard about Gerald as well. Yeah. Oh. oh, she says he was a delight, wasn't he, Angela? Wasn't he? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yes, Angela. It, it is all craft related. Do you know what? This is, sorry, I got Love a little bit too dog. excited. That was a happy <laughs> dance. Because Angela, he does like to doodle. He likes thinking and he likes doodling. Because I actually thought, Angela, oh, maybe we should try and get him on a channel. He likes to doodle. I wonder if his that doodles will cool. make good stamps. That's literally what I thought. I mean, it's, it's uh, yeah, it all comes back to trying to get him on here. Were you um, just searching for big vegetables? How do you discover him? No, it was oh. on Radio 4. Uh, I was listening to the show. Oh, okay. I was listening to the Radio 4. Right, OK, so that's it. So can you see already? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. oh, it's so good. He's having it? a little rest. How quickly do these yeah. come together? How ridiculously easy do these come together? And they give us so many elements to start yes, building up now. They really do. They're just so fun and they're different. And I think that's, and they're just, oh, there's something about working with Pink Ink. It's just so delightful, quite frankly. So I'm going to pop his little arm here. And that, I'm going to have that holding a sign, which I'm going to make. I'm just going to lift that up. I've put that on 3D form. Mm -hmm. So that's his little arm, his little leg. He's going to go in there. I'd put more 3D form on, but I'm not faffing about. You would put his little leg on before. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. You can do that. And actually, you can angle it as well, which is quite nice. Have it hanging out? Yeah. Yeah, like he's fallen in. Woo. So you've got his little, oh, how cute is this? And then his mind's going to have a sign. So I've just cut a scrap piece of card. I'd absolutely put, like, um, you know, little streaks so it looks like wood on there. I will colour this in, but then go back over again. So just taking that. So this is his little post. Uh, um, Sandra wants to know if my dungarees have got fox. Yes, they have. 
these, these. <laughs> There's a close up. My foxy dungaroos. Fab, aren't they? I must admit, when I was getting ready this morning, because it was very early, and you know, when it's like, oh, I can't even see my own face. So these were really, they, they were like, today has to be a comfy day, I'm not going to lie. And they're brilliant because they're just so comfy. I can put my talk back in my pockets. Bob's your uncle. So I'm literally just putting a few lines on there. And that becomes your your little wooden bit, see, like that, which is lovely. Boom. And then, so this is going to be the signpost. So to make it a little signpost, you'll get, and obviously with this, you can add whatever you want. You can add all your own little elements to it. I'm popping a bit of glue there, having that in his hand, like so. Because it does kind of look like he's holding something, doesn't it? Yeah. It could be he's just put resting his hand on his um, knee, but I thought, no, mine's going to be holding a little signpost, and that signpost is going to say, Happy Birthday! Oh. So, pop a little bit of glue there, and then you've got a Happy Birthday, like so. Because I thought that were cute. I love that one. Gardeners don't grow, they just go to pot. I think that's quite fabulous. So that one's there. It would look so much nicer if everything were coloured in, but you'll get the gist. So that one I'm going to pop here, like so. Um, my, the pens I use, Linda, um, these were pens from Mr Phil Martin. Uh, they are really nice. I, I picked these up because obviously there's such a good array of colours. So it was just, with something like this, with so many different colours, you want a really nice selection of colours. So, yeah, it were our, our fills. Yeah, so there are four sets of those, aren't there? There are four sets, yeah. yes. And I've got four sets somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you got the, you got the full complete collection, eh? Yeah, but one of them's gone missing. No. It's probably me. I do this. I put them down in places. Yeah. But it, I, I have been really quite particular with my pens as well. They're in colour co coordination and everything. Oh, they'll turn up. It'll turn up. So, look, so you just pop in now a few little elements on. I'll try and be a bit quicker. Oh, right. So you've got all these gorgeous little flowers. Mm -hmm. So you can just decorate wherever you fancy. So I'll pop in that one there. I'll pop the others with glue. If I were at home, I wouldn't be popping these on with glue. I'd be 3D in some. Some would be, you know, um, some would have glue, some wouldn't. I'm popping that on its side because it's a flower pot and flower pots fall over all the time, right? Mm -hmm. And that one is going to go on the side like that. It's a bit windy and it's just in his little... I mean, you could have had so much to this, couldn't you? Yeah. Oh, cute there. And then his little flowers. So, of course, on his happy birthday sign, we have to have a little flower on there and then a little leaf. So you're getting loads of embellishments. On all of them you get loads of embellishments. So you can decorate them to your heart's content, which just looks, how cute is that? And then, of course, all your little flowers. So you've got flowers. Oh, we've got the watering can, which is really sweet. Now let me have a look what it looks like and decide where to put my watering can. Look at him, how cute is that? <laughs> and it's sweet and you can see the little wheel there that's got the um the flower on so oh where shall i put my little watering can i might put the watering can oh, on his no not on his head hanging head. off a handle i was gonna do that hanging off the handle but i don't think it'll i'll pop that just there i'm really faffing now aren't i folks i will stop faffing but i'm having a lovely time so a little watering can is just gonna go behind there like oh, that's that. nice. Yeah, that works. That works, doesn't it? Right, I will stop faffing because... But, but you've got loads of leaves. You've got loads of beautiful little... Um, I think I've folded that bit skew with it. But, there. So, you've got loads of little extra elements. Oh, I just love him. 
Isn't it fabulous? Um, obviously, when you've coloured it in, it would be more obvious what he's actually sat in. But I think that's pretty obvious anyway. Mm -hmm. Love it. Absolutely love it. Please check your baskets out. They are just a joy to work with. Um, and, of course, don't miss out on the stamps that we have got left. I'll just carry on sticking flowers and things. And our Yanis will give you a little reminder of what we've got left. OK, I really hope you're enjoying the show. Please keep those emails coming in studio at Hochanda. Com. We're going to start with our stamps. Now, remember, these are all individual. We're going to start with Goatily Gorgeous. Love the names. Uh, and what you get with Pink Ink is, with each of the sets, something that is so wonderfully original. I'm just looking for uh, some examples with the goat that has suddenly vanished. Oh, here we go. So, you've got your main feature, which is here. You can see your main goat feature, but then you're getting so much more. I mean, the examples are great. I just love this sentiment, grab your goat you've pulled. It's funny, it's a little bit different, but great poses uh, to characters. This is where Pink Ink absolutely uh, excel. Leonie, we didn't, did you do the pose? Or am I doing, I'm doing oh, the pose apparently. No, I'm doing the pose. I'll do, I'll do the pose, well I can't copy the goat, I'll do the pheasant, which we're going to show oh. now, I'll pop this down. Okay. Uh, 1749 if you do want to go for your goatily gorgeous, 416586 your item number. Now we have our pheasant, so let me just show you, when I say the amount of elements you get on one set, look at this as a stamp set. We've got silhouette, we've got a smaller scale of the pheasant strutting around, you've got individual feathers, again different scales coming through we've got flowers your main image a sentiment your magnificent uh, and then you've got your feather in there as a why is everyone saying I can't pronounce this right magnificent no. there's an I there magnificent magnificent that's Magne what I'm saying magnificent magnificent well I don't I know why I'm it. looking to you Leonie for help <laughs> magnificent. Mag yeah, it is magnificent. 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 What were you oh, saying? Oh yeah, I was adding <laughs> an <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I might have got it wrong. Uh, <laughs> magnificent. That sounds a lot better. <laughs> Let me show you some examples. I Get mean, I'm having trouble just saying oh, yeah, pheasant. <laughs> <laughs> have a look at this. Isn't it beautiful though? Real character. All of this has been uh, hand-drawn by Kathy. Have we still got uh, yes. Kathy's journal? Should we have a look? When we come back to you, should we have a look at of that? Of course we can. Because it's so nice seeing the sort of providence of where all the artwork comes from. And Kathy and Mel work incredibly closely together, but all of the illustrations are hand-drawn. They're wonderfully original. Uh, $17.49 your price, 711-053 your item number. Now, we've got some frames for you as well. Uh, what I would say with the frames, these are just great to add to your stash, and they'll work with absolutely anything. They are universal. So we have got a really nice, the boudoir, I think the actual sentiment here is excellent. When a friend told me I was a, um, delusional, I nearly fell off my unicorn. Come on, that is hilarious. And then you've got this beautiful frame in there as well. But you can put stuff in your frame. You've got that. <laughs> or the, apparently, I think Mel's on the phone trying to tell us how to say it. What's Mel saying? Is it... Mm, I'll try it again. Magnificent. Yay! Magnificent. There we go. Apparently, I finally got it right. <laughs> With the help of like everyone here at Hoshanda. Uh, so there we go. <laughs> actually, Mel actually called up. So you have to say it. Thank you, Mel. Uh, okay, so that's one of the sets. Just say magnificent. magnificent. Ah. Well, that's a, we overthought this. Yeah, we overthought. We really that. overthought it. Just, just literally, we should have just said magnificent. Yeah, I suppose uh, so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have our. Uh, this is our decadent as well. So our second set. There, there's our decadent. Oh, decadent. Sorry, decadence. And let me just show you here. <laughs> now you've <laughs> nailed one. It's all going down. <laughs> that's the easy one. <laughs> now what we I'm just wanted to call again. Mel. I'm going to show you. Mel's going to call it. Up. It's magnificent. Uh, okay. Look, having a look here, we've got. A beautiful frame, I mean, it's so ornate, but then you can deconstruct, think outside the box. Isn't it nice that Kathy and Mel are watching? <laughs> yeah, I can think say, that's lovely. Um, Mel, Kathy, <laughs> we are, um, look, massive fans, and uh, Pink Ink have got a real community uh, here. So uh, it's so nice that you are watching and become part of the Pink Ink community too, so whatever you invest in. Uh, right, we have got the cards as well. This is what Leonie's been working on. These are phenomenal. 
This to me illustrates, I think there is uh, the culture at Pink Ink, obviously Pink Ink, Kathy and Mel, they pour so much of themselves into every kit and make sure everything is absolutely first rate. From the fact that they're working off of the Bockingford, and we love the Bockingford, uh, also they give you absolutely everything to create these beautiful cars and they are sensational. These are the kind of cars we all have friends or family members that you know would really appreciate these 3D cars. You can fold them flat as well. If I just illustrate here, so we can post flat. So, oh, I'm so sorry, Holly. There we go. So we can post flat and then, ba 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 ba. That is an utter, as Alex likes to say, mantle pleaser. Uh, so you're getting eight of these. So eight hand illustrated pages. On each of the pages, if I just show you here, Look at the sheer wealth that you're getting. We've got our sentiment. Remember, this is all Bockingford, so we can use our watercolors. It's such a good hot press cardstock. Uh, you've got your birthday wishes. We've got all the elements to build up. That's our gardener. Then we've got our chap on a bike now, whizzing around the balloons on the bike with the ducks. I love this. Or how about here? Bit of fishing, bit of angling, and then finally, now, are these included as well, Leon? Yeah. Yeah, are we even getting the smaller ones too? Yeah. It's really nice. Because you've got that many elements, so you can make those as well. Amazing. All right, twelve forty nine is your price if you do want to get hold of these. We're going to head back to Leone uh, and carry on playing. If you want to see anything, please get in touch. Studio at Hochanda.com. Magnificent. Well, that's it. That's all we needed to say. Just going to say magnificent. I'll very, very quickly show you the wonderful yeah. um, book from our lovely Kathy. Is Kathy telling us how to say it as well? <laughs> uh, watching true. the show, we're fabulous, but we can't speak properly. Hey, that sums us up. Uh, hey? That sums us up, I think. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, but we've got loads of information about people who. Uh, grow, grow big potatoes. <laughs> um, so, look, this is a bit I haven't really shown actually, so it's perfect. Um, and this again is showing how um, things are built and how all the ideas come together. Um, look at this. I love it. She's actually plotted it out properly on graph paper. Can you imagine if I were doing these? Mine would be scribbled on a bit of tea towel, wouldn't they? Um, she's actually planned it properly planned how the cards are going to work. I think it's so brilliant to actually see this. That is genius. And of course, going through with the tracing paper, you know, building up the characters, seeing how they want the characters to work, and then again, seeing how the actual cards will come together. And then you can see the wonderful gardener there. It's so nice seeing, you know, the, the process. The process of elimination, the, the ideas, how it all um, grows, of course. Course, which is magnificent and um, those of so I know I say magnificent a lot now it's all because of this show and um, I'm not showing that one because that one sold out but we have got magnificent and, and I was saying ladies we do one because um, you said specs with a question mark yes we love the specs we'd like lots of accessories please I think that would be fabulous nice. you know for all the animals that you've done like the um, like you could have a newspaper you could have the specs we could have a, an array of hats you know, especially like his plumage. You could have a, a hat with fabulous plumage in. Headphones. Headphones. Pipe. Yeah, pipe. That, yeah, there's loads. There's loads. So if we could have those, that would be marvellous, please. <laughs> um, now, unfortunately, he's gone. But, yay, look how brilliant that is. Aren't they just magnificent? All original artwork. Okay, um, that I love looking through that. Thank you, thank you very much. Again, I'm going to move it right out of my way. I've kept it right out of my way because I know what I am like. Okay, what I decided to do, and I'm so I actually forgot I was going to do this, but I think it's quite cool. So. Um, the wonderful frame card. Now, with the frame card, what you can do, so I'm not going to do this again, I'll just tell you what I've done. Stamped it on our Bockingford, of course, um, cut it out. I've then cut out and scored really badly. I am sorry, but I didn't have a scoring board. So I've cut and scored a little old piece of card, another pocket piece of Bockingford, like that. And that is actually going to go behind there. So that will allow me to make a shaped card, like so. 
Okay, mm -hmm. and which I really like because I think that frame is is such a beautiful frame. Now you can then cut the frame out, and I'll do this really, really quite quickly because I don't need it to be exact. I don't need it to be perfect by any means of the word. And in fact, what I am going to do, get it started like so, but then get my scissors in, and then. Hold on a second. Make it nice and quick and easy. I forgot I was going to... This It's funny, I know this is the last hour, but there's still loads you want to show. Because there's still loads you can do. I mean, we've got the beautiful paints as well. So, um, I'll try and do this quicker than I'm being. So, just cut that out. And what I thought with something like this, because it's such a gorgeous frame, you obviously you'd paint it, you'd colour it in, you know, you'd add all your, your beautiful embellishments to it. It's screaming out for embellishments. I think um, this would be beautiful with gold foiling or, you know, with your, your gold leaf and things like that. Normally, I wouldn't cut that out as badly as I have. I'd rather have it as a, as a, a fuller shape because then you'd be able to use it. Because obviously, it's quite a big piece of card that we've got. Um, so, so, oh, what, what, what? Oh my gosh, yes. We could be sure that will I cut out. Um, okay, so we have got some uh, Christmas stamps now. They are on the show, they are on the websites, they are available. We'll show you pictures. I mean, these are just beautiful. You've got your gorgeous Robin. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely exquisite. Um, oh, I wish, I do wish I had these. Oh, look at that, the pear tree. That is so beautiful. And then look at the tree, the Christmas tree. That is beautiful. And what's that? Oh, make a wish. They are stunning. They are stunning. You're saving eight pounds with those. Um, now, that is just gorgeous. Have we got a flexi on that as well? Yes, we have. Of course we have. If you do want them, two payments, £30.98. and pence. Um, Yeah, they are just exquisite. We have got another little Christmas bundle for you as well. So if you would like to, to get hold of these ones, again, look at these. So you have got your Merry Christmas. Oh, that's so lovely. I could say that, Mel. Merry Christmas. Um, you've also got oh, um, a Christmas carol beautiful and then you have got sleigh bells ring oh look at them yep i they're stunning absolutely stunning they're all available individually if you do want to go for those please again check your baskets out um we we are sorry we were going to show those but we got carried away with talk of um gerald quite frankly right okay so that's gonna stick on the back there so that's gonna give me my shape card which means of course i've got a fabulous aperture now what I wanted to do with the aperture was actually cut one of my wonderful pheasants out. T what time am I on? In six minutes. I'm not going to do that. So I wanted to cut a lovely little pheasant out. What I'll do instead, because I haven't got time to cut him out. What I can cut him out if it helps you. Um, oh, it's it. okay because six minutes. It's not really. No, I actually do trust you with your cutting <laughs> skills. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will trust you, I promise. <laughs> but it's just a bit, uh, it's yeah, just a bit right. of time, isn't it? Yeah. And also, I would have liked to show really, really quickly, but I'm really, really pushing it. I'd like to show some paints on a canvas really quickly. So just, just quickly, if I stamp my beautiful pheasant like this, but then, because I'm stamping, isn't that gorgeous? Uh. See, look how good that would look behind the frame. It's a see, good strut. Isn't it fabulous? Yeah. And then you see what you could do stamp him again, cut him out, put him on the front, but then when you open the card, you're going to see him on the inside and on top of the frame, which would look absolutely beautiful. And the thing is, with that ink, of course, because you're going on your Bockingford, you can just drag the ink and it'll just give you that really nice, soft shading which looks lovely. Those Christmas stamps are actually really busy. So if you would like those with that incredible saving, um, yeah, they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. Please check your basket out with those. They're exquisite. And look, uh, just a touch with your water brush, going into the, um, the, the ink, you just drag the ink, and can you see how good that looks? Because it just gives you a really nice outline. 
and it kind of frames him. Look at that, isn't he fabulous? So then stick that onto there, like so. You'd cut off your excess, but then that would make a wonderful shape card. And you go around the edges as well. This is a. This is not anywhere near finished, folks. Obviously. Would you be tempted to cut out if you're at home? Would mm -hmm. you cut out the tail and then put it on the outside of the frame? So what I do, I cut him out. I'd stamp him again. Mm -hmm. I'd cut him out and then mat and layer him. So what I'd actually do, stamp it again, cut it out. The second one you stick on the frame. Yeah. So at the front, it looks like when you see it, you'd see the full pheasant. But then when you open the card, you get the pheasant yeah. inside. Nice. And then I put the uh, the sentiments in there as well. Lovely. And with the ink, you can really quickly start to colour that frame in. And I am quite rushing. They are beautiful frames. They're you know beautiful frames. I'd like to do with the frames. I think they work great with a, a gold emboss or even a white emboss. Yes, yeah. They really, you want them to be quite decadent, don't mm. you? Um, absolutely gorgeous. Now, I know I'm really cutting my time fine, but this is actually um, cotton. It's A4 okay. cotton. Oh. And I wanted to just put some of the gorgeous paints on here. Now, the paints are stunning. It's a cotton pad? Huh? Is it a pad? No, it's, um, it's a, a canvas. Oh, OK. It's a canvas, which means, now look at how beautiful these paints are. Wow. And I just thought, this is a background, literally just adding your paints to the background. But what I wanted to do, and obviously, last hour I got carried away with me, me, me card. What I wanted to do with this, create a beautiful background with your paints, mm -hmm. but then just do a little bit of over stamping, allowing and building up, because you've got flowers, you've got your beautiful, can you imagine the goats, and then the gorgeous pheasant gently coming in with this. It'd look absolutely stunning. And you can move, I've got two minutes. I don't know why I thought I'd be able to do this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, now doesn't that look nice? They blend and really nicely. They blend beautifully. But when you actually blend them, when you get, so, allow them to blend, but then all you need to do, if you just pick up your, so it's a big, bit like your rag rolling, mm -hmm. and look at that texture that you get. Mm. And you've got, oh, picking up brown <laughs> off the bat. Leona, I know, I'm a nightmare. Um, but <laughs> Kathy wouldn't do that. <laughs> hey, it's not. Look, it's blended oh, out. See, see, see. But then, see, trust me, I'm a crafter. We always trust you, Neil. <laughs> and then, see, what I wanted to do Got about a minute. without any time is take my beautiful pheasant, like so, is magnificent. And then, boom, it's taken me it's only hours. 20, 24 hours. For 24 us to get that. hours. And then, one minute, let's see if I can stamp him. Please stamp beautifully, my friend. So what I'd love to do with this, absolutely cover it in paint, get that gorgeous background, and then put your beautiful images, have them all overlapping, and of course, blend that ink so you've got that yeah. wonderful. And it's this, can you see where it's wet? So you'd have them just blending softly out like that. Uh, that's what I'd love to do, but of course, um, it's nearly out of time. But how good would they look on that background? Incredible. Absolutely oh. incredible. I've had so much fun this hour. Can I say a big thank you to Leone. Great thank job with you. the One Day Special. Uh, a huge thank you to <laughs> Mel and to Kathy as well. You guys are amazing. We look forward to seeing you very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed the show. Do make sure to check out your baskets uh, and also send Kathy and Mel, you can follow them on social media, what you make, they would love to see it. So we've got another great hour just around the corner with Picture This. After that, we are launching a brand new one day special and it is indigo blue, everybody. I've had a peek, it's amazing. After that, we've got designs by Jubilee Fabrics. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free?
Just like your smartphone accesses an App Store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select move to front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques, from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the Chanda. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, let's move. Let's say hello to the amazing uh, Lou Sims. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm very well. And now, 
Many times together, however, never with a picture desk. No, no, we haven't. Um, this is the second time for me demoing for Picture This, and um, Picture This is Andy, who's the artist, and Nigel, who's like the business guru behind it all, okay. and they've brought this wonderful brand to Hachanda, and it's growing and growing and growing and growing. And literally, like you can build and grow that village with stamps that they design. Even so, the newer sets work with the older sets. So everything, you know, as you say, can grow and grow and grow and grow. So you can bring in some of the older sets you might have got with the newer sets. So everything's got that fluid work with them. It is, fluid is a very good way to describe this artwork. Now we have got a brand new collection, A5, A6 stamp collection. You are getting indi in 19 individual uh, stamps in total. Now, uh, now, if you want to go for the collection, the details are on the left hand side of the screen. However, you can go for individuals. So I know maybe if you want to go uh, for the rail railway cuttings, uh, the first one that we saw there, I love Oh, that's one of my favorites. You can go for edit it individually. The details are at the bottom of the screen. Now, that is approaching limited stock, and the item number is 777-3434 for that stamp set. And £10.99 is the price for a single one. Now, if you go for the complete collection with all four of them, you have got a five pound saving so of course many of you are going for the complete collection because of that additional saving now you can see the fine line of the artwork that is incredible the detail look it is it's and oh, what's great about the stamps is you don't have to be a perfect colorer so if you like loose coloring you can do it but you don't lose the detail from the stamps if you want to put in as much detail as you want in your coloring the line art's there for you. It is indeed. I love that Vespa or other, other um, you know, Muppets or whatever they're called <laughs> that are available. But I just, I don't know, I love that. And the post box as well and the lamppost. It's all those elements in there. It, all the different elements. I mean, I do love that the, the, the scooter does hark back to a certain so the, yeah. era, doesn't it? So they, I think that would be cool, you know, like in circles and stamp that, but the circles were each different colours. Yeah like a real sort of 60s, 70s. Oh, I was just thinking of that movie, but I, uh, you know, the one that is a holiday in a, a city abroad in Italy, to be precise. Uh, <laughs> right, look at that, gorgeous. I love how you can build the scene in there. Look at the ears, uh, oh, look at that. And I love the birds as well. That you can add them onto it as well, because they're included with, with the houses. But again, see, you don't, just painting the houses as is, you know, base colors and add all your details. If you want to add more and more shading, you can do, um, you know, bringing your gloss in there. I mean, pens, if you've got like the fine liners, jelly rolls, all yeah. of those sort of things, you can add into them and it picks out all that little detail. But I think that that scene there, if you change the colours to the leaves to oranges, reds and stuff like that, you've got autumn. Of course. That so would you be could so actually, just looking at that scene there, you could create like a, a set of seasons. So you've got lots of different ways of using them and building them all up. Yeah, it is. I love that. Now, of course, remember that the complete collection also includes the other stamps that I'm showing now. So now we can see. Uh, now we can uh, have got. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly the stamps that you are getting. Uh, so that will be show you as well the individuals if you want to go for the individuals on their own. So this one is the uh, of course motoring couple. So you can see the here, uh, and, and I love the. You know, this is quite f fun. It's just they're funny. They are kind of they have got that humor in yeah it. I, it has got that humor in it. but when I first got that image um, I know a lot of people said like it could be used for weddings anniversaries and you know j just general cards and such like I actually saw steampunk yes definitely yeah and, and that was the first thing I made oh, that's fun. yeah it's very and the go-kart well that's just reminds me of my own childhood making them from nothing oh cool <laughs> you had a cool childhood <laughs> and of course I just uh, this is wasabi when I'm trying to uh, grab him and this oh look it's so cute and then you have got and then this one is the uh, bits of kids kids yes <laughs> bits of kids bits of kid. that's that's impossible bits I, bits <laughs> bits <of kid. laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, I cannot pronounce. This is one of those ones I cannot pronounce, especially with what the director just said on my ear. Uh, and then you can see then, uh, this one is your bits of cutting. And then look at, see, I look at this image and on its own, I think it's just, there's something about it. That you could use it just on its own and just a simple sentiment underneath yeah. it sort of um, in the worm sentiments coming up they've taking two of the words there and just having happy days yeah you know, something definitely. nice and simple uh, uh, happy retirement I think anything it's like that, that good, yeah uh, by the way three quarters approaching three quarters of the stock of that uh, individual stamps the bits of cuttings um, there and then and this one is the gorgeous is now limited stock uh, it, a railway this one is the railway cuttings now it is as limited really, really it's gonna sell out any minute any second actually so if you want it please uh, do go for it right now otherwise like I'm gonna just give you the update that is technical sell out right if you want it uh, 777 343 is your item number and you could be doing and the last one who this the last one to you know, the last person, uh, the person now that is going to get it, uh, it's going to be the one that it checks out the baskets as right now. Uh, you can see in here that you can go and create that elongate that. Can you see that landscape? That's the three houses, and then I've stamped the three houses next to each other, and then put the bits of cuttings on either end, so you can make a whole street that way. So you can elongate it. Um, and, and put the houses next to each other if that's what you want to, to do. Uh, now, of course, and now we did say that this one was going to be sell out. Well, it is now technically sold out. Now, uh, it will be only available on the complete. If you want it, that's the only way. If you have it in your baskets, do check out your baskets now and you might get it. But um, look, let's show some a couple more samples of the complete uh, because I think that is the complete that allows you to do the complete scene. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> I mean, the cat, you can color it uh, any way you like. Oh, oh, the cat, you can do, yeah. You can make it dark, light. You could do um, mottled, yeah. black. And then, completely different from the buildings, you can have the bits of kits, and then you can have here. I, I just think it's. This one is for the, um, the other side, isn't it? Yeah, the, the motoring yeah. couple. Yeah, so you get two sizes, but it's slightly smaller. So you can stagger them and make them look like they're having a race. Of course, that's, that's one of the. Look at the. the Happy. Uh, by the way, if you want to go for the words, uh, there are the happy words, uh, which are at the happy days, uh, which are at the bottom of the screen, and you can see in there that you can also incorporate it. I like that it is something a bit more edgier mm. about, about that. Yeah. Um, right. If you want to go for the complete collection, three eight zero eight one two is your item number. Thirty eight pounds and ninety six pence is the price with a five pound saving. Moving down to. Oh, this one is, this is the numbers ones, isn't it? Uh, shall I put, this is the deco numbers. I kind of put it like this so you can read them a little bit more. Uh, then you can see. Now, I seem to remember that Andy did bring some deco buildings. At yes, some he time. did some lovely art deco, beautiful buildings, like a series of them. Yeah. And they look wonderful. And this, up. this number, but this number does not necessarily have to be with that deco. No, that? not at all. I mean, um, it can be used in lots of different ways. I love the way that you've got lots of different versions of the same number, which Absolutely. I think works really well. So they, I love the, the three, the eight there. You see, I like yeah. one of the, uh, the the middle eights or the first. I think I snowman. see people and people. I see snowman. I see you know, people. little hat. Mm. I see the, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is a, I don't know why, but I see this is a tall thing. Uh, this is our Molly, uh, our Molly, and then uh, this is me, and this is Leone, or vice versa. No, actually, my, I'm more rounded than Leone, so that's kind of a, a little, but. But you can do, you can see different shapes within there. So, and, and the zero is not a clean zero, you've got that little line, so there's a nice, you know, little touches yeah. in, in each of them. So you, well, if you're doing your numbers, you could do them in lots of different ways, not have Absolutely. to, you know, keep using the same numbers. You've got little, di lots of different styles. I love the ampersand as well, mm. uh, the ampersand in there as well that you have got. So, you, of course, you can personalize then your uh, sentiments in there. You can see them, uh, 10th birthday and things like that, especially if you go for the happy days uh, sentiments as well. Uh, right, if you want to go for that one, uh, the details are coming up.
now. 441738 is your item number. £10.99 pence is the price. Bits of Railways is next. Now, mm, does this work with the previous the complete collection? Yeah, it can work with the, pre the, the ones we've got on today, um, with the houses and you've got all the other buildings that you can do. Because, I mean, you could have the gates at the bottom and the houses going up the hill. You know, so you've got your railways. So that, that's the idea with the, with the stamps, that you can build onto what you've already got and you know expand it even further or use them standalone absolutely and yeah i love them i mean this is i think this is out of these ones my favorite i mean i love the bits of uh, the other one the cuttings as well but this one i just don't know there's something so architectonical with that lines uh, 10 pounds and 99 pence is the price uh 381142 is your item number two thirds of the stock has already gone grab yours by checking out those baskets up next is the oh this is a B oh Viva Drive uh, Diva Drive actually I was gonna say uh, right this is the accessory <laughs> I did say Viva Drive no it's, it's Diva well it's you know Diva <laughs> I mean Diva is uh, Viva la Diva uh, anyway <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on today in my head. Uh, Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence <laughs> you is your price. Uh, one nine six two one one is your item number, and I love how you can incorporate a little bit of that into the trees. Uh, that's the trees that kind of build the, the yeah. greenery. But I think that the way the, the design is so loose, I love the like we had the shrubberies on, which unfortunately sold out. But the designs there are similar colour them up and they look something totally different because to me they could work in an underwater scene as well as you know using them as trees or bushes um, put them horizontally and you've got them as you know traditional bush shapes not tree shapes there's so many different ways you can use them and I think because it's such a nice loose artwork you can take it and build them up to create your whole background as well. Absolutely. Uh, £10.99 is the price for it and I love that you can collect them and you can build them. I do like that car. All uh, right, we have got the love and pride and the earnest stamps next. Love this stamps because having love, having celebrate, celebrate joy and pride, mm. I mean how it's different as well as those words no, not always we find pride no and I like the um, you know the underline yes that, that you know that, like frames yeah. the whole word where we've that got glyph, that on yeah on separate letters Absolutely. so it, and it, that it's like, joy it carries that flow doesn't it indeed you know, it along does. the whole of the word so your eyes actually read the whole word not Absolutely. I love that congratulations with that O and the N is mm. such a clean line it's just that sort of a I just think that you can put that stamp and emboss into gold or mm. you know, that sort of... Uh, I do think the 1930s would be the time from the era of that sort of art, they call that kind of lines and it, things like yeah, that. Yeah, it's got that sort of lines, but I think there's different changes within it. Like you say, doing it in different colours, because the congratulations, if you did stamp that, like say in oxides, in lots of different colours and made it like a rainbow effect, I think it takes, changes it again Absolutely. into something totally different. I mean, I love, I mean, pride, love, I mean, that is just mm. gorgeous, isn't it? Right, if you want to go for this stamp set, 790 and 471 is your item number, £10.99, and, £10, and you're going to get all seven stamps in there. And then we have got Happy Days next, which uh, is limited to stock. So if you want Happy Days, well, the, we have got the stamp for you. Uh, 345. Oh, I like that number, 345054, <laughs> sorry, distraction again, uh, is your item number. I, oh, I love, can I just say how much I love this font? It's mm. just so uplifting, light and cheerful. It is, but the words are long enough that, you know, you could actually, you know, build that make them the centerpiece yeah. and use the other accessory stamps around it well now it's technically sold out so if you have it in your baskets do check out your baskets and then you will get them otherwise you will miss out uh, right thank you uh, now of course we are gonna see some other stamps in there uh, lofty lamppost uh, three stamps that you are getting there 10 pounds and 99 pence uh, is the price you approaching 60% of the stock has already gone uh, for her that one uh, now there is another one that we haven't seen is the oh Terry and June I love those ones I 
Uh, that was, that's the one. I do have a stamp out image, which is much better um, that, because those ones is not that clear uh, in there. It, but it's best of times, and it's such a happy couple. I know, uh, you know, oh, I love the Vespa. Oh, other other, you know, vehicles <laughs> are available. Um, it's just such a cool image uh, of, of I, them. And accessories on there as well. You know, you've got lots of little like, little corners as well as the dog and everything. Because the dog image would work with the collection we've got now and the accessories would work with the collection we've got now especially with the other motoring couple oh yeah definitely um, so, so that would that you know that crosses over absolutely beautifully with uh, that stamp set I love that. I absolutely love that. And then the lofty lamppost as well. We have got it there. Uh, we gonna. I love the different lampposts as well in here. And I love that you have got already the kind of the moon there. But it's also the shape of the lamppost. So you could make that um, if you use it traditionally. But that would make a great Halloween scene. You know, change it in a different way because um, it's got different looks. You know about it. I think also the way it's designed as well. If you had like a bunting, you could actually hang a bunting coming off it as well, yeah. and it looks and the individual other lamps. Absolutely. Now, 60% uh, of the stock has over 60 uh, of the percent of the stock has already gone. So if you want yours, uh, grab yours by checking out those baskets. Right, look. What is going to be your first demo? Right. Well, I was going to start with the car, but I'll start with the background first because just in case the stamps go. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I've taken the love and the laughter, and I know okay. the love and the laughter laughter is in the limited the and is in the okay love and laughter I think is in happy days isn't it and the and is in the other set um, the all right so happy days is gone anyway so we have got Anne in love and pride yeah. the and so I just wanted to so I've just made my own sentiment and I've just done love and laughter now I'm using deliberately using an old older um, ink pad because I want it to be quite soft and I just want to build up a background. So you can take the words and you can make your own sentiments yeah. with them. You don't have to use them individually because there's lots of different choices you could do. Yeah. So um, and of course, uh, the happy days and the um, uh, the uh, love and laughter has got a different love, which I love because it's... <laughs> <laughs> which I love because it's a different happy days has now technically sold out but love and pride is still available right so I would carry on and just build the background because I want to just make the whole background um, I want the words to be there but I also don't want them to be the main focal okay. I want them to be receding in I couldn't think of the words sorry it just totally went from my head so I'll just finish. Oh, I'm you know, we do totally went up to tweet it today. <laughs> so I carry on building it up, which is what I've done here, and then I've just inked around the, the outside. So I thought before they went, I would make my background quickly. Yeah. So I put that yeah. to one side. So now what I want to do is I want to take the motoring couple. Okay. And I'm going to stamp the motoring couple up. And make sure I've got absolutely. Okay. Everything stamped in place. Of course, the uh, motoring couple are available individually or at the bottom of the screen for the individuals or available in the complete collection at the left hand side of the screen. Now, a lot of the samples that, that we've got, we've used them quite traditionally. I'll just stamp this up. And see, there, there's the motoring. And I use it quite traditionally. But when I got this, the first thing I saw was yeah. steampunk. Uh, so that is exactly yeah, what I absolutely. saw was was the steampunk element about it all and colouring it up in those sort of colours yeah. and that would I made that into the journal page and I want to add some more of little bits of the car and the people in there because I just thought it went absolutely beautifully using it in a different different way. So I move my journal. What is that? So this is my couple. I just want to give them a quick blast because it's okay. a new ink pad. Okay. And then we'll colour them. Yeah. You're uh, using Versafine Claire, are you? Yeah. yeah. I treated myself to a new ink pad, and you know, oh. it's that, it's got to be weathered in, hasn't it? It's that, it's that, that horrible, yeah. well, it's not well, a horrible stage, it's a lovely stage, but <laughs> it, it's just, I know that if I do that, yeah. I'll, well, it'll it's, have a natural shadow to it that I don't actually want it yeah. to have. It's gonna move juicy. That. Yeah. It's very juicy. Um, and so I'm just going to colour the car and I'm not going to be overly precious. Um, 
about it? Because I don't think you have to be. It's, it's, it looks more complicated to colour than it actually is. So okay. I've got one finished, but I just wanted to show you. What I do is I would cover the whole of the car in one particular colour. As you can see, I'm not going to be... And... So, and then I would just do a little bit of water colouring okay. and just bring the colour out. Mm. Uh -oh. And I would, when the water colour is dry, I would then start adding, you can add in a little bit more of the shading. Okay. There's lots of different elements. Because you could make this traditional um, you know, black tie if he was like like wearing like I was want to say like a James Bond suit, but other yeah, obviously yeah, no, superhero characters or spies. super agent spies. Yeah. Agent. Yeah. Um, but because he's uh, yes, yes, of course there is. Um, yeah, there is a couple more. Um, <laughs> so I've got them. And because you, you could make that very traditional, do you know, or like I a like know, a morning yeah. suit for a wedding. Oh, it would, yeah, it's absolutely. got that sort of look to it as well. So you could take, take it, or you could make it. Um, if you coloured it like, say, like a light blue when it was dry, and then went over with like a darker blue to make it look like one of those sailing blazers, one of those traditional, which you would sell out from the nineteen twenties yes. or thirties. Uh, yeah, I was thinking as well. You know those. Um, uh, I don't know what. Um, um, I can't think of the word. <laughs> I'm trying to help. I'm, I'm, trying, trying to I'm help looking at you guys. Kind of, yeah, I was thinking of the, uh, you know, the, the lords, the cricket ground. Yes, you know, yeah, the, the, tide, the traditional. Yeah, the traditional, yeah. that's, that's what yeah. I meant, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah the traditional yeah. cricket blazer. Yeah. That, yeah, no, I know what you mean, yeah. Uh, I'm not quite the, a bigger cricket fan as you are. Well, yeah, it's, you know what, it's like, it's funny because uh, I didn't know that cricket existed until I was 20-something years old. Really? And then now I'm like one of the biggest fans. Oh, yeah. wow, that's cool. Yeah, there, there's not, in Spain, it's not, nothing, um, there's nothing in love of cricket. My, my claim to fame is the fact that one of the legends of the game, once I met him and he said to, uh, we were talking about the match mm. and then I said something and he's like, listen to the Spanish lady, <laughs> she knows cricket. Yes. Oh. Yeah. That Michael must have Holding, been like. an amazing man. No, and I'm not a great cricket fan. Yeah. I'm afraid. So I would carry on building up and up and up and up and up. I won't sit here and colour absolutely everything because otherwise you've lost me for the afternoon, I'm oh, being yeah. honest. So what I've done is I have coloured one already. If I turn oh, it over, you can I see. So I've carried on. Wow. Where's the... Oh, I've lost my one that I started. I filed that somewhere. But I've just carried on and then once the layers of the watercolour, I've then gone over and added the sharp, you know, the, the shading bits in with like a brown, same with his suit. But what I've done with her dress is I've kept it quite, I didn't want to say wedding, but I've kept it quite soft. And then I've actually gone over with um, Sakura pens. Okay, yeah. So if I grab this one, I'll show you. So like this metallic, so where his glasses were, I've just given him some uh, oh. like little sparkly glasses. And on her dress, I've actually coloured it with the, the Sakuras and rather than the watercolours because once whilst the ink is wet with a Sakura pen oh. you can blend it out so it means she can have a little bit of sparkle preferably right. not with the red still in your paintbrush right. oh, but so I can perfect. add and that's what I did with her dress yeah. you know because I wanted it soft I didn't want it wedding but I wanted it soft it, yeah. and then once everything was dry I just um, went over it with the car itself is with glossy accents oh, so that it looks so cool so, yeah, it looks like that enamel. Well, thing. he looks like the sort of guy that probably would go out and clean the car and make it shine if you're going to go out, you know, as best as possible. And that's what I actually did with the car. I mean, I've cut lots of the detail out. You don't have to. I, I don't mind a bit of cutting, though. Yeah, I, it's, it's kind of nice sometimes. It is. It's, yeah. And it, actually, to go into these sort of bits isn't actually that tricky. Yeah. And I'm not, don't use a knife because I don't trust myself, to be quite <laughs> honest. You know when you go, oh, there's the other bit there. You're going, where's the other bit? Right, I want to grab the background. Now, what I've done is, that is my background there. But what I want to do is I want to actually do a heart. And I've just die cut a heart from a scrap of piece of card. And I just want to do a little bit of inking of where the heart is. So... 
It's got a little bit of a romantic feel to it. Somewhere for the couple yeah. to be. It is. It is lovely. They're going in the, or the honeymoon or... Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, this is... You could use this, you know, from your waist, of your die cuts, anything like this. You could... Um, like the characters, if you had um, a star shape... Oh, okay. You know, and you could do this sort of technique, but put the stamp the um, the go kart boy and the skater girl within the star. Oh yeah, of course. Um, yeah. You can build it up that way. Right. So I just want you to do like a little subtle heart within there, and then I just want to grab my stamp because in the stamp image here you get where the wheels are going and moving. Yep. And I quite like that detail. Where I've cut it away, I've taken that movement away with that grounding. So I just want to quickly add that back in. So, and I wanted to do the heart first, so I had an idea of where I wanted to place them. Okay. Otherwise, they, they would end up anywhere. Okay. And do that like that. So I've got that there. I'm going to put my lid on my ink pad oh, before right. I forget. Mm -hmm. so I've got the couple there because obviously what I'm going to do is then stick that on and then I can bring out the grey. But what I do want to do is I want to bring in one of the elements from the Terry and June set that we've got on the, sh okay. the show as well. And one of them is like this little set of hearts which I thought oh, would look like it's coming out of the exhaust of the car. I'm just going to put that there. It's got a bit of a romantic feel to it. It does. And then I've got the sentiment from the same stamp set, which is the best of times. Oh, yeah. So I've got the love and laughter, but it's just to go really that how this is an older stamp set, but how it can all work together. Indeed, and uh, it's just it's just gorgeous. Eh? Everything how everything coordinates as well, and uh, of course uh, the best of times is from the Terry and June. You can see it here. And what there. we could do, let's grab this. And the hearts as well. You can see yeah. them here. I, we can colour the hearts in, but we've got enough space. If we took a micron pen that's bigger than a two, would be a good idea, Louise, because that will be here. We'll be here till tomorrow colouring <laughs> such a fine pen. You need to. Um, so we could oh that's nice because that detail kind of gives it more uh, he uh, heaviness is another word more solidity yeah. more you know more impact depth or strength and and it then puts the background because I mean obviously I've got love and laughter but it puts you can still see the words of the love and laughter but you've got the background you've got this then standing out just a little bit more and it doesn't take long to color it's a lovely traditional. Yeah, but it has. It, it's, well, it's not traditional, is it? It's got lovely um, flourishes to it, like yeah. these bits here. But, but it's a nice, easy one if you wanted to colour, or a chunky embossing powder. Oh, that would be lovely. But I was just thinking about as well those beautiful illustrated books of the mid-century and that Ooh. sort of uh, beginning of the century, mid-century, and that font is very reminiscent of that style. Well, that would be good. Yeah, you know, stamping gold and have that, you know, like mm -hmm. the decorative letters. I know oh, what you yes. mean. That would look really yes. nice. Or foil, foil it. Right. So that's going to be there. We've got the hearts, which I won't colour at the moment. So what I want to do is I want to, so my car is going oh. to then sit on the top there. Yeah, that is gorgeous. I do want to grab a grey, just a little bit, not too much. And I just want to pull the grey out so we can okay. see that the car is a little bit. Yeah. Instead, I don't want to I don't want the, the shadow to be the main focus. I want oh, the, the couple themselves to be, you know, the focus. So let's put this together. So I've got my card blank. Um. And I was going to put a border on it, but I actually think it looks quite nice just being quite subtle. So there's me testing out like, which ink pad was the better, okay. the wet one or the, the drier <laughs> one on the back there. Plus, and I went you, for the drier. Do you keep both pads always because then yeah. you have got, oh, this one is for the draw, you know, that oh, occasions and, and so on? It's like 
That one says new, and my exactly. other one will say old. <laughs> <laughs> once I had to draw, uh, had to put onto uh, Leona's uh, pads which one was dry, and which one was uh, juicy. <laughs> yeah, I, I do that. Or I, then I'll suddenly keep the older ones, so it'll then become old one, yes. old two. <laughs> but there. So we've got that there now. Even though I've got that, I mean, you don't have to do this. I just wanted to show that if you wanted to go somewhere different, I could put. Is if I didn't want to ink, I could die cut a little oh, heart right. shape. Yeah. And they could sit in that on the top. again. So you, you could change the look depending on you know what way. you wanted it to be. I'm just going to go for a, a really subtle look. So there's lots of different ways you can use them and bring in the, the things that you've already got and, in your stash. And the Ash card also shows that although they are scene builders, mm. picture this most of the time, uh, they don't, you don't need to build a scene at all. No, you don't. You can use the, the elements independently or use them within, as you're saying, the scenes themselves. Right, so let me just put them on there. Okay. So, and I've just brought in my Sakura pens and added little metallic highlights here and there. I'm just going to have to do the hearts a little bit, sorry, because it will bug me otherwise. I do, you know, when you go, oh. that, just, just, just a little. I won't colour all of them in. Okay. I just need to colour a little bit of them in, that, at least. Oh, OK. And then I'm happy, sorry. That's but, lovely. So it was just to show a way of using the motoring couple by themselves to create a, a card with the worms there. Yeah, it's just so okay. I love it. I, I love that card. Thank you, Lou. We'll be back with you in very shortly. Uh, but uh, our complete collection. Now, these are all four brand new sets uh, from Picture, T uh, Picture Desk. Now, you are getting 19 stamps in total. And you are getting, let me show you exactly the stamp sets that you are getting. Uh, so, let's uh, start with uh, the one that, of course, Lou was using. is the Muttering Couple. And you can see in here the stamp that Lou was using, but also you are getting the boy carting as well and the cat and, and the dog in there. You can build a scene or you can use them as they are. Uh, then you have got uh, bits of kids uh, and then you have got the boy and the girl. Now you can see if I put the previous set uh, side by side you can see the difference in size. So of course the larger one is part of the bits of kids um, bottom of the screen for just that Sam set and of course you have got the girl with the roller skaters there. Then you have got the bits of cutting, which is my favorite, actually. I just think there is something incredibly fresh about these stamps, and it is very busy, this one. Uh, if you wanted to go for individual stamp, you can get it approaching 80% of the, the stock, so I would go quickly to check out my basket if I just wanted that. However, they are all part of the complete collection, which is the only, uh, this one, uh, actually one has bounced out so if you do not check out your baskets once you say that it's technical sell out what means is your basket will auto refresh every 10 minutes so that way it bounces back so somebody else can get it literally one of them is left individually however you can have them as a complete collection you that is still available 380812 is your item number for all the complete collection uh, as I mentioned there is one left of that beautiful uh, uh, the railway cutting uh, I love the way that you can do something a little bit humorous about that. I, I would put it going down hell and happy birthday. Uh, that kind of sort of thing. Oh, it could be a Christmas. That's a good idea. Christmas sleigh. You can join it here together and put it in the snow and maybe make it a, yeah, that could work as well. And then you have got hair as well with the a girl as well. So that having both of them have got the foreground and the background images in there. What about the cat? In there as well with the uh, bits of cuttings as well with those elements to build that landscape in the back or that kind of well landscape and buildings as well then the motoring couple as well so you have got here as well how they can go in and out and then 
I love the simplicity of this card. A stamping and embossing into white. It just has got something almost like even that the steampunk film, you know, kind of that sort of era of when the photography was this, um, this you know, kind of developed at the, at the beginning. And what about this, you know, just building the scenes with the railway cuttings as well as the bits of cuttings because you can build a scene and build that steep, you know, street with the houses. Think about and maybe somebody has bought a new home or something like that and then you can send them a happy new home card or maybe you could decorate it as a Christmas with the snow and maybe decorate it even more further with that of course you have got here the post box and I believe Lou you did a snow one and the more uh, in the <laughs> oh can you show it to the script uh, to the camera so that was the one o'clock demo because we've I done it um, We've done all of ours, all of us have gone for lovely summery or spring type things, but I actually thought it'd be nice to create a, um, like a wintry thing. But if we changed it and you added a little bit of greens in there, you've suddenly got a Halloween yeah. sort of look. Haunted houses there. Yeah. Yeah. You can draw a little ghost. Yeah, coming out the windows and things like that. But I just wanted to show it in a different, using it in a totally different way to the traditionally, you know, colouring up the... Absolutely. You know, like with that. So I just thought it was something a little bit different. Absolutely. Uh, now, if you want to go for the complete collection, 380812 is your item number. 38 pounds and 96 pounds is the price. You're saving five pounds. Then we have got the numbers, the deco numbers next. And you can see them here. I love how you are getting the more elongated numbers as well as the more rounded ones. If you can combine it. You are getting 38 individual stamps. But most importantly is the ability to mix and match to personalize those birthday cards is the ability to say happy anniversary happy 28th an uh, anniversary happy 14th anniversary or something like that uh, also for it has a specific personalization I am also thinking these numbers are so beautiful that for backgrounds, just adding detail in the background will be amazing. You are getting such an elegant ampersand as well. You are getting the ordinals as well there. And you are getting exclamation mark and a question mark. I mean, you could say 28 again <laughs> or something like that. Uh, 10 pounds and 99 pence is the price. 441738 is your item number. And then we are going to the going to and on train on a journey on a railway. Uh, here we have got it at uh, the bits uh, rail, rail railways. Ah, that's difficult to pronounce. I don't know why. Uh, six stamps in there we you are getting. I adore this stamp set. I think it's it has it's that architecture that those lines, those straight lines, over 80% of the stock has already gone. If you want yours, well, you know what to do. Uh, the item number you need is 381142 and just check out those baskets. £10.99 is the price. And then we have got a drive as accessories and the Diva drive, not Viva Diva. Uh, then we have got them here for £10.99 and they are beautiful, beautiful trees. I'm going to turn it over because I want to show you the, the greenery, the trees, how they look, how the beautiful cypress, uh, cypress, 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 uh, what is, what's the tree, how you call this tree? Cypress. Tree, cypress. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but if you do it the other way around, it's a bush. Okay. If you put it that way, yeah. no, flat, sorry, horizontal, you could actually make it look like yes. you could have a tree and then have your bush. Yeah, absolutely. Or a cloud even. Uh, Ooh, the palm yeah. tree there as well. So I love that. Uh, right. Anyway, uh, this is uh, the Diva Drive accessories. Uh, £10.99 is your price. One nine six two one one is your item number. And then we have got Love and Pride. Yes, we do have the stamp form. Um, well, I was going to do a joke, but better not do it. Uh, Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. Of, yeah, I mean I don't have much love, but you know, uh, seven nine zero. 471 is your item number. Glorious lines. Glor it's just that, I just kind of thinking, um, you know, there's the Savoy, the Adelphi Theatre, that sort Ooh, of buildings, yeah. you know, I mean, your Brighton. Eye, your yeah. eye looks at them and you're drawn to the end of the word. Indeed. That sort of flow with it, sort of thing. You, it has just that wavy. Yeah, it has yeah. sort of thing. It's, it, it's lovely. I love the congratulations. But like you say, emboss them or use them with lots of different colours and they suddenly they take a different look as well because like the celebrate for example do that in lots of different colors and then if you spritzed it 
that would change the look as it well. Would, would absolutely would. Uh, right, if you wanted 790471 is your item number. Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. Right, we have got other. We have got the lofty lantern. Uh, we do have it and still in stock. Is the lofty lantern lamps lamp post? Uh, and then we have it. Oh uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's a really lovely lamp post in there. Uh, I cannot. I have it there. I cannot grab it. Can I? Can I? Can I? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Yay! We get that. Uh, that's the lovely lamp post. Three stamps, and then you are getting two thirds of the stock has gone ten pounds and ninety nine pence. And then we have got, of course, Terry and Jean, uh, Jean June. Uh, we have the, the there. Uh, six stamps in total, ten pounds and ninety nine pence is the price. Two five one eight. Six seven is your item number. Approaching forty percent of the stock has already gone. Uh, glorious stamps. Can I show the the stamps, the uh, stamped out images of the lofty uh, lamppost uh, and and Terry and June? There we have uh, them there. So you can see them here. That's the stamped images of all six stamps. And then we have got the lofty lamppost coming up. Uh, three stamps and that gorgeous look at that. Uh, now £10.99 for them. Right. Lou, what are you going to be doing? I'm going to play with, obviously, the houses, then the bits of cuttings, and then I'm bringing in the motoring couple again. Okay. Just, I want to, we were talking about creating a scene, so I'm going to tr try in the time left to create a scene. With ev well, not with everything in, because obviously that look a little bit too busy, but with lots of the elements within the four stamp sets we've got in the total collection. So, so these are the three houses. Now, you, we could, you know, layer the houses so we could carry on going. So it could just be a row of houses, like terrace houses. Okay. Yeah. Sure. You don't have to put the the. The other accessories on. I think the other accessories look cool, but you don't have to. You could no. just carry on going with this. I think um, this would be nice if you did it in like sepia colours, and then you had one of the images at the front in a bolder colour, so the houses are in the background. Yeah, of course, that makes sense. Mm. That I think would look really nice. Yeah, so I've got the, it would. the houses there, and they're the three houses. I love how each one is slightly different. Yeah, I I love also that there's a very steep, um, you know, hill, you know. It just, oh, I know. You'd yeah. be getting your exercise, wouldn't you, yeah. going up and down this hill, oh, yeah. I, it's been the first house that I lived in Mallorca with my parents. Uh, we were, we lived at the very a bottom of mm. a very, very, very steep hill. I mean, it's just, even now when I drive <laughs> down, it's just like really scary, yeah. And then they moved away and moved into, an, and I was like just so happy to not have to drive daily. Mm. Yeah. Now, there we go. So that's going to go on there. Now, I was saying this morning that if you can't, I mean, if I haven't lined those up, I can do little micron pens and join them. Of but course. then once you've coloured it, it won't show. But another way you could do it is if you took your stamping platform mm -hmm. and you stamp the houses first, if yeah. you put the, from the carrier sheet down, yeah. you can put your stamp on top, put the lid of your stamping platform, and that means then it's, it's lined up perfectly so when you stamp Absolutely. that way. Yeah. So... You know, there are lots of different ways to use it. So I'm going to use the other side because we might as well carry on. Uh, I love the little washing on the line with this one. Yep. I'm just going to have okay. to, sorry, lean over a little bit. There we go. Okay. Okay. So uh -huh. we've then got the whole of our scene like that which I think is lovely. So you, I could now put even more houses on um, or where we've got the Vespa there because it's going out I could actually add that bit there so you yes. could you know you could keep going for ever and a day. I just love them. Yeah they are, <laughs> I, I love them too I just think that there are so many possibilities and they're fine line and of course if you go for the complete collection you get them both as well as yep. of course the bits of kids but and the motoring. As you were saying just using those smaller elements by themselves these you know that one and just having a simple sentiment, I think, would look... But you're very good at your clean and simple cards. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> it's I one thing I strive for, but I'm not brilliant at You know, when you just go, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, let's... Now, I'm not going to do too much colour, because otherwise I, I could be sitting here... Because oh. you could go, like I said, you could do a total colour wash, you could... Um, I mean, if you're stamping on white card, you could... 
leave them all white and then suddenly you know there's a row of lovely white houses mm -hmm. they don't have to be colored i just think they're crying out for a little bit of color they, they, they do and, they, and, they, and it's the thing is you, you can bring the character of a particular street yeah uh, there are streets like in, in london or something that they have got that bright colors and, and oh yeah so you could bring all of those in now i'm not worried about if i go over the um guttering sorry i had a mental block then what it's called because yeah. i can take it um my micron pen again okay. and, and i could go over with a black micron pen i don't have to worry mm. about that um i mean or color with your fine liners as well would look nice oh yeah that would be lovely so i just want to make like the how the color i don't want traditional houses i just want a nice little rainbow yeah. Is it Bristol that they have got a very, um, yeah, street that is like very bright colours? Bristol. I think a lot of seaside towns yeah. do, don't they, as well? Definitely brighter. Um, I'm not just trying to think. No, I. I th yeah, you can get lots of different streets with lots of different. But then some towns, um, you can only paint your houses set colours, can't you? Oh, depending that, on the oh, history yes. <laughs> of yeah, the. Yeah, of course. I don't think in Andal uh, <laughs> they would allow you to paint them in this colour. <laughs> well, at least not in North Street or West Street. Definitely not there. Oh, quite strict about the history of the. But then you've got a lot of stone buildings around here, and you want to show the stone buildings off, don't you, really? Not yeah. cover them with render, she says. Yeah, well, it's, it's just, what colour would you paint your house if you could paint any colour? Oh, I think it, I'd have to say, uh, have to blue. Earlier. I'd have to have a form of blue oh, as well. Oh, oh, no, not with, don't do pink. Oh, I would, uh, you know, I used to drive to Manchester every weekly. There was the um, spotty house, I think it was called. <gasps> really? So it was a pink and p big, bold circles in red. I do remember in my childhood there was a terrible phase of colouring out bricks and then colouring in the grout in different colours. Yeah. So like they'd paint the house white, but then they'd paint the grout blue or something like that. And you'd look over down the street and it was like, oh my goodness. Uh, right. no. <laughs> For some sense, uh, no, we have got an update on the bits of railway. It's now limited stock. If you want to grab yours, uh, the item number is 381142. Uh, remember to check out your baskets, otherwise it will bounce back. And literally, just like really a, less than a handful, uh, if you want it, fast as fingers first and check out those baskets. And then Terry and June are, gonna, are approaching 80% of the stock, so grab yours by checking out those baskets. Six stamps in total, and remember they are individual stamps, so you can mix and match. Uh, £10.99 for four, that one. Oh, sorry, I'm just carrying on colouring. So, I can't, you know, there's, there's lots of different elements you can build up within this. I'm doing my colouring really quite quickly now. I love that. I, I, it's just I, such a happy street. Uh, as I wanted, I didn't want them to be yeah. solid colours, if that makes sense. I just wanted yeah. to, you know, to have a little bit of fun with them. Um, because but that's what they are all about. It's uh, not, and, yeah. and there's lots of different details <gasps> oh. I, I, within there, and I just want to... I was thinking, you know those um, LED lights that you can <gasps> put in cards? Can yes. Imagine to cut out the windows or put a parchment or vellum behind it Ooh. and then the lights on. That would look really, really nice, yeah. I would love that. Or even these actually maybe even stamped and embossed in white on vellum and put Ooh, in a frame with a yeah. light of the lights behind. Yeah, absolutely. That would look nice. Yeah, would look and I love the fact that you look at the grass in front of it, and it's grass if you paint it green, yeah. but if it can be snow or it can be like the red leaves that you were talking at the very beginning. So it could have a little bit of, you know, all season sort of feel you, you to it. Bring in the personality that you want yeah. for, for that house. Like you say, or, or maybe there's a street, if you're doing this for someone who's moving into a new house and you know yeah. what they're doing, you could do you know do that or you know where I did the heart technique there you could leave the others black and white and just do the center one in, in like a heart shape as well you know to bring yeah. it all in that way as well yeah uh, by the way Terry and sorry to interrupt oh, you Lou again but uh, Terry and, and June are limited to stock if you want them check out your baskets and then you will get them uh, to five one eight six seven and, and by the way Lou we have got about five six minutes okay well Fast forward, yeah. you know, you just go fast yeah. forward, and after a lot. <gasps> Look at 
So that would that. be the finished one. Wow. So I've added all the different details in, and I love the little washing line. Yeah. There and the little post box. Um, and then I've just done a, a simple colour wash background and a, just a simple road. I've just extended the grass out to make it all look like the gardens or the paths or whatever going the same way. Now, I'm just going to put that on there. Let's grab my glue. And I want to bring in the motoring couple. Okay. Yeah. We Oh, okay. Which I've already coloured up, don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that you've... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't think we've got time for you to stamp and colour. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we always have got time to stamp, but it might not be on, on TV for that. <laughs> so that, that's my background there. So I'm going to do my background quite flat. So that could be left like that. I mean, that would be lovely in a frame. Or um, we've got the numbers on, so you could even stamp the number of the house if it was for a new home card there and make it a little bit more personal for yeah, someone. Absolutely. Right, so I've done my motoring couple, but what I, I've also done is I've done some accessories. Um, because I want to, and I've just made a little box, I don't know what you call them. Uh, uh, like, you know, like a hingy pop-up pop pop up up thing, uh, yeah. Hinge? No, no. You know, uh, that's gone as well. Mm -hmm. It's Friday. I'm going to blame a it on being riser? Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, just a long strip, basically folded. Because mm -hmm. I want to do these so they stand out. But if you put it in an envelope, it would go flat. Okay. Yeah. So it will f fall towards yeah. one side. Yeah. So what I was also thinking is, if you don't want to use the motoring couple, we've got other little bits and pieces that you could add oh, in I love and that. stamp another little lamp post behind yeah. and build up here with a sentiment. Um, I won't stamp a sentiment on there, but you've got the, the one from Terry and June, which is the best of times, or you could do happy days. I, I seem to have this thing for the phrase happy days. I think mm. I love the th how the happy is one particular size and the days ha is a totally different size. So even though they're the same font, they look different. Absolutely. Right, so I want to put that where I want to position mm. that, and then I want to squish it. <laughs> that sounds really horrible, doesn't it, something? I want to put these people here and then I want to squish them. We have had a <laughs> it, it just sounds quite barbaric, doesn't it, when you put it that way? <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, we have got a suggestion from the director mm. saying that if you put one of them, these things that make sense, if you press down, yeah. you're going to have a horn of the... Oh, yeah, because you can get those inside yeah. the cars when they open up. So I've got that there, and that's... So, when it, so it stands out, as you can see from there, without the 3D foam, but when it goes into an envelope, yeah. it then goes flat. Yeah. So it goes into a different way, but I've then got the couple in front of the house, so it's going down on, on the scene straight away uh, that is lo <laughs> lovely uh, now we have got about uh, three minutes so uh, just to i want to remind you of the complete uh, collection uh, of course we have got it but i also need to tell you that the bits of a uh, railway that uh, technically sells out so it means that every so every single eye of them is allocated in people's baskets if you do not check out now you might miss out because the baskets are to refresh every 10 minutes now of course the sun collection you are getting the motoring couple you are getting uh, the gorgeous uh, railway uh, cuttings as well there you are getting the bits of cuttings as well you are getting the bits of kits as well you are getting the gorgeous images that you can build up you can create even bigger scenes if you wanted i love how lo has used them to kind of show that it's a scene that she has used in her uh, her cars now she has elongated the street make it a long one uh, then you have got here maybe you want to use the cuttings in the between and of course or the the bits cuttings in between to kind of create a completely different strip. Now the complete collection, 19 stamps in total, 380812 is your item number. Technical sellout, I need to tell you about Terry and June. I'm going to try to grab it. Here it is. Uh, you can see it. Uh, you can see how the stamps, now if you have it in your baskets and you check out right now, you will get them. Otherwise, you might mess out. 251867 is your item number. Lou, we have run out of, we have got you know, run out of time. Okay. Uh, can you talk us through what you were going to do? So I've just quickly used some stencils to create a background, and then I've taken the skater girl and made a smaller background, yeah. and then I was going to put the two oh. on the top like that, and in the star there, stamp a number. That is good. <laughs> I love that. Uh, thank you so much. You are okay. such a pro. When are you back? 
Oh, uh, next weekend. Oh, excellent. With what? Oh. oh, you cannot tell. Oh, keep the secret then. Uh, she keeps the secret. Uh, everybody can follow, of course. I picture this online, but of course, also, look, she's amazing. Follow her on Facebook and Instagram. Anyway, do check out your baskets. Do not miss out on any of those beautiful stamps because they are glorious. You will be able to create scenes. You will be able to create cards that they have got so many dec uh, decorations. And I love the humor. I love the nostalgia. And I love how you can create something incredibly modern at the same time uh, do check out your baskets thank you for joining us one day special from indigo blue after the break uh, Kay is waiting in the wings for that one Uh, join Yanis and Kay for that indigo blue one day special. It's gloriously beautiful. Designs by Jewberry Fabrics at 7 and at 8. Another look at the one day special. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers and I'm here to talk to you about the Stitched Up Ruler System. The Stitched Up Ruler System was uh, born in America and I saw how um, unique it was and wanted to bring it to the viewers on a chanda. So what we've done is we've been designing these rulers and they are specific depth to work with the specific foot that you need but this enables you to be able to use this on a domestic sewing machine at home. We now design and manufacture the rulers and the feet here in Yorkshire. We've got lots of new designs and uh, new shapes coming to you and we can't wait to bring them to you at home. So make sure you don't miss the Stitched Up Ruler System with me on a chander. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made of the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etched that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters carry-all. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. 
Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Well, hello everybody. Welcome. So we're about to launch our brand new one day special. The thing with one day specials, we really want to give you something that uh, really lives up to the billing and we are doing that this hour. Can I introduce you to the supremely talented Kay? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hey, you look lovely by the way. Thank you. Thank you very uh, much. I've got my Indian outfit well, on. There is a reason for that and there we have got some fabrics that. coming up uh, that are stunning. Actually, we're just going to flash the details because I think you're really going to like those. I know because you've been out to India, obviously, yes. you've drawn a lot of inspiration there. Uh, but before we get on to the fabrics, we need to talk about the one day special. Just before, and I just want to make you aware because I know whenever, oh, we're already busy. So look, if you've got the one day special in your basket, please just hold a moment. I'll tell you why, because we've got the one day special, then we also have a mega bundle, uh, which will give you absolutely everything. So I will uh, show you that. You've got two options really on how to get hold of the one day special. So have a look at the one day special, have a look at the uh, mega bundle and then see whichever one uh, really talks to you. Let's discuss the one day special though, because it is beautiful. So we are getting in the one day special, three A6 stamps and you're getting that A5 stamp. They are red rubber, beautiful quality that we come to know and love from Indigo Blue. Now look at this. These are, talk to me about these because they're so stunning, actually, stunning, stunning. People are, are still amazed that we make these on site in our unit in North Nottinghamshire in a um, little town called Retford and people still can't believe that we actually do make them by hand. Um, so um, we design them ourselves um, we've got Janine Jared Shaw who's actually done these beautiful designs for us. Um, uh -huh. Then we actually um, have the plates made and then we actually do press the rubber ourselves, mount them, um, package them, cut them out all in Retford um, by hand. We get the wow. rubber from America and um, yeah, we, um, we use local companies for our packaging and our printing. So That's everything's funny. done as much as possible um, in uh, our locality. Now, for, I'm just looking at that price. So you can split the price in half, $23.98. When you consider that you are getting four sets, 10% uh, of the one day special is already gone. Wow. Incredible designs, incredible quality. And when you start looking at it, when you're able to make works of art like this, and we've got to give a mention to the design team who are in Incredible. Actually, we're going to uh, just scroll the names of all the design team who are amazing. Uh, look at that. Huge okay. round of applause for the design team. They yes. are fantastic. I'm so grateful for them. And I was completely blown away when I walked in today and I saw all these gorgeous samples. I was just just stunned, actually. They are beautiful. Thank you so much, my team. They, I, you, you're fantastic. I think and they deserve something they do. very special. They now, do. We don't often do this. Uh, we're, they're going to get a floor manager Ben whoop whoop. Can we have a whoop whoop for the design team, Ben? Whoop whoop. <laughs> I picked that up. I thought you were going to go bigger there, Ben. No, I thought you were going to go bigger. Oh, that's Yay! better. That's better, Ben. Uh, now, uh, I'm so sorry to interrupt you, Kay. I've got to tell you, the Mega Bundle is flying. We haven't even looked at it yet. Uh, a th no way! A third of the stock has gone on the Mega Bundle. Wow. We're three minutes into the show. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Okay, one thing I want to point out with the Mega Bundle, you are getting, and these are so popular, so on top of the one day special, you are getting your collector's edition stamps. These are highly sought after. They are new today and I know personally so many crafters who I speak to that do collect the collector's editions and that's the whole point of them. Kate. It is, it is. Um, uh, they 
they bring you a whole library of fantastic images. So from your background images, your standards, these are the stamps that you are going to be using day in, day out. Yeah. And I always choose ones that are going to be like that, whether it's for your backgrounds, for your um, focal point, your highlights, whatever it happens to be, these are just are perfect. Um, they fit into a nice little storage boxes if you want to do that and they're just so so useful and of course they're red rubber so they're yeah. going to last such a long time if you look after them, a lifetime yeah. if you look after them. Of course and now you're not just getting the collector's edition in the mega bundle you're also gonna get now this is, am I right in saying, we haven't had this in stock for about six months? That's right, yes, because so these are handmade in India, and uh, obviously due to the situation we haven't been able to get anything mm -hmm. um, through at all. Um, so this actually is the first shipment out, we just squeezed it in there before another lockdown, so, wow. um, so this is all we've got. Um, so a Constantina journal, so yes. it is rag cotton, there you can see, and you're getting four of those the first time you've been able to get a hold of them for about six months so don't miss out because you can't guarantee if they do sell out the next time we'll be able to offer those two I'll just show you here and they are perfect for by the way Kay's going to be using this for her demonstration and what she's going to do is actually build up a beautiful journal throughout all of the one day specials so each page she'll feature in for uh, each of the hours of the one day special so just to recap with regard to the mega bundle you are getting the one day special which <laughs> that that's that's coming up just over there just there you go so you're getting the one day special which is here we've got a hummingbird then you've got six uh, sorry three of your a6 that's your one day special then you're also going to be getting the collector's stamps, which you're seeing here. This is the yes, mega bundle. Course, yeah. And on top of that, you're getting four. I've got the other one back here. You're getting four of the cotton rag Constantina journals as well. All of that, including your mega bundle. And I've got to point out, mega bundle, it says you're saving seven pounds. You're actually saving 15 pounds because you're carrying across the saving from the one day special. So on top of the saving the one day special you're getting a further seven pounds there so it's actually a 15 pound saving half the stock of the mega bundle has gone and we are busy so i'll tell you what we're going to do i'm going to keep quiet we're going to hand over to kay and go to our first demonstration kate can you just explain we'll, we'll open it up but so what you're going to be doing each hour it's like a uh, a masterclass really basically yes so if um, if you can tune in every hour or record it um, but I'd like you to join us because I'm actually going to do almost like a big full days um, workshop with you so each hour I'm going to be doing another page of the journal so it's all going to be um, created into one big journal um, to finish off with that so um, I'm going to show using you fabrics from the show so off? this is using all of the um, lovely uh, sari silk Oh, ribbon okay. that is in the show as nice. well so uh, I've just made a, a really simple wrap um, I can't really sew very well and I even managed to do this so okay. um, so yeah this is a, yeah. a lovely little wrap we'll be looking at the uh, fabrics and the wraps we will sorry, later on sorry. yes okay. later on so what I've done is um, I've actually used the sorry silk on here I've used some of the beautiful handmade decorations as well on here nice. and the bells and the hand printed bells and then if we go to here you can open it up and then this is my wrap mm -hmm. and then inside I've got my sorry let me just go there we go that's nice okay yeah. so we've got a Constantina journal here and what I'm going to do is each hour I'm going to do these pages Mm. Okay, so we're going to build it up until we actually complete the whole journal. That is so, stunning. And, and the colours I've used, I've only stuck to the colours that are the India selection. Which we've got on, on the show. show. Yeah. yeah, so there's just um, six colours in that selection and that's what I've stuck to. I've actually just stuck yeah. to, to we, that selection there. But I've also used those. all those lovely stamps as well. And I've used um, our brand new embossing powders which we've launched today. Do you mind if we, can we just touch on those? It's only because we just had a few issue with our graphics so we're just going to put those back on your screen. Apologies. Do you know what happens? Busy shows, sometimes the graphics fall. Uh, so we have got, it just gives us an opportunity, Kay, we've got the brand new embossing powders, just showing you here, they are incredible. First thing that strikes me, the detail, Kay. 
Yes, well, um, you know that we're famous for our red rubber stamps with a really high detail and very, very fine lines. So you need a specialist embossing powder for that because you normal embossing powders, uh, the, the molecules, uh, the grains are too thick. So they actually thicken the line um, and you, you don't get that quality. So it was nice. really important that we had to get a really, really fine yeah. detail um, embossing powder for this. And, um, and we've got them here for you. So they, they look gorgeous. They give you a very rich pigment as well. They melt very quickly because of the fine detail um, grain of it. And they, the shimmer is just wow. delicious. Now, I is, love them. This is stamped from the one day special. So you're getting copper load of this or copper load of this. The White Cliffs of Dover. You've also got your Glam Rock Gold and your Hi Ho Silver. One thing that stands out to me, Kay, are we getting all four for 10.99? Yes, you are. That is that is a really, good value. really good value. Now I've got to tell you something that um, the company that we get these off, yeah. um, I got the last lot of product, so it's very limited, and we know that the price is going to go up by about 50%. Um, 50. 50%. Yeah, unfortunately, yes. Okay. Um, so, so, um, so get the them while gone. they're in a, in a good price, actually. And so you got the last lot. Does that mm -hmm. mean if this sells out, we can't get hold of any more next Well, I haven't got all of the stock, so I can actually um, pot some more yeah. up for you, so oh, I can okay. do extended. Yeah. All right. Okay. Listen, very busy for this. Ten ninety nine is your price. Your ultra fine embossing powder, saving three pounds. It is incredible stuff. Right. We're going to go to our demonstration. So uh, we're working on one big piece, and we're going to do one page each hour, right? We are. Yes. So, um, in actual fact, I'm going to start off on this page here. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you some nice watercolor techniques throughout the day. Okay. So I'm starting off, obviously I'm using um, our lovely watercolour card. Let me just see if there's a lump in, there's a lump on the, uh, the mat there. It's like Princess in a Pea then. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Um, so I'm going to use just individual pieces and then I'm going to sew them back up together later on. It's just easier for my demonstration. So what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to use our lovely paints here. So I'm going to be using the selection of six paints that we've put together for the India show. So we've got Sargasso Sea, mm. we've got Mulberry Bush, yeah. um, we've got Daffodil um, and then we've got uh, a lovely orange which is tiger lily, we've got red hot chilli and we've got fresh green grass. Nice. Now what I've done is I've put stickers on the top and I've just painted them so that I don't have to put them upside down so you can see I've okay. done that. Now what I'm going to do is take a nice big brush and I'm going to wet my uh, cotton rag paper. Mm -hmm. So this, this is going to be um, lovely to absorb and this cotton rag paper is literally made out of pieces of t-shirts that are the offcuts from the manufacturing process of t-shirts it's then sent to the mill and then they cut it all up mush it all up yeah. and make paper out of it and it That's was amazing incredible. to actually see them do this and they actually do make it by hand they literally do scoop it out by yeah. hand. It's just amazing to so watch we, them. And there's a huge difference when you're working with a cotton-based paper as opposed to yeah. a wood-based paper. It feels the completely movement. different. feels different yeah. and the movement you're able to get. Just very quickly, I'm not interrupting, so we'll, we'll stick with Kay, but I've just got to let you know that 80% of the stock has gone for the mega bundle. That's within 12 minutes of the launch wow. show. And we got queues on our phone line. So I apologize if you're stuck in a queue. We'll try and get through to you as soon as possible. So what I've done is I've wet the, uh, the cotton rag paper just where I want the image to go because if you look on here, mm -hmm. you can see I haven't gone all the way to the edge. Yeah. So I don't want that to go all the way to the edge. So I've just wet that area with a big brush and I'm just putting a little bit of the Sargasso Sea on there. And I, I use maybe about a, a grain of rice, put it on my craft mat, um, sorry, my paint mat. Yeah. And I'm just letting the water draw that out. We do get the paint mat with the paints? You do, yeah. you do, yeah. We put one of those in there. Nice. And then I'm just going to clean my brush and then I'm going to get a tiny weeny bit of mm. the mulberry bush and just see that beautiful colour. There we go. That's nice. gorgeous. Yeah. And let that just run in. Okay, Lovely. so I'm just going to encourage it and I want to push it into that side gasso seat. Now watch what happens. 
look at that beautiful violet you get mm. from it it's just really really lovely so I'm just yeah. going to let that run in on its own okay. clean my brush uh, I've just got to say with the mega button, I'm so sorry, I don't like to do That's it, but we right. have to do this because you'll notice on your screen that we are limited stock for our mega bundle. Uh, so really busy for that mega bundle. It is limited stock. Uh, remember, with the mega bundle, you're getting your collector's editions. Uh, you're also going to be getting the uh, rag. Uh, the rag paper, so the cotton rag paper, the journals, the Constantina journals, and you're getting the one day special. All of that in the mega bundle. I know it says you're saving seven pounds. You're not. You're actually saving 15 pounds. So you've got two flexi payments of 31.96. I mean, 31.96, and you are getting everything. But look at what you could be making. Let me just show you this. It's actually using the embossing powders, which are busy. Look at those embossing powders. They are amazing. So that's just one example. Or if you wanted to make your little boxes in there as well, beautiful. I mean, that's lovely. What I love about K and Indigo Blue is just everything is designed to work together. So you can make your most beautiful cards, which you're seeing here. I mean, that's clean, crisp. Uh, then we can go a bit more mixed media if we want as well showing that lovely pattern building. Uh, I think we're going to be heading back to K. I'll be totally transparent with you. Oh, can I just show one more? The embossing powders are amazing. Look at that. Uh, I can tell you the embossing powders have sold out. They are back on extended delivery. So uh, we are going to say the extended delivery, they will be dispatched the 8th of October. Hey, you don't have to wait too long. The 8th of October for the embossing powders. The mega bundle looks like that's about to sell out as well, so do not miss out. We were actually asking Kay about stock to see if we could get the embossing powders back in stock. That's why I was wa uh, waffling on. So we'll head back to our demonstration. So you haven't missed anything because I was too busy just talking to Ben, our floor manager, sorting out stock and everything. So here we go. Um, I'm just going to go in with our daffodil now, just a tiny bit again onto the paint mat with a wet brush beautiful clear yellow now these are transparent colors so that's why you can actually see them mixed together beautifully see that lovely sargasso sea mixing in to create that gorgeous green just pull it in a little bit I'm just going to take some more I'm just going to dab that little bit there because I want to just show you the color it goes when you mix it with that mulberry bush see you get this beautiful beautiful orange nice yeah what, that's gorgeous the paints on that cotton rag is something special oh it is it's I mean, is just a, perfect, a delight to use i mean i love my watercolor card but there's something amazing about this cotton rag you mm. can also sew into it as well and um, so if you like doing mixed media with sewing layers in and adding fabric to it this just sews beautifully because it is actually made up of fabric um, and you can scrunch it up and you can wet it and re-dry it and put layers on and it just will take all the abuse you can give it and it's just such a pleasure pleasure to use so I'm gonna put that to one side to dry and then you can see here this is one I did earlier mm -hmm. And um, that's now dry and you can see where you get this beautiful pull of color and that lovely sort of typical watercolor effect and you see these are not a watercolor these are actually acrylic paints but because they're transparent I wanted them to act like a watercolor paint so that's why we developed these translucent ones so now this won't reconstitute you won't be able to wet this and then move it it's now solid so that when you put more layers on it's not going to change its state at all and it's not going to move or uh, wet it anymore so that's the beauty of these translucent colors so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some um, lovely stamping with these gorgeous collectors editions I am so pleased with uh, what Janine's done here now with the mega bundle which includes the collectors editions we have had a technical sellout so please make sure to check out your baskets uh, with the collectors editions as a set of three that's also sold out okay uh, so that's back on extended delivery. If you just want to get the set of three, that will be dispatched on the 8th of October. But well done. And I know so many crafters who are building up their Indigo Blue Collector's Edition sets. So uh, don't miss out and don't leave holes there because they are fantastic. But they work. I mean, with the Collector's Edition, 
you you really uh, wanted to bring them for a purpose. Um, okay, so you wanted to give us stamps that you will reach to again and again. That's right. I mean, we've we've been doing them for a few years now, and um, they're ever so popular. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I, I tend to get favourite stamps that don't leave my desk, and that's what I wanted with the collector's editions. A lot of customers had said, "I really love." this stamp could you do it on its own and so I thought well yeah because I'm always reaching for a particular stamp yeah. so I decided to um, honor that and do them smaller individual or try and squeeze a few on like this I've got three stamps on here mm -hmm. uh, rather than just one and so that they would sit in a box on your desk and you could use them every day yeah. and reach for them constantly and that's that's how they've come about. I've done that nice. upside down. You daft idiot! Not concentrating. Oh, that's okay. Not concentrating. There we go. That's alright. Um, and then what I'm doing here is a little bit of pattern building. So just with this lovely little stamp. This is number 26, and it's yeah. got three identical stamps in different sizes. Yeah. Um, I wish I hadn't done that. But oh, never okay. mind. Maybe over stamp at the bottom, yeah, I on, think or on the other side, reflect it. You know the one we did, mirror it on the top. Yeah, ledge as or well. I might, put, I might just actually put a word on top of that or okay. something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Has anyone got a butterfly? <laughs> that was my fault. Yeah. I was talking to you. No, I wasn't concentrating. That was the problem. Um, and then I haven't actually. I've stamped that one the wrong way around. That's really gone badly, hasn't it? No. Oh, okay. Not. Yeah. So. It's got my mm, handmade filter. Okay. It, so, I? yeah, I'm going to have to get my head around changing that. Yeah. I'm just going to tell you the uh, mega bundle. So that has technically sold out. Please make sure to check out your baskets. It is back though on extended delivery, 9th of October, uh, for your mega bundle. So you don't have to wait too long. Uh, the mega bundle has been by far. Uh, one of the most po oh, the most popular options to get the one day special obviously so much more so you're getting your collector's edition you're getting four of the cotton rag Constantina journals and you're getting the phenomenal one day special which we're playing with right now okay. I've just had an idea that I'm just going to um, layer, up. layer up a couple yeah. of those so that I can correct that later on because okay. uh, it's annoying me that. Okay, so next one, I'm going to stamp this beautiful um, sunflower mandala nice. that oh, Janine's that drawn. I love this. Okay, you know um, what we didn't mention is that, that you're going to be popping what you make, so you're going to be completing oh, yes. this across the duration of all the one-day specials, and then Kay at random, back at uh, Indigo Blue Towers, is going to pop this inspiration into somebody's box. So whoever's purchased mm. the Mega Bundle, One Day Special, just pop it in and somebody will be receiving it. It is totally at random. It is totally at random because I just go in and I give um, a couple of packages to the girls. I yeah. just wrap them up in tissue. So if you see something wrapped up in blue tissue, don't throw it away. Open it. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, so what I've made will be um, wrapped up in tissue and it'll just randomly go in somebody's order. Okay. So, um, so yeah, keep it keep a look out for that so what I'm doing is I'm going to use um, my stamping platform just so that I can ensure that I get a really good image on here okay. let me just move that out of the way okay can you see that okay there we go and I'm going to use Versamark on this is pink frog smooth black card it's a true black okay card. it is a good, really yeah. nice black this We'll flash the details if you want to get hold of this with the beautiful embossing powders. This uh, black cardstock is an oh, absolute win. It, yeah, yeah. It, it just works so well. And because it's smooth as well, it's, it's just an absolute delight. I've just seen the price. 80 sheets for 10 months. I know, it's ridiculous price. Sorry, it's, it's really, good really good. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. 280 stuck GSM up. as well. Uh, so there we go. 939 972 item number if you want to pop that into your basket. Okay, so. We're going to do, I think, high ho silver. Nice. I was going to call this high ho silver lining, but it, yeah. it wouldn't fit. Oh, that, you're clever with your names, Ben. <gasps> I do, I do, I do like a bit yeah. of. Yeah, That's it was the copper name. load of this that, that I thought good, was yeah. actually quite good. Yeah, yeah I, I struggled with the white one actually, 
Well, that um, looks nice. The White, White Cliffs of Dover. Yeah, White Cliffs yeah. of Dover works. Got to tell you, with the embossing powders, they're on your screen. Half the stock of the extended delivery is gone. What stood out to me was when Kay was saying the next time in the future they bring you back the embossing powders, it's going to go up by about, what did you say, was it 50%? 50%, yeah. Okay. I and mean, that's down so to the manufacturers, that's not Kay, it's no, just no, the manufacturing no. process. I'm just lucky to, to get it at this price, yeah. to be honest. Um, so, okay. now, don't go back using this at home. It's just, it's really, really quick. Yeah. Okay. That, that's why I use it for demonstrations, right. but I wouldn't use one of those because it strips paint. It's actually yeah. quite dangerous, but for demonstrations it's brilliant because it takes like three seconds to yeah. do it. Okay, so this is the lovely uh, Glamrock oh, Gold. Give it a bit of a wo wo and wobble. Go on then. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. It's really, really, really shiny. Yeah. Um, which I love, and this is the lovely Hi Ho Silver. Uh -huh. It's gorgeous. Yeah, that is nice. Absolutely gorgeous. So what I've done is I've obviously, you know, cut it out. Yep. And then I'm going to bring in our Luscious, which you'll find on the website. So are your embossing powders now going to be acting as a resist? Yes, oh, exactly, clever, clever. exactly. Because you know how I like doing that with clear embossing powder, but uh -huh. this on black uh -huh. with you know, with this is just absolutely gorgeous. Now the luscious so, pigments are uh, on your screen. They got options for fourteen ninety seven. Have a look on the website. But the luscious pigments are incredible. I can't s stress that enough. They are amazing. So if you haven't used them before, they come in a little pot of magic powder, mm -hmm. which are just delicious. Let me just grab one here. Let me just go for one of these. Okay, so. They're in huge pots, to be honest. It's ridiculous how much you've got in here. Well, if you just showed the lid, Kay, and I, I know we do this all the time, but it's effective, because normally I've bought powders in the past that have been about 5 mil. Which is about the yeah. size of the lid. And we've all, we've all bought powders like that, yeah. right? So yeah. you're effectively getting 25 mil. You are. But also, these are not just mica powders. These have got pigment in them, a really high-grade pigment. Mm -hmm. And then they've got mica, which gives it that lovely twinkle and shine. Yeah. And they've got what's called a binder, which means that it sticks to the surface. And no fillers in there as well. No fillers. Oh, yeah. gosh, no. We never use fillers in any of our yeah. products at all. No. Um, so what you um, can do if you want to use it like I'm going to do, which is uh, for watercolour, is you get a brush, stick it in your water so it's nice and wet, put it into the dry powder... Mm -hmm. Don't worry if any water drops in there, it's not going to harm it, okay? Right. And then onto your paint mat or into a palette, you just mix that. Add a little bit more water. There you go. And if it dries, you just spritz it to wake it up again. That's right, absolutely. But not only can you use Ooh. it for a watercolour like That's this. creamy. Uh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I would suggest that when you're colouring in, that you need it the consistency of about single cream. Okay. So runny, not too thick, yeah. because you don't want it to cover the lines of the embossing. Yeah. Um, this embossing powder is going to actually um, act as a resist, as you said earlier. Um, and then the lovely thing is that you can actually paint this. Now, where did I want to go with this blue? There we go. So you can paint over these lines. So you, you're now picking out the detail within that wonderful mandala. That's right. Sort of focusing the eye. And you can really see how beautiful this mandala is. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. So, and you don't have to be perfect at, at colouring in because the lines of the embossing just mm -hmm. keep it in that area. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a sort of um, ombre effect as well. So this is just solid colouring, obviously. Yeah. Okay, and over here I'm going to show you how to do an ombre. So I think what we'll do is we'll turn this round and we'll use Buttercup, which is this lovely bright golden yellow here. So a lot of the pigments, what we do is we actually mix in duotones. Mm -hmm. So we might have like a yellow, but I might put a bit of gold in it. Or you might find that um, some of them I'll have like silver and copper or different colours. So... Um, this one is the buttercup, so this has got some gold in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can see it pulling away from the, the lines there. 
and then what I'm going to do is come in with some orange now we've got a lovely orange which is called um, fizzy pop yeah. here we go and then from the bottom I'm just going to pull a bit of colour mm -hmm. from the bottom here whilst it's still wet I mean you could do it when it's dry as well because it will re-wet and that way it will just beautifully mix into it let me just uh, do go onto our website if you go onto the website whether it's using the hochanda app or go to hochanda.com you'll be able to see all of the options they come in sets of three and it's well worth just exploring and seeing all the different options out there it is and we've got some really lovely um packs of them as well yeah that's nice they blend so you see they? they do blend lovely and on bl and this is coverage on black card as well so yeah. you get a beautiful coverage because mm -hmm. of that pigment in there as well so just going to right so i would just carry on with that you can actually use the pigments for lots of other things as well so you can actually, um, I've just been asked, can you reactivate these? Well, yes, you can when they're like this um, because they'll dry out in the palette and then you just spray it with water yeah. and that will reactivate them. But not only can you use them in, um, in with water to make a watercolour, you can actually mix these in with your um, air dry clay. So if mm. you've got uh, the hearty air dry clay, yeah. you can mix this in with it and colour it and give it some sparkle That's cool. as well. That's very cool. Also, uh, all those lovely moulds that you've got, instead of dusting them with corn flour, if you actually dust them with the luscious, it will actually pick up those colours and it looks amazing. What about so if, resins? Can we pour resins oh, in? Oh, it's amazing in resin. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. It, it can look like opals. Mm -hmm. You know, you can put a tiny bit in and just mix it in Mm -hmm. and it just looks amazing okay. um, but yeah it's okay. just so versatile which is why we have, we've actually done these powders so um, what I'm going to do is just finish this yeah. off because I've actually already finished one and cut it out ready for you okay yeah. right. so I'll put that to one side but that I will finish off and that will go on to another card and that will go into someone's um, lovely parcel okay mm -hmm. so we have this, we have one finished, which is wow. here, which is really nice. That looks lovely. Yeah. Um, and then what I've done is I've actually just stamped beauty, which is in the same set yeah. here. Because you've actually got, thank you for being so kind, you've also got beauty. Oh. And then you've got this saying, which I love, I always, I was always looking outside myself for strength and confidence, but it comes from within. It is there all of the time by Anna Freud, which that I love. That is lovely. So I'm going to put that here oh. and I'm going to cover up that nice little mistake there nice. <laughs> that I did accidentally on purpose not <laughs> um, and I think I'm just going to give it just to give it some um, ease of use I actually put it on some card because normally I would sort of uh, sew it on or use um, or glue straight away but mm. just for ease of use I, I've put it on card now what I've got here is I've got some of the sorry silk bits of sorry silk and I've just sort of pulled the edges I've got a little bit of tape measure and a little scrap of um, paper from the um, from that lovely cotton rag yeah. okay so that's going to go there I'm just going to take these off here and give that a little bit more on that side and these foam pads are great because they're not too thick they just raise it up ever so slightly and I think that one's gonna go about about there mm -hmm. yeah and then what I'm going to do is just very quickly wherever I put that piece I'm going to just put one of these on here in the corner put it out put it there just to cover up that mistake there okay. which I don't like so um, so there you go
Beautiful. <laughs> we are going to be building this up through uh, all the one day specials. So make sure to tune in every hour. Kay's going to be showing you a new technique. And at the end of it, the finished article is going to be popped into somebody's order and it could be yours. It's going to be to totally at random uh, there. Just a quick reminder. So we've got the one day special. We've also got the mega bundle. The mega bundle sold out. It is back on extended delivery and will be uh, dispatched on the 9th of October. Let me explain. So whether you do want to go for the one day special or you want to go for the mega bundle, this is what you're going to be getting. Now, the difference with the Mega Bundle is you're also getting the collector's edition stamps, which you're seeing here, these beautiful red rubber stamps. Now, these are sold out individually and back on extended delivery. They'll be dispatched on the 8th. So, uh, beautiful collector's edition stamps. And then, show you that there. Perfect. Then we've got the, uh, this is your cotton rag down here. So, your Constantina cotton rag. This has been out of stock for six months. That gives you an idea of how long it's taken uh, to get it back in stock. You're actually going to be getting four of those, so four beautiful Constantina journals that you can build up. That's your mega bundle, and of course it includes the one-day special. So whether you want to go for the one-day special or the mega bundle, we'll have a look at that one-day special. I do want to point out with the mega bundle, the seven pound saving is on top of the saving you're getting with the one day special. So with the mega bundle, you're actually saving 15 pounds. Let's have a look at what you're getting with that one day special. So eight pound saving, you've got this beautiful hummingbird and it's shrouded in wonderful floral uh, blooms. So you've got those, uh, that one thing with hummingbird is colors, iridescent colors especially, you can bring that to life. Look at this for a stamp set, look at that incredible red rubber foam mounted pre-cut exceptional quality made in the uk so you're getting that set you're also getting uh, three of the a6 sets so this is the stamp that Kay was just alluding to she was using in a previous demonstration i mean that is a beautiful you're also getting the sentiments in there too so thank you for being so kind i love that one uh, beauty and this wonderful statement let's just i'll turn that around I just think this is such a nice sentiment. I was always looking, uh, oh, I'm gonna have to turn it back, sorry, let me just so I can read it. Uh, I was always looking outside myself for strength and confidence, but it comes from within. Uh, it's there all of the time, and that's so true. So that's your sentiment that you were getting. Then down here, we have the other two sets. Apologies, that was my hand. Uh, you can see that Paisley background is beautiful. Look at that. Wonderful, decadent Paisley background. And then you've got this one in here as well. Maybe if I turn it the, that way, turn that around so you can just see. So you're getting those uh, sent with hugs, happy birthday, beautiful, just for you, all of those. Beautiful. So that is your one day special, or you can get it as part of the complete bundle, the mega bundle. Uh, just going to show you some examples of what you could be doing. So just showing you here. Isn't that nice? Or oh, what about this? Introducing a bit of color. Now those are the Indian colors from the paint, the acrylic paint set that we have. Or oh, what about this is nice. Or how about here? Lovely. Okay, going to pop all that down. So uh, one day special or mega bundle, both very, very busy. This is the launch show. Enjoy. 990-676, your item number. Uh, now, we kind of, it's a show of two halves in the sense that we looked at the mega bundle, the stamps and the one day special. We've got some beautiful fabrics. The provenance, they do come from India and they have got, uh, they are hand stitched. So all of this canther stitch that you're seeing here has been hand stitched. And I am right in saying that, Kay. Do you know, I have to say, these are just so beautiful. Yeah. We actually visited um, the women who specialise in canther st stitching, yeah. and they told us about the history of it, how it, it n normally comes from northern India, and originally um, northern India and Pakistan, and how um, it was a in the culture that you would never really throw fabrics out yeah. so it would be their way of patching things so you know if you your granddad used to go out 
of his um, yeah get elbow yeah. patches for his cardigan and stuff so they did the same thing they would take another piece of fabric and patch over the top and do this lovely decorative um, stitching yeah. over the top with the colored threads so yeah. they made a feature of it being patched yeah. and it would be continually done that and like bedspreads you would mm. continually have and so you might end up with like six seven eight nine layers of fabric and of course the more you put on the warmer more. it got yeah. and the more colorful it became oh. so that was the sort of history behind it and we actually spent um, a whole morning actually being taught how to do this yeah. and it was so much fun listening to the women and how um, how t incredibly skilled they are and how now they're actually creating canthus stitch fabrics um, for the whole market nice. um, and how they're doing modern designs with them and um, completely oh. different types of stitching and it was just wonderful to s speak to yeah, them. I can imagine. And I mean, it was just fantastic. We've got three different options for you, green, blue and red and just wanted to check with you, Kay, so the canter stitch here, this has been hand stitched? It has, it has, yeah, all by hand. Wow. Um, the women sit in a circle Beautiful. on these rugs and, and cushions and sit and have their tea and um, sit and talk and do the stitching. It's, it's a really lovely community where they just sit and gossip while they're working. So in your bundle, you're getting eight meters of silk ribbon. This is sar a sari silk, so beautiful sari silk, which I'm just holding up there. You're gonna get eight meters of your sari silk. Then you're getting your beautiful fabric with that hand stitch canther. It's about 80 centimeters, just to give you an idea of, uh, is it eight centimeters square? Or? Yes. Yeah, yeah, 80 centimeters square. That's the smallest piece you would get. You okay. probably find that it's gonna be a bit, a bit bigger. bigger than that. And not only that, you will be getting a pattern as well, just to show you. Uh, you're gonna get a pattern with your fabrics too. So what we'll do is give you all your instructions double-sided which you can see there oh I know I'm not showing that great there we go the pattern will make da 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 I have this to right say here. thank you huge thanks it to is. Carolyn Lakin who actually did this for me because she's not a natural sewer but she makes the most beautiful things and she had to figure this out from scratch and um, I'm so grateful for doing this for me because I That's think beautiful. it's a lovely little bag um, and to be able to actually write a pattern is very difficult. So I'm hugely grateful to Carolyn for that. You're going to have and, loads uh, of fabric left over. And of course, we're giving you that free of charge as well. Yeah, you can have loads of fabric left over. Oh, I, yes. I saw Kay's face. I was actually doing a show with Leone when these samples arrived, and your face lit up. I now, did. we've got to mention this. Look at that. Isn't this incredible? That is phenomenal. I have to say, Sue Ralph, you are a genius. I don't know how you've managed to do this because I have to tell you that Sue has had a really busy few weeks because her daughter has given birth to their first grandson. Oh. Um, so huge congratulations to them all. Oh. And um, I don't know how she's actually managed to do all of these projects while she's been um, running up and down tours. She's going to um, be a super grand. I know, she is super grand. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. But isn't that beautiful? So with the fabrics, you've got options, but whichever option you go for, you're saving £4.50. They are hand-stitched. That canthus stitch is all hand-stitched. Uh, they come from India. You're getting the sari silk ribbon, eight metres in total there. So you will be getting your silk ribbons. You're getting your pattern as well. I mean, what a bundle. And imagine using these, even if you just wanted <coughs> to create a little bag. Or, oh, do you know one thing? I'm so sorry, I didn't mention. You're also I'm, getting the little... I was going to say the yeah, adornments. Yeah, the embellishments. Now, so these, these... Go on, please, say. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Um, these adornments, I'm just so excited, you see. These adornments are actually handmade. So you have women who are actually stitching these by hand and um, putting them onto backings. And that little bell there, the top one, is actually hand-painted as well. Wow. Um, the only thing that's not handmade is the little babushka there. I just, uh, I bought it actually off another company that come here and I just loved it and said, oh, can I have a few hundred of those, please? Um, so that is not actually from India and it's not handmade, but all the rest are beautifully yeah. handmade by these amazing women. Um, and I'm just really delighted to bring them to you. So and they've got like um, a linen back so you can sew them on or you can stick them on um, um, whichever but I've, I've used them um, to sew on to things because they're really special. So we're getting our embellishments which you're seeing here you're getting your fabrics which are stunning they have been hand stitched with that canthus stitch and you're getting your ribbons and you're getting your pattern 
for 29.99 and when you break that down that is great value for money 859-973 your item number we're going to head back to Kay for our next demonstration Thanks very much, okay. Yanis. What are we going to so, do next? Um, so, yeah, I was just going to um, finish this off because I just wanted to um, show you that these lovely um, designs here look fantastic if you can just use your pens or your paints or your luscious and you can actually colour in little bits of the highlights mm -hmm. in these or if you've got uh, anything that, that would suitably go in in here because I think it's just a lovely pattern to be able to do that and you can also obviously go into these shapes as well so I just wanted to quickly show you that before I went on to the next one nice. so what's next I've got these gorgeous papers that were brought to you um, last time we were here mm -hmm. and um, we have actually got some more of them printed for you so I thought I'd show you a really nice way of doing some you know, nice paper piecing. Great for so, decoupaging, yeah. Oh yeah, because these are really, really thin. Um, I did them on purpose really thin so that they're great for decoupaging and layering up. So that this, you won't actually notice, but when you put your hand across it, you can't tell that it's not actually part of the original yeah. piece of card at uh, the back. It's just so thin, it just melts into the background beautifully. Yeah. Now you've got so, two different options, warm or cool. They're both very popular the first time we brought them to you. So back here at Hochanda, 9.99 your price. You're getting 12 sheets, whichever option you go for. 004204, your item number. Okay, so again, I'm going to come to my um, stamping platform and I'm going to get that lovely hummingbird. Um, now, this originally came onto a piece of fabric that we designed on our fabric panels and everybody was going crazy over this beautiful hummingbird. So, as, as per um, your request, we have actually made it into a stamp for you. Oh, wrong way around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There we go. And then I'm going to get my patterned paper. So what I'm doing is I'm going to choose something that's got quite a few different colours on it. So I think this is going to go like this. And I'm going to stamp this twice. First on this colour and I'm just going to use a normal black Versafine. Let me just move that across a little bit looking like my craft room now isn't it mm -hmm. good you're feeling at home <laughs> yes it's lovely because we've got loads of space so it's this is a, a black versafine uh -huh. let me just pop that across just use the heel of your hand to get that pressure on yep. and then just check that that's stamped beautifully yes it has that's really lovely okay and then I'm going to choose a contrasting colour. I think I might actually go for this one here. Okay. And I think I will I'll have this area. So let's go for, for that. But I, I'm really pleased with these papers. They're absolutely beautiful to work with. And they're so easy as well. With them being nice and thin, they're really easy to work with because they're so easy to cut out as well. Mm. You, your scissors tend to just glide through them. There we go. So you can see that we've got two contrasting looks to it. Mm. So we've got this lovely bright yellows and blues, and then we've got this really darker um, blues and greens look to it. And then what you do is just move this out of the way. is you actually cut both of those out mm -hmm. and you end up with oops let me just put the lid on that you end up with contrasting birds oh, nice. all right so then what you've got is you cut out the bird from one and then you take the flowers from the other so that you've got two contrasting colours and that allows working together both to pop that's right yeah. that's right and then how, how long have we got we've got six minutes, minutes. Seven all minutes. right okay so what I'm going to do very very quickly again is 
I'm going to wet my whole page on this one. And this is the beauty of the cotton rag, so being cotton based as opposed to wood based, you can really flood it. Oh yes, absolutely, yes. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of, look at that, how the water just pulls it. Yeah. And this time I'm going all around the edges. And if you come in from the edge, you'll see it, it will actually hug onto the edge and it will give you a really nice edging colour as well. Okay. Now we have had a question from Christine just asking what's the size of the fabric. So Christine, the smallest you'll get is 80 centimetres squared. Uh, we're just covering ourselves here because I know Kay was saying that some pieces they are larger, but you definitely won't get smaller than 80 centimetres squared. Yeah, it was just beyond the safe side because, of course, you know, with it being um, an Indian fabric, they're not, and they're, they are um, patchwork, yep. they're not always identical, but you will get, at the very least, 80 centimetres. Okay, so, so in shall between. Shall I hold that one piece just to show, get an idea of size? Yeah, please do, please do. I think, without destroying the set, I think is it important to see. I mean, that is a, it's actually a very good size. So there we go. Considering all of that has been hand-stitched, so that hand-stitched canther stitch there, which I think I'm showing you the, the behind. Let me turn that around. There you go. And I was showing, that was the back. Oh, well, you get to see. Look, you get to see how beautiful the stitch is. Okay, back to Kay. There we go. Mm -hmm. So this, my desk is so clean, <laughs> it's not, and untidy. I don't know where I've put my finished piece. So I'm going to actually use the piece that I did earlier tonight. And I'm just going to use that instead because, oh. yeah, that's OK. I can use that. So next, I need to use some of my Slap It On mat. OK. Mm. So now we have let's put, put it on. a good dollop of Slap It On mat on there. I know you love your Slap It On. I do love my Slap It On. It's just brilliant for yeah. so many things. So I'm putting quite a good layer on that. Don't worry if there's, you know, the sort of lumps because um, those are actually just part of the gel. And when you use it with your mm -hmm. paintbrush, those just come out quite easily. Right. So what I do is I start with the lovely hummingbird. Uh -huh. And I think... Which way around should we go with this? Let's go about there. Now we're getting the slapper on and we're also getting the slapper on Sparkle as well, thirteen ninety nine. The amount of shows I have done with Kay where the slapper on the slapper on Sparkle have sold out. So uh, it's perennially popular. Thirteen ninety nine your price does dry clear, such a useful medium uh, and the sparkle gives it that added bit of uh, wow factor. It does, absolutely. Um, the, the sparkle is really lovely. It's got, and um, that will go onto fabric as well, but mm. I use it on everything. I use it on my um, uh, paperwork and, and everything. So you can see how I'm just piecing these together. Mm. There we go. Sliding back in beautifully. Such a wonderful image. It, it's it's got, just uh, lovely, isn't it? It's very dynamic. You, see, you get the sense of movement of the hummingbird. Yeah. There we go. Let's just pop him in there. Whoops. So you can see how lovely and thin it is, so it's very easy to work mm -hmm. through. And then all I've done is I've just done some splashes um, with some paint. So if I just get one of my other brushes, here we go, with what's left on, on my paint mat, and just do a few little splashes. And it doesn't matter that we've actually, it's all wet because it's all going to dry anyway, mm. beautifully. There we go. Nice. And then just to finish, I'm just going to draw some lines around the edges just with a normal pen. Okay. But obviously I have to wait until that finishes. Right. So yeah. I'll probably... I'll probably actually leave that to dry and I'll do that later. Okay. Um, but yeah, we've managed to get two pages done already, well so that's done. good.
Thank you, Kay. I really hope you're enjoying uh, the show. I tell you what we are going to do is just run the design team's names at the bottom of the screen because they deserve it. They yeah. are heroes. Let's have a look at who we've got. The Indigo Bluebirds, uh, the design team. We want to say a big thank you because your inspirations are incredible. So who have we got? Sue Ralph, we saw that. Beautiful work with the uh, fabrics too, uh, who is the lead. We've also got Carolyn, thank you Carolyn. Jill's joined us, Kerry's on the team as well, Julie, uh, anyone else? And you've also got Helen with a slight typo in there as well. Uh, it's okay, so we'll just uh, we'll put all the names scrolling down on the screen, but thank Monique you. Monique as well. There's, yeah, Monique and also Rachel, uh, who we left out. Oh, so, it stopped working. Never mind. Well, we'll but thank you there. so much, girls. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so that's the design team. We will let those scroll. We're just having one final look at the One Day Special and the Mega Bundle. Mega Bundle has been so busy. It's sold out. It is back on extended delivery. Two flexi payments of thirty-one ninety-six. Do remember that you're actually saving £15 because you're getting the saving, that £8 saving from the one day special. The Mega Bundle will be dispatched from the 9th of October. Uh, you've also got in here, now the Ragdoll journals have been out of stock for six months. They are back. Ragdoll. Those Constantina. I don't say rag cotton. Sorry, not rag cotton. Thank you. Rag cotton. Uh, I'm glad Kay's here. Thank you for your company. Kay will be returning later on at 8, so I hope you can join her. Uh, she's going to continue with the demonstrations. We love Indigo Blue. If you want to catch up on any hour, especially if you just tuned in now, go onto our website. You'll be able to do it by the rewind option. So we have got the fantastic designs by Jubilee Fabrics coming up next. Then uh, Kay will return with Paola and Indigo Blue One Day Special. And after that, Paola will be welcoming you to the weekend in style. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, 
bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment land. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hachanda. Well, hello everybody, a warm welcome. So we've got another fantastic owl from Jewbury Fabrics. Allow me to introduce you to the wonderful Julie, who I managed to catch when I came into Hochanda. We this entered morning. together. Yes, we did. How are you, June? I'm very well, thank you. Very well. Good Keeping to see well. you. Keeping it's busy, which is always good. Well, do you know, it feels like we haven't worked together in ages. It does feel like ages, actually. I'm sure, I, I can't remember when it was now. Last time I worked with you... Was Sue with me? In, do you know, it, it might have been, yeah, but it, um, months, months and yeah, months and months. Yeah, it could months. have been before lockdown, I yeah, reckon. Yeah, I think it was, actually. Mm. I think it was just before lockdown. I You're think right. it was, yeah. Well, lovely to see you. Looking you. very well. Thank you. You're telling me you've been busy, because I think a lot of people have kind of been completing their quilts <laughs> since Yeah, so I think everyone's getting on with finishing yeah. all those quilts that they've had piled up. Yeah. And then, of course, they've been sending them to me to quilt. So, okay. you know, I've kept really busy. Good. <laughs> which well, is brilliant. You brought some great kits. And we're going to start with this one. This is a complete kit for you. And what you're getting is the, uh, it's a pick and mix. It's your bottle bag kit. You get to pick any two fabrics. They're beautiful fabrics. They are lovely. So yeah. we can make two bottle bags, but this is what I love about Julie and Jubri Fabrics, because, uh, Jubri Designs, I should say, Julie's given us three different designs of bag to make. So we've got choices, right? You have, yeah. So these are included in the pattern. You've got... That's like an, an open sleeve. How do you describe that? Yes, you see, that? I thought that would look nice on a tape, Chris, uh, on the table at Christmas. And if you put insulated wadding in it, yeah. you know, it would keep your champagne <laughs> cool. That's what I was thinking. Well, somebody has a nice Christmas. <laughs> no. Hey? <laughs> no prosecco. <laughs> Okay, so that's nice. Then you've got, I mean, that's just a classic bottle that's bag. That's nice Beautiful. gift bag, isn't it? Really mm. nice gift bag. And then we've got one final design that might tickle your fat. Now, this is a nice one, too. Very giftable. How do you describe that one? I think that's a nice one to put under the tree or something, isn't it? Yes. You know, with a actually. label on it. So, um... Three unique styles. I'm so glad you said it like that, because that's exactly how I see it. So, this could be the bottle that you pop under the tree. Sorry to Chris, I directed that. I've just dragged him back this way. Uh, he's going to go for a nice sweeping shot. So you, you, that is your gift under the tree. Then we've got your gift if you just pop round, if we're permitted to, who knows what happens, but at some point we will, when you're going around to see some uh, friends, family. And then finally, you've got the one that could be on the table with, uh, you know, a special bottle. A, a special bottle, yes. A special yes. bottle. Uh, let's have a little look at the options with the fabric. So, I mean, look at this. That is your red bauble. We are approaching half the stock. It is beautiful. We're also getting the ribbon with these as well? Yes, so one of the bottles does use, bags does use a ribbon. So I've given the ribbon in case you need to use it. So you've Lovely. got everything there. So that's your red bauble. I mean, that red is beautiful. That's really Christmassy, that's isn't really, it? I like that a lot. Okay, so there's your red bauble. Uh, another one. Mm. You give me problems, 
because the first two I'm already that I've picked. Look at this one, your blue fur cones. We're approaching 40% of the stock there. That, and I, you know I'd never lie, this to the naked eye is even more striking. I really like this. So for me at the moment, Julie, I would have gone for the first two options. Would you really? Of, well, genuinely, because you're kind of looking towards Christmas, yeah. and those are such snazzy fabrics. Yeah. I like those a lot. But there is more. There is something for everyone here. Uh, now we've got a holly. Just showing you that there. I think that's a more traditional, sort yeah. of, you know, low-key one. But Nice. I just want to point out, so with each of the fabrics, that you are getting a backing fabric too. So... Uh, and you're also getting the one meter of coordinating uh, satin ribbon as well. So yeah. each one, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I should have said, can we just recap? Because I think it's important. With the uh, red, red bauble, you had that red. I mean, that is beautiful. Then with your blue fur cone, you've got the lovely, it's kind of like a dappled blue. Then with your holly, you've got a wonderful speckled red. Now, up next, we've got our Let It Snow. So this is a bit more modern. Christmas. It is, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let It Snow with your uh, backing fabric, nice pure white backing fabric to set that off. A little bit of fluff there. Then we've got our red poinsettia with a lovely dotty green. And then we've got our blue-green fern with your subtle uh, background in there as well. I mean, the blue-green fern, if I just show you, because it's got little accents of metallic in there as well. Mm. You could get away yeah. reusing that one all year round, I think. You, I think you're right. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm drawn, I must be a magpie, I'm drawn to the this sort of, the spot. Yeah. I am. But uh, whichever option speaks, <laughs> I've just seen. I just saw a Humpty. Is it Humpty Dumpty there? Humpty, yes. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, okay, so 19.99. you're getting your fabric. How much fabric are we actually getting here? Um, so it's not quite half a metre um, between, you know, with both yeah. pieces. Uh, I but think that's it's about very 15, good. 16 inches, so yes. When you think that you're getting the pattern, you're getting the backing fabric, the feature fabric, times two, because you're able to two choices. I'm right in saying you're just, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're yeah, getting yeah. two feature fabrics with the backing fabric. The one feature fabric and one, and one backing, backing fabric. fabric. Sorry, I'm confusing everyone. Well, no, because you get two, because it's pick and mix, don't you? So you do get two. Yes, yeah. you're right. Oh, I am you, right. you are right. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Gee, you got me. I thought I'd made a huge faux pas. Uh, no, you're able no, to you pick right. two. Uh, so you've got... It's a proper word there. I found that so funny. Everyone knows faux pas. Uh, okay, so there we go. 19.99 is your price. 378 eight, eight number. Now, let's just say you have a sizable stash and you just want to get the uh, pattern. You can get the pattern. Just showing you here. That's the pattern that you will be receiving that allows you to make three distinctive styles of your beautiful bag. Over half the stock's gone here. 9.99 is your price. So good value. There, 428180, your item number. Now, some tote bags for you. These are tote bag kits, three different options. These are beautiful. They are. Now, these were oh. uh, Sue came over um, and we spent the weekend Look. sewing, and this is what we came up with. Look at these. They are stunning. So, in the kit, we'll get through the kits. This is your B Pink. Ah. Oh. oh, I like that. Do you know, even. Just showing you here, on the, the straps, you've even got the design going through onto the straps. You can just see that there. And on the back of your tote as well, you turn that around. I mean, that is a lovely tote bag. So there we go, you're getting the full kit, and I will break down the kits in a moment. We'll just go through the designs. So that is your B Pink. Yeah. Then we have our be neutral. I'll just pop that down so we can see. There's our be neutral. I do love a bee. There's something about bee. a bee. Everybody likes yeah. bees, don't they? And then we have got a Highland Cool. <laughs> yeah, there a you go. Look at that. Now that is a cow. Beautiful character. Uh, the Highland Cow is popular. Turn that around so you can see. Over 50% of the stock for the Highland Cow has gone. You've even got the detail running there as well. So beautiful. Uh, if only you could hear what I hear in my ear. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to tell you what I've just heard in my ear. So the team, the team were asking, why do you say Highland Cool? 
That's how it's pronounced in Scotland. It it's is, yes. Cow. It's cool. Uh, okay, so there we go. I hope I haven't offended any of our Scottish viewers. Uh, now, let me show you what we're getting in the kits because they are beautiful kits. You, I love working with you, Julie, because you, you put so much effort into what you put in your kits. You yes, know, so much thought goes into them. We do. So um, we've added the little, as you can see down the, the side of the bags, we've got a little um, like sort of piping, sort of coloured piping, because we just felt that brought out the, the, the designs, you know, and just made it, yeah. outlined it really. And I love the detail as well. It's sort of carried across down that side of the seam as well. So here you've got your, that's the piping it is, that yes. we were just mentioning. Then you have all of your feet, and that is a good weight. It's like a, um, how do you describe it, it? Yes, it's like a linen weight. It's yeah. got, it has got some linen in it, it's, but it's a, it's a great weight sort of for a bag because it's quite strong. Yeah, and durable, it will last. And you've got your feature fabric. Uh, you're getting a half meter of your calico as well in your lining. You're getting a fully illustrated pattern as well. All your fabrics, everything that you need. It is a 17 by 17 inch finished bag. Could this be, oh, that's a, I mean, that's a good bag. It is a good bag. It's hey, a decent you, size Molly. bag. Okay. <laughs> now, this is the kind of tote that I would rock down the farmer's market. 60% uh, of the uh, Highland cow has gone. Love the Highland cow. But then, I love our bees as well. Be neutral, 40%, says I'll be neutral. I, now, sales, I'm, I have to say, the bee pink is slightly behind the other two, but the bee pink is one of my faves. I love the Howling Cow, but I, that splash of color, pink's one of my favorite colors is as it? well. It is, oh, genuinely, okay. genuinely, yeah. Love that. There's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with pink. But for guys, I mean, there you go. Do you know, pink used to be a regal color. It used to be, Color of royalty, uh, oh, and it, it used to be a masculine color, I didn't and then know got that. changed in the I think it was like the 18th, 19th century. Facts. Uh, okay, we've got more for you. Uh, if you love your Highland ghoul, uh, we have got our cushions. So Highland cow here. So patterns. Have we have we named the cow now? Is the cow Hamish? We have called it Hamish. He yes. looks like a Hamish. Yes, we we have called him Hamish. Oh, I like this. Hamish is a character. Hamish is the kind of cow that if you walked past his field, he'd trot over and he would take an apple from your hand. I think so, yes. Mm. So on the cushion one, we've quilted uh -huh. the, the central cushion just to give it a bit of texture. But you don't have to do that if you don't nice. want to. Hamish reminds me of someone I used to present with. There we go. Uh, let's have a look at the instructions. So you are getting, and look, your instructions are very good. So you're getting all your instructions in there as well. Full picture instructions, your words, everything that you need in there. So you get your instructions and of course you get everything you need for the cushion. Even down to the zip. Yes, we do include wow. the zip. For $19.99. Oh, there we go. We are busy here. 645363, your item number. All I will say to you is where are you going? I could, I could see this cushion in so many different rooms. So in a, a guest bedroom, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The, in living room. I mean, you don't have to do the free motion, but it, it is nice. It just gives it a bit of texture, I think. A conservatory. Yeah, you go yeah, anywhere, really. A kitchen. Really. I mean, you can do a lot. It's a bit okay. of character. That's, you, you're good. You really are good. When you think about all the kits we've got on the show, you're great, Julia, at giving us character. <laughs> no, you are, genuinely. All right, now, we've got more. Let's have a look here. Uh, we've got some quilts for you. Now, three different sizes. They are different item numbers. Let's start with our lap quilts. This is a kaleidoscope lap quilt. Uh, 119 is your price. Have we got, is it? So this okay. is the full size quilt here. That's the big boy. That is huge. Yes, yeah, so this will go over a double bed easy and hang down the sides. Okay. And so the only difference being the size with, we've got, that's your design. So we've is got different sizes. I'll give you the details for the lap quilt. So three flexi payments of 40 pounds. Uh, you're making by a 65 by 65 inch lap quilt. That's a good size lap quilt. It's a quite a nice size, you yeah. know. A couple of people can get under that, Jim. <laughs> yes. I mean, just saying, if you want to snuggle up, getting cold. Uh, there we go, so that's your lap quilt option, 788-292 item number. Now, if you want to go for your medium quilts, we'll show you that. Now this is your 65 by 95 inch quilt, 179.99 is your price. 
and we will just show you flexi payment, three flexi payments of £60, 202546. But if you want to go for the large double, this is the big boy, 95 by 95 inches, 229.99. Look at that. Uh, show, um, if we will give you a shot of the completed quilt. You have to see it. I mean, Julie, if you could just lift up, you know, you did just there to show the size again, because it's. I mean, that is huge. And it's square, so yeah. you know. It's, it's but Molly, our producer, is saying what I'm exa exactly what I'm thinking. It's such a pretty, pretty quilt. Yes, it is lovely, isn't it? And it would go very nicely with your Highland cow cushion. <laughs> no, it would because you've got the, the, the sort of lavender. Yeah, you have. Through. Yes, definitely yeah. have. Nice. Uh, it's a beautiful, genuinely a beautiful quilt. And I know the thing. A, a lot of quilters, you're looking for your next project. And I think it's highly influenced by the actual design of the quilt, the joy of making it. Julian Jubri Fabrics. They specialise when it comes to quilts. They really know what they're doing and showing you the quality of the fabric as well. Look at these. I'm also seeing because you've got effectively. The, the features there, it's quite easy to make the uh, It is, the yes, because you just use triangles um, and it just creates this lovely kaleidoscope. Look at that. One thing I'm noticing, and the more you look at it, and uh, that's a great shot, is the, the watercolor, it's got a watercolor effect, and the purple tones, the blue tones, you've kind of got a paisley uh, inspiration at the bottom. This is a stunning, stunning fabric. I, I love it. Um, yeah. Well, that's Stunning. my water, I guess. But <laughs> we are uh, we're busy for our quilt. All I would say to you is, and I know it's a considered purchase, but seeing the quilt here live in the studio, it is a beautiful quilt. I know that Julie specialises in quilts. So if she's bringing you a kit, it's going to be exceptional. So if you want to get a hold of that, take advantage of your three flexi payments. You will not regret it. I mean that, and I never say that unless I truly mean it. Uh, something else we haven't seen this hour, we're just going to show you this. As we head back to uh, Julie for our first demonstration, we got our safari. Uh, this is our safari babe, uh, cushion kit. Uh, so you've got your pink giraffe. Oh, the giraffe. The zebra. Your blue giraffe. And then you've got your blue zebra. Very, very cute. Fifteen ninety nine is your price. Uh, there, three five five nine four four. your item number. We also have a beloved cushion kit. Just going to have a look here. So, uh, tell you what, I'm laughing because Julia was just going to go get her. She just remembered a ruler. Uh, $21.99 your price if you want to get the beloved cushion kit. Uh, so there we go. You can see what you're getting. Now, there are options. You can find them on the website. So I would uh, go onto the website and have a look at all your different options there. And finally, we got to look at this young man, Humpty Dumpty. He didn't sit on a wall, he sat on your bed, or he could be sitting on your couch. Uh, 19 99 your price, saving two pounds. You've, st you've got all the king's horses and the wall there, I love it. Uh, 943 147, your item number. Humpty Dumpty is awesome. He is, and if, if you on one side he's all happy and smiling, yeah. and on the other side it's where he's fallen over. Oh, he's had a, he's had a boo boo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Humpty Dumpty. I love him. And the fact that you've got the wall there and the King's Horses, I think, yeah. is absolute genius. That is a lovely project. And do you know what? For nurseries, that would be great. Yeah. And yeah. it comes with all the instructions, all pre-printed on there, so you can... It's a really nice panel. Okay. So what are we going to do for our demonstration? So um, last, um, the, earlier on, I actually started making the tote bag. Yeah. And we, we got as far as here. So now um, we need to put... So we've got the side panels and our little bits of piping here mm -hmm. and on this side. So now I'm going to just put the base of the bag on. Um, so that's this piece here. Okay. Um, I'll just put that right the way along. I think this one is um, Sue's favourite, the oh, yeah. B bag. How is Sue? Is she okay? She's very well. She's... Um, I think she's gone to Devon this weekend oh, okay. with her nice. daughter just for a change of scene. Yeah. So when we make this bag, we use, normally when we're, we're quilting and, and making, we tend to use quarter inch seams, but on this one, we've decided to use half inch seams. Okay. Purely because it can fray. Mm -hmm. um, so just to be on the safe side, we, we've added um, the half inch seams in. 
Um, and if you have got a zigzag, or you can always neaten it as well, and it will make it last longer too. Nice. Now, just to let you know, as we're doing this, with regard to the Highland cow, three quarters of the stock has gone. And look at this fella here. So there is your Highland cool. We love it. Beautiful. And this attention detail with all the bags, Julia, stunning. Even down to the fact that you've got the design on your handles as well. Come on, that's attention to detail. Lovely. So, we're just reading the instructions. You've got the accent fabric for the flange as well. So the size. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You get everything. So, and depending on which bag you have, it depends on the colour. We chose the heather colour to go with the cow or the coo. The coo. Lovely. That is quite funny, actually, because when I, I went to do a show in Scotland once, yeah. and I had um, a wall hanging I'd made, and it was purple, and it was a cow, uh. and this lady came up and she said, oh, I love your poo poo coo and I thought, what is she talking about? <laughs> and the then accent. eventually I yeah. twigged. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you know, we did a show, um, we've only been there once, and I'm so sorry we haven't been able to get up there again, but it uh, was the SCCC um, creative, uh, creative yes. show in Glasgow. First time I've been to Glasgow, the people were amazing. And they really, I'm not, I know it sometimes sounds cliche, you go somewhere and say how lovely the people are, but it's some of the friendliest people I've ever met in Glasgow. Really, 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 really friendly. Yeah. I've only been to, where did I go to? Edinburgh, which okay. I love. I want to go to Edinburgh, nice. It was very yeah. nice, yes, it was very Peaceful. nice, but um, we were going to go, because my, my son came with me, and we were going to go for a trip round, and oh, I lost my rotary yeah. cutter. Um, one of the whiskey distillery factories. Oh, that'd be a nice little trip. But you didn't make it. <laughs> no. What happened? So, well, we got um, we got out there. We set up our stand and everything, and then off we trotted. And I thought oh, I'd better get some fuel, so I put petrol in the diesel. Oh, <laughs> the diesel. it happens. It happens. And so we had to call somebody out. And so by the time they emptied it all out, that's an expensive business to empty yeah. it out as well. He wasn't amused. I can no. tell you. Oh wow. Uh, now, I've got to tell you, the being neutral that we're working on at the moment, we're approaching half the stock there. And I am glad we're having a busy show. I understand it's in the evening. You could be watching every, anything right now. But Julie is lovely, genuinely. And uh, Julie Fabri, I've got so much time for. So it's just the amount of effort that the team, I know yourself and Sue, put into all the kits they bring are fantastic. So you will not be uh, regretting any purchase. So we just don't love sewing, really. So you get on so well, both we of do. We too. do have you such have a, a laugh yeah. and a giggle. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to measure four inches in from the side, okay. and I'm just going to pin my handles in. Yeah. And we'll come over here. Just make sure you don't twist it, because otherwise you'll have a nice. twisted handle. And I'm going to come in from here. Yeah. So that's there. Are you uh, looking forward to Christmas? I am really. It's been a bit of a weird year, I, but it's difficult to know what's going to happen, uh, really, isn't it? Are you a Christmassy person? I do like Christmas. Yeah, yeah I do. Um, one of my sons who lives in um, Newbury, he's hoping to come down. So you know, and it would be nice for him, but who knows? I think if obviously if the rules allow, we all need to see family at Christmas. It's been that kind I of year. I think so. Right? Yes. I'm hoping that um, you know they'll have it a bit more under control by then. Yeah. Um, so here I've got put my last one. I've just measured in four inches, and I'll put the clip on here. Okay. So now we can take. We've given you the calico for the lining. Yeah. Um, you can then s now sew this on along the top here. What kind of level of crafter do you think we'd need to be to take Oh, this, this is on? quite an easy one, yeah. I would say. Quite easy. Okay. Um, so, I'm just going to sew along here again. I'm just going to use the width of my foot. I'm not going to worry about a quarter of an inch. Uh, now that Highland Cow is just carrying on being very busy. We are approaching limited stock with our Highland Cow. So if you want to get hold of the Highland Cow, I would say sooner rather than later. Would be a good idea there. There's our Highland cow. I just think, as a tote bag goes, I take that, out, and it's a really good size bag as well. I would take that out with me everywhere. Would you? Yeah, I really would. I think it's just, you know, certain bags. I'd leave it in my car, 
and now especially, you know, they're raising the price of um, to 10p now for bags, just ordinary bags. So I'm trying to do my bit for the environment anyway and cut down on my plastic. Yeah, so am I, but sometimes you don't. I have mm. to just leave bags, but I'd quite happily go out with, you know, have this in Easily. my car all yeah, the time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would leave it in my car and that would be my go-to bag. got to tell you, the Highland Cow is now limited stock. Let's have a look at the Highland Cow. Hey, so there you can see, Highland Cow, limited stock, less than 10% of our stock remaining for that option. So, we nearly come, I've nearly got this sewn on. So, so that's, you haven't seen your family much then? Um, so, you haven't seen, unfortunately, my wife hasn't had a chance to see her mother-in-law much, and I know she's really missing her. Uh, my parents live very nearby, so we have been able to see them. Uh, and I talk, I, I always, I call my parents every night, so I do speak to them. But it's just been, a, it's been, a, do you know, it's more friends, family, and we're just not seeing people. No. No. How about yourself? Are you managing to see your friends and family? Or? Um... I, I just, Sue's been up a couple of times, um, but that's probably it, really. Um, one of my brothers is is quite vulnerable, so he's shielding, so I don't mm. want to go and see him. See, that's the thing. I know a lot of people who are shielding. I've got a friend who they're expecting, they've had some good news, so expecting a baby in December. Dad's not even been able to go to any of the scans. Oh, yeah. that's, horrible, isn't it? oh that's a shame. Um, so now I've joined joined my um, bag together. Yeah. So I'd simply join down the sides and then box the corners. Okay. And that's it and done. And that's it. You're kidding. So, you know, it is quite quick. Yeah. All right, uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We'll just pause there because we've got a lot to show. Uh, the Highland Cow has gone no way. So the Highland Cow, I love this bag. Uh, if you've got hold of the bag, just imagine walking out, uh, walking around town with your Highland Cow bag. It's stunning. Well done if you've got that in your basket. Uh, Bee Pink is still available as well as your Bee Neutral. So if you wanted to uh, get those, uh, yeah, Bee Neutral is still available as well. Uh, half the stock. I'll pop that conveniently in there. Okay, so let's have a quick recap of our bottle bags. Now, with the bottle bag kits, you're actually able to make, you, you're going to pick two feature fabrics. Each feature fabric comes with its backing fabric as well. And you've got the pattern. And in the pattern, you've got three designs. So you can see just on the pattern there, the three different designs, they're all in the pattern that you're going to get. The way, and I think Julie described this beautifully. So this is the kind of pattern if you wanted to put a, t a bottle on the table. You know, imagine uh, those special occasions or at Christmas, just having that bottle. And also, with Julie, with the pattern, I know they come with two feature fabrics. Do you know what I would do? A lot of these obviously screen Christmas. But then we've got the pattern fabrics. We've learned how to make it. Yep. So then I dip into my own stash. So throughout the year... And make more. Just make as many as you yes, like. Yes, you can. Because I tell you something, and it's my bugbear, I hate just giving a bottle. I can't do it. And I don't it, like putting it, them in a bag either. It's just, a, but that just makes it look that little bit special, doesn't it? Because you've taken the time yeah. to make something. That is a real gift. And it actually, here's the thing, it doesn't matter what you've got inside. So no. you don't have to buy the most expensive bottle no. of Plonk because no. you've just got a brilliant, uh, brilliant bag. Okay, so that's one style. And this is your gift. This is when you go around to someone's house. Remember, you can make throughout the whole year, use your own stash. There you go. If, we can't, we have to keep distance, but what could have brought you in shot before lockdown? I could say, there you go, Molly, and we could have, we can't do that anymore, Molly. Uh, and then we've got here, this is the one under the Christmas tree. Isn't that nice? So, we've got a lot of choice. You have. So, in those samples, I've put wadding in, but if you don't want to put wadding in, you don't need to. You could okay. just put some interfacing, and this is one that I made earlier, and I just oh. put interfacing in it. Can you show it? that to the camera? Is that okay? Because that's beautiful. And that's using our blue fern, I think I'm right in saying? Yes. Blue green, blue green fern, that's over 50%. That is very nice. I'm just going to show you color options very quickly. This red, the red bauble with that uh, beautiful red backing fabric is approaching 60% of the stock. How can you not want it? Look at that. It is a beautiful fabric that absolutely sings. And then you've got the contrast with that red is stunning. Definitely going in my basket. Uh, then we've got our blue fern comb approaching half the stock with our blue fern and it's got its contrasting 
uh, fabric in there. So this is a really jazzy, special sort of Christmassy print. Instantly, you look at that, you feel Christmassy, and it's got its backing fabric, and you're getting the meter of ribbon as well. Then we've got a holly with our beautiful sort of speckled red backing fabric. So you're getting those. So you're picking two and you're picking mix. So keep in mind which two options speak to you. Are you going to go for your words here? So that's your let it snow, a bit more modern, contemporary, with your fabric. Now you can see better on camera than I can see the naked eye. It's got that wonderful sort of star stroke snowy detail going through. So that's your backing fabric. And then you've got your words. Then we've got our blue green, uh, no, we've got our uh, poinsettia. Have a look, there's our red poinsettia with our uh, polka dots and your satin. And then the blue green firm, which has proven very popular, over 50% of the stock there, and your backing fabric. Uh, let's have, I think we're going to be de demonstrating. Well, I, I, showed, I demonstrated this bag earlier yeah. on, so I'm just going to do the open topped one, which okay. I think goes nice on the table. Nice. So the first thing you need to do is to join the seams together. So I've done the lining, mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to join right sides together and th this one as you can see I've just put some interfacing yeah. in this time not yeah. just so you can see what the difference is but this actually this open topped bag sparked a bit of debate amongst the team did it I'll tell you why <laughs> nothing to do with bags but uh, we saw some pictures of Chris our director on holiday he likes do you remember the old Miami Vice do you remember the show Miami Vice yes I do he likes to wear his shirts he kind of unbuttons a bit of Simon Cowell West <laughs> halfway up, chest hanging out. Right. I mean, where do you stand on that? Because half the team thought it looked cool, some of the team, mm, they weren't feeling it. Uh, I think it depends on where it is, you know. I okay. mean, if, I don't yeah. know. He was in Bogner. <laughs> well, maybe not then. <laughs> he wasn't in Miami then. No, he wasn't in Miami. <laughs> he wasn't. So I'm just going to press this out. Oh, need my... press this I like to press um, the seams open as I go because okay. it just it does help to get a nice accurate bag nice there's our Humpty keeping you company you must have a nice response with Humpty Dumpty yes people do like him. yeah he's such a character again just going back to the fact I think for for nurseries Humpty Dumpty is awesome and the fact that on the reverse so he's happy you can see the happy there or you can just see here so one side he's fallen he, t he looks okay. He's not. He's not like he's in agony. No. He's just like he's just had a little bit of a boo boo, and then he's happy. And then you've got all the king's men here as well. All the instructions, and you've got the wall over there as well. He's just very very clever. So I've um, now got my two squares. Now actually, we've got a, this pattern here is what I use to make the handle. Mm -hmm. But these little off cuts actually work quite nicely as a stencil, just to get the little shape around the oh, okay. thing. So um, what I did was not that way. What did I do? What did I do? Not that way. That way. That's it. Mm -hmm. So I just put it on there, and I'm just literally going to. You don't have to do this, but I just think it makes it, it gives it a nice shape. Yeah. So I'm just going to trim around there. Lovely. And on the other side. Okay. So, I mean, this now must be how you like to give a bottle if you do meet up with someone. I just think it makes bottle. it more personal. You know, yeah. it looks like you know you've, you've made well, you have made quite an effort, haven't you? Yeah. you see them. So I'll cut those two. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put them right sides together. Okay. What I'll do is I'll just pin these. I'll trim this side off later. Right. Just put some clips on it. Now, from this here, I'm going to measure about three and a quarter inches down. Yeah. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to sew from the point here, three and down all the way around and down to here again right. so I'm just going to put a marker so I know where I'm, mm -hmm. I am. Do you know I was thinking it would be a nice idea with the bottle bags they are very giftable if you have a group of friends especially crafty friends if you give a bottle then maybe you mark or write on the uh, put a little tab to say when you received it and then give it to somebody else and track the journey. Yes you could do that's yeah. a good idea I like that idea um, so I just need to move that up. Mm -hmm. so it's there. 
And then the same on this side. Okay. Okay. So I'll just quickly sew around here. Just going to do a bit of a reverse stitch just to secure it. All right. Another topic of debate, Julie, as we're doing this, something the team were talking about just before the show. Where do you stand on communal kitchens and somebody maybe cooking a fish pie? <laughs> Does it leave a bit of a smell? All I can say is the whole of Hochanda, the whole bit, and we have a big building, has now been consumed with the smell of said fish pie. <laughs> it wasn't my fish pie, and I won't say who, because I think it's unfair to Katie. But it's. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Second day back, and suddenly she's getting her old fish pie out. <laughs> and I, do you know what I really loved about it, Julie, is she tried to mask the smell with a faint veneer of, I don't know what she sprayed, but it was <laughs> this subtle perfume spray in there as well. She did try. <laughs> so now we've got that okay. done. And so all we need to do is to bring these two sides together. Yeah. And so from this point down to, oh, I'll tell you what we didn't do right. at the beginning, so I'll do that now. And that's, you just need to cut out your one and a half inch square in the corner so that we can box it. So let me do that now. Okay, so what, why are we, where are we cutting this out? It's so that you can get this, Oh, the bottom. boxing, yeah. okay. um, and because it's quite small, it's easier. Sometimes you can just not cut it out and just mm -hmm. fold it, but I think it's easier because it's so quite a small bag. It gives you a nice flat base. Yeah, well. um, and I'm just going to do in the middle here because I should have done it here as well. Okay. So just so that'll be one. Nice. Now, if you just want to go for the pattern by itself, we will flash the details, so we want to give an option for everyone. That's at the bottom of your screen. A uh, good way to dip into your own stash. What I would say, for me personally, I mean, when you think about it, you're getting just shy. When you say a metre of fabric, is that with both fabrics, both it's a, features? It's just under half a metre of fabric, with including the both fabric. But I suppose, yeah. yeah, it's just under a metre with the whole lot, I suppose, yeah, so isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so just under it's a metre of fabric, if you go, obviously, with a pick and mix, we're choosing two options. So you're getting just under a metre of fabric. And then you've got your pattern in there as well. And once you've used up, obviously, your stuff, which is more Christmas orientated, throughout the year, I'd be dipping into my, spa uh, my stash for spring, summer, autumn, all of your lovely fabrics there. So I've just, right, so I've just cut out here, because I should have done this first, but we can manage this way. Yeah. Okay. So I've done that now. So now I can just bring these together and sew straight the way down here. I'm also going to sew across the bottom as well okay. at the same time. Whizzing down. If you do have any questions for Julie, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, studio at hochanda.com. Do get in touch. We love hearing from you. Okay. How do you find uh, doing the TV shows? Do you enjoy it, Julie? I do enjoy it yeah. now, yes. Yeah. When I first did it, it was a bit strange. A bit nerve wracking. Yeah, very nerve wracking. It's odd being on TV. And I think, you know, I think the frightening bit was, you know, when they were counting you down, like, you know, it's anticipation. Like, the worst and bit. I was thinking, oh, gosh. <laughs> Um, but I had Sue with me, so I had a bit of support. But, you know, we, we've been coming for a few years now, so, you know, we know quite a few people, so it's kind of, you know, it's nice. I've just been told, we had an email, this from the last hour, uh, from Debbie, but I'll repeat it for anyone who maybe wasn't watching last hour. She actually made the bee tote bag. And a young girl came up to her and said, where did you get it from? I really like it. That must feel good when someone oh, comes up to nice, you and yeah. says, look, this is amazing. Where did, where did you get it from? So there we go. And then I'm just going to box these corners. Yeah. 
which you just pull them. And you can see why I made the corners, it's just because it is quite fiddly, it's, it's a small space. Nice. Okay. As we're doing this, can I just give a little reminder of our quilt? Because we are busy for the quilt. It is incredible. Now, the only difference is the size. We're going to bring up the big boy. This is the largest one. Can I say, size-wise, was it 95 inches by, by 95? I mean, that is huge. You've got a wonderful border in there. You've got beautiful floral aspects. It is a stunning, stunning quilt. And I also really like the color palette as well. So I think that would fit. Uh, that will work in so many different homes. It's been a busy option. It's a stunning, stunning quilt. For, do you find, and look, as a quilter, Julie, I've never made, it is on my bucket list. At some point, genuinely, I'm not making yeah. this up. I would love to make a quilt one day. But um, as a quilter, do you get excited? I think you're looking for, it's the colors, the designs. Yes, you know, when the, when the reps come around and you look at it, and sometimes I'm like, oh, I like that. And, you know, Sue and I often yeah. just buy it and then think, oh, what are we going to do with it? But you can see here, it's so engaging. It looks like a, a, you're getting a water palette. Yeah, it looks like it's been watercolored. It's such a stunning one. Now, the largest option has been the most popular. All I would say, and we, the thing is, as quilters, actually, scratch this. Normally, for a quilt not this size, I think smaller, you'd be paying, you could pay sort of the 250, 300 mark. Yeah. For 95, ni uh, a quilt that's 95 by 95 inches, so I've seen quilts say for 80, 80 inches, uh, and you're looking at the sort of the 250 mark plus. So, um, no, I mean, 95, genuinely, we see them at Hochanda. So for 95, uh, a quilt that's 95 inches by 95 inches, the three flexi payments of 76, 66. Just to put that into perspective, today, 76 pounds and 66 pence, we send it all out to you and you're spreading the cost over three months. Julie, could you just hold your side? Now, we are keeping full social distancing because there's a lot of uh, space between Julie and I. Look at the size of... Should we lift this up, Julie? Because we look, we we're we're nowhere near each other. I mean, that is huge. Look at the size of that quilt. It is. I mean, they, just give me. And we're, we're miles away from each other. But when you open it up, Julie, you really can appreciate yeah. that design. That's a stunning quilt. Really I is. I, it, I have it on my bed. Yeah. Well, not my bed. Because Sue's got her own room at my house now. Oh, okay. For when she comes, so I put it on hers. Well, that's a good idea. That's nice. So she she can come whenever she okay. wants. Now, yeah. if uh, you do want to go, we've got different options. We've got a lap quilt, and then we've got a medium quilt. So we'll just flash the medium uh, size for you, 179.99, Medium quilt is, size-wise, is... 65 by 95 and then we have a lap quilt which still is a great size to show you this so the lap quilt 119.99 that's 65 by 65 788 uh, but 40 pounds a day your first flexi payment how are we getting on to so i'm just i've done the i've done this, the main fabric so i've just gone done exactly the same sewn down here on the um lining fabric and I've boxed the corners. The only difference is I have left a little gap here okay. so that I can pull it through. Yeah. Um, so you can just... And this, it's a kind of thing you could make up if you were going to somebody's safe in for an afternoon or evening, you can make these up quite quickly. Oh, yes. Yeah. Half an hour easy. No, oh, I don't think done. even that. Yeah. So pull that all out, and then we can, so I'm not really fussed about, because this is going to be the lining, so yeah. I'm just going to literally just sew that hole up. Okay. And you can obviously hand stitch that if you want to as well. But, you know, if you wanted to, and you wanted to make it reversible, you could easily just sew it neatly yeah. in. Nice. Well, I'm going to poke this inside. Okay. Lovely. And, and then there. just give it a good little press. You know, I was thinking if you put and dip into your own stash, put a little loop on the back, you could hang that up as well. If you could, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Be nice. So, and then I would, um, once I've done all that, yeah, I would just top stitch all the way around. But that's basically your bag done. done. And that was very quick, wasn't it? 
Well, just show me. If you just turn that to camera, Julie. So there you go. Perfect. Julie, thank you so much. Uh, if you do have any questions for Julie, we would love to hear from you. We'll let Julie reset for she's going to try and squeeze in one last demonstration. So we have got some new items to show you as well that we haven't seen live. So very quickly, if you do want to go for the bottle bags, you're picking, so it's pick mix, your two fabrics. So whichever you like, you could go for the same. If you know you love a certain fabric, just double up on that. This is your red bauble with that beautiful red. It's my favorite then uh, you're getting one meter of satin ribbon in there as well, whichever option you go for. This is your blue fur cones with its contrasting uh, fabric or complementary backing fabric. Then we've got our holly, this lovely red speckled fabric as your backing fabric. Then we've got our let it snow, and that's such a great shot from Chris, our director, because it picks up all the detail there. It's quite subtle to the naked eye. Naked eye. Uh, then we have, uh, and that's with your words, let it snow. Then we've got a red uh, poinsettia with your dotty design, your green uh, polka dot. And then we've got a blue-green fern. Again, all of them come with a satin ribbon, so different colorways, obviously, to complement the design and your batten fabric. If you will, and you're getting the pattern as well. Now, if you do want to go for just the pattern, We'll show you the details, $9.99 your price, gives you a chance to dip into your stash. But here's the thing, with that pattern, you can make this style of bottle bag. So that's just so giftable. And because you've got the pattern, you can do this time and time again. does not take long. Or you can make this one. This is the one you're going to put on the table, and it's going to look fancy. And then finally, if you want to put a bottle under the tree, give it as a present. It could be a birthday present, Christmas present. Then this is the option for you. So three designs in one pattern. 9.99 you cannot go wrong 428180 your item number we have tote bags for you beautiful tote bags now we've already lost one option we still have our pink uh, bee pink so there's our bee pink i love this splash of color with the bee pink so you got the design and it's that little flush of pink just that shot of pink running through as well i think it's really nice this to me I think if I had the choice between the B pink and the B neutral, I personally, it is a very personal choice, I'd be going for the B pink. Uh, $19.99 your price, and look at what you are getting. All of your fabric uh, in there, and of course you're getting your instructions, everything in there. $19.99 your price, uh, 518-967. Now we have got the B neutral, which is very popular. Over half the stock has gone here, so that's your B neutral bag. Look at the detailing on the handles, and you've got that wonderful B hovering in midair. I like bees. I do like bees. Not a fan. It sounds horrible, but I prefer bees to wasps. Is that bad? I don't know. Just do. 518-967, uh, your item number. Now we've got a baby safari cushion kit. Don't go. Oh, this is cute. So you've got, let me pop that down. So uh, there is the blue option. Can I just turn this around? Don't go breaking my heart. Oh, I love the blue. That would look so cute in a little nursery. And you've got the giraffe. That's your blue giraffe. There is also a pink giraffe. And then you've got your pink zebra and your blue zebra. So there's, and it's a baby zebra with, baby zebra with a baby owl. Come on. Where have you ever seen that before? And then on the back, it says, there you go. Good night, sleep tight. They're cute. So those are your options. Now, which each design, whether it's the, the uh, zebra or the giraffe, you can choose between your blue or your pink. But for little ones in the family, how cute is that? And you're showing all the fabric that you are getting in the mix as well. For $15.99, I think that's good going. If you just wanted to go for your uh, the, uh, the design, the pattern, that's at the bottom of your screen, $9.99. All right, one final thing to share with you. We have got our beloved cushion. I knew that was going to happen. Beloved cushion kit. Look at this. That now for twenty one ninety nine is, I think, a, a ridiculously good price. It really is, Julie, because this is the kind of cushion I like to go when we can going into a department store, and I gravitate towards the cushions just to see them, and they are beautiful. But I've seen in department stores, Julie, cushions like this. You could be paying up like 70 quid. Uh, I, I know cushions are expensive. Yeah, they really are. So here, being able to make your own, this design is stunning. I love the applique work uh, on the design as well. So I'm just going to show you. I've got another one here. Well, actually, I've got another couple. Just show different colorways. How about that? It's the same design. I think that's the blue-yellow. And then we have, oh, this is nice. 
and that is your purple. Uh, it could be the aubergine pink, actually. So you're choosing. You have got options there, but you're getting the pattern. You're getting everything you need to make this beautiful cushion cover. Obviously, you're putting the pad uh, for the cushion inside. But even from the fact that this... Um, well, how would you describe that, just the detail around the edge? It's ombre. So yeah. we're using an ombre fabric, which is where it's, it changes colour. Yeah. Um, and so that's how you can, you know, it works really well with that sort of design because y you haven't got to worry about picking fabrics because yeah. you just get this natural change of colour in it. Would it be described as piping? Well, not really. Well, well no. it's, it's a it's cheat. A okay. Because piping, you know, is a bit fiddly, but yeah. that's binding. So ah. basically, we put the cushions wrong sides together, put yeah. the zip in, and then put binding around it. Mm -hmm. So it has the same effect. Very effective. If you want to get hold of this, twenty-one ninety-nine. Your price zero six four five two six. Your item number. What are we demoing for our last demo? So I thought what I'd do is to show you how to make the flying geese that go around the baby safari cushion. Okay. Um, so the first thing I've got is I've got my. Um, white fabric, I'll just make sure I've got that the right way around, mm -hmm. and I've got my two squares of uh, blue, and I draw a line down the centre, yeah. and place it just mm -hmm. neatly there, and then I'm going to sew a scant quarter of an inch on either side of that line. Okay. And, and this way, um, we don't waste any fabric. Nice. Um, So that's one side done. Okay. Just twist it around. And we'll go down this side. Lovely. And then we're going to cut down this centre line. We're going to press open these two. Yeah. So we're uh, doing it this way. You make four at a time. So if you've got a lot to make, it's yeah. quite a quick way of doing it. Yeah. And then we take another. So it kind of looks a little bit like a prairie point. Yeah. Oh, it's not. It's flying geese, is it? It is going to be a flying geese. Yeah. And again, I'm just going to draw a line down the center. And do exactly the same yeah. down both of them. Just a scant quarter of an inch. And I like to do a scant quarter of an inch because then it's usually the finish is just a little bit too big, but then you can mm. trim it so it's like a okay. really good shape. Is, that, is your iron telling you something? There you go. It switches itself. Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. But I've got one of those ones, you know, that, that raise, up. raise up. Yeah. Um, but I, I didn't bring it with me, so of course I got used to putting the iron down like this. You know, it's so funny, because uh, we obviously sell those, but the amount of guests that come in who haven't used that before, and they, they stand it up, because it's habit, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, but it is so much easier, you just lift it off and put it down, but yeah. then of course when you're not using it... You get into that. Yeah. So... Then we're going to uh -huh. just trim those in half again. Again, give it press. Lovely. And so you, you like to press as you go? I always press yeah. as I go. I, I think it just gives a better finish um, and it is a lot more accurate. Mm -hmm. So those are mine. Now, uh, I did. I haven't brought my little ruler. So what I would do now is I'm going to place them um, uh, not like that. I'm just going to. Uh, what I want to do is to make sure that I've got a quarter of an inch at the top yeah. here. So I'm just going to place that there. I've like got about that. Um, two minutes left. Two minutes. Okay. Okay. Just as we're cutting this, I've got to give you a mind of the baby cushions, which are proving very popular. So you've got either pink or blue on each design. I'm holding up the design, so you're uh, beautiful. Look at that giraffe. Can you? I could totally see that in a nursery. And on the back, don't go breaking my heart. 
And then you've also got the zebra here with the baby owl. Come on. And then on the back there, the little uh, cloud. Good night, sleep tight. So if you want that in, uh, if you want that in blue, you can. And if you want this in pink, the giraffe in pink, which is the most popular, uh, you can get that as well. Got about a minute. A minute. Julie, sorry. Okay. So I've just trimmed these all up. And then you would just sew them together. And then that, that's perfect. That's your first segment done. Perfect. There you go. Julie, thank you so much. Thank you. Sorry if I rushed you a bit at the no, end. <laughs> have you had fun? I have, yes, thank you very much. Good. Always have fun working oh, with you. Ennis. Well, do you know, hopefully it won't be so long before we no, get to hang out together no. again. Hopefully Sue will be with, with us next yeah. time. Good, good. Well, say hello for me. I will, Sue. I will. Uh, just going to say with the bottle bag, so we've got options here. Three, and what I love about this, whether you're just going for the pattern or the actual kits, you're able to make three distinctive styles. So these are the three styles, whether you're going to put it on the table, give it as a gift, present it under the Christmas tree, all three of these designs in the same pattern, dip into your stash as well. What I would be doing is, because you're getting such great value for money, pick your two feature fabrics that come with their backing fabrics, that also come with a meter of ribbon, that satin ribbon, and then once you've used it, what I would do is dip into my own stash throughout the year, uh, whether it is Easter or you just got a special occasion or it's a wedding, and give and present the most beautiful bottle bag. Julie, thank you so much. Thank you. Really enjoyed it. Thank when you. are you back? Do you know when you're back? Um, end of October. Okay. I'm not quite sure of the date. I think right. it's the 23rd, something like that. We look forward to seeing then. Drive okay. home safe. I will. Yeah, head I back will. tomorrow, but do drive home safe. I will. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much for your company. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we've got another fantastic hour coming up. One not to be missed. You've got the lovely uh, K with Paola. Come on. And a one day special. We're going to be sticking around for that. Uh, and then Paola's going to be welcoming you to the weekend as well. So Indigo Blue, one day special up next. Then we're going to be welcoming everyone to the weekend with Paola. And after that, a repeat of our fabulous one day special with Indigo Blue. Lots to enjoy here at Hochanda. Hello, I'm Barbara. And I'm Julie. And together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family-run business, been in business for two years, and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years, and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product, uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards, and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. The company has been going for a year and a half and as a crafter, I wanted to find a box which I could receive every month and would be full of craft supplies. As I couldn't find such box, I decided to create it myself and that's how Craftbox started. Every box contains at least 15 products, which are beautifully hand-packaged by a team based here in Cambridgeshire. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon-tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft for mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. Uh, I think for me, crafting's so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really 
thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. Really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Hochanda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Good evening. Well, what a one day special. I am in absolute awe and in love with them. Uh, the, the one day special is from Indigo Blue, which means that Kay is in the building. Hello, Kay. Yay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> now, these we ha you had a phenomenally busy launch. We did. It was madness. Thank you so much, everybody. Really appreciate your support. It's, it's phenomenal, but uh, you know, I'm not so surprised because what I, when I walked through it, you have got, of course, beautiful stamps that they are stunning. That is the one day special. Uh, one A5 stamp set and of course and three a6 as Sam says the details are on the screen but you know not only that there is absolutely gorgeous even textiles you have brought. I know I know so this is the taste of India so we thought we'd bring you um, some real beautiful artisan made items with us so fabrics silks um, handmade adornments all to go with the beautiful stamps that Janine has designed for it, us. I, I, what I love about it is that you have uh, the stamps by Janine which are incredible they are the repeat I'm gonna turn them over as well because you can see the quality the red rubber renowned uh, indigo uh, blue renowned by and look at that clean form mounted already trimmed to size so you have got the kind of the signature product from indigo blue the quality the style the amazing versatility but you also have broad uh, all refined embossing powders. I know, they're gorgeous, aren't they? So um, we, we're really well known for our stamps, obviously, and the really, really fine lines that we're able to achieve through making them ourselves in Retford. And um, you need an embossing powder that will show up that tiny, tiny detail. So normal embossing powder is too chunky, basically. So you need a really, really fine milled powder in order to do that. And I like something with a bit of oomph to it. I like lots of pigment in it. So when I get a gold, I really want a gold. And so we've got four colors for you um, great price and um, yeah we've we sold out I think yeah. on the first lot didn't we absolutely no so yeah. the embossing powders are on extended delivery because oh, I did yeah. mention that they are incredibly busy first hour and we are gonna be very very busy we are very busy already uh, so that of course these are the embossing powders you can see the charge I'm gonna put them below it so you can see exactly that beautiful fine detail over half of the stock of the extended extended delivery stock has already gone 
if you want to grab uh, yours uh, remember that it will be dispatched from the 8th of October 425045 I got sidetracked because I just kind of wanted I know that they're incredibly busy so I wanted to mention them um, apologies for that sidetrack now we have got the one day special here now the one day is special now it's beautiful stamps they are gorgeous aren't they I love these Indian inspired paisleys and um, Janine did such a lovely job I said you know can you do me some Indian inspired stuff and we talked about it and um, the hummingbird actually has come from a design that we did um, Janine didn't do this one it came from a design that we did a few weeks ago on one of our fabric pieces and we got such an amazing response from it and people kept saying please can we have a stamp and can we have a really nice big stamp as well and so obviously we listened to uh, our customers and we've uh, brought this gorgeous big A5 stamp for you the hummingbird and you've got the flowers separate as well so you can build up on that it's really gorgeous to use um, and they've done some beautiful samples that design team as well so there you go um, you've got that lovely deep etched red rubber um, a couple of nice sentiments as well beautiful stamps look after them they'll last you a lifetime and now also of course that is a one day special uh, you have got all four stamp sets uh, you have got an eight pound saving as well and uh, you have got that flexi by option as well which it uh, keeps that eight pound saving and a flexi by means that you spread the cost in interest free payments two of them of 23 pounds and 98 uh, pence uh, 620568 is the item number for the one day special now we also have brand new collector's editions as well have they been designed as well for by Janine um, the collector's editions, yeah. yes, they have. Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? So they are. um, these are really, really useful stamps. I love the collector's editions because those are the sort of thing that are going to sit on your desk for ages, and you're just going to use them constantly. There's some really beautiful ones there, and normally you just get one stamp on a collector's edition, but we managed to squeeze quite a few into these. And as you can see, these are going to match all the other stamps that we've just released, um, and they just complement them beautifully. And you can build up different pattern making with them. Um, different backgrounds key images as well make them into flowers so they're really versatile I love them they are gorgeous and of course and they did sell out earlier so now they are back on extended delivery this patch date from the 8th of October 1197 is the price a quarter of that stock has already gone of the restock at one eight seven two nine six if you want yours you can of course go at it uh, go ahead and check out this basket however I would hold my my horses just for a second because there is more brand new and we have got also the cotton rag uh, journals kind of and I absolutely adore and now this look at that now 15 by 15 look at the cut handmade cotton rag paper now okay you were saying that uh, this is recycled uh, t-shirt it is so when uh, when they are making t-shirts they obviously cut out all the patterns and they have little scraps of, of white cotton left over so that then goes to the mill and they actually make that into handmade cotton rag paper so it literally is pieces of cotton and it's actually handmade as well so we went to see them make it's incredible actually and we did have a go of it it's good it's fun, beautiful isn't it yeah, absolutely paper. beautiful so you can actually sew into this if you want to you can actually build up on it you can really abuse it you can wet it re-wet it scrunch it up iron it do all sorts and it's such a beautiful feel to work with they're beautiful uh, they are gorgeous now that if you want to go for the cut and rock pay concertina journals well they did sell out earlier you know the story we have got uh, more in the stock but also very busy for that uh, they will be dispatched from the 7th of October uh, 183390 is your item number now you will think well Paula I do like the one day special I do like the collector's editions but I absolutely adore as well this concertina well we have got a collection and that is the complete collection 63 pounds and 92 pence is the price however that you have got the carry forward that's in saving if you were in the of the one day special that eight pound saving plus a seven pounds saving you have got a 15 pound saving in actual fact with the complete collection not only that you also have got still a flexible option to spread the cost into interest free payments it did sell out early back on extended from the 9th of October 
990-676 is the item number for the complete collection, which includes the four stamp sets of uh, three of the A4, no, A6, one of the A5, and then the three collector's editions. And the absolutely gorgeous, I adore the way that you have got here uh, the little labels so you can put different sentiments. And then we are going to put it here. And, and we want to thank as well the uh, go, the design team. The names uh, you can see the indigo blue birds. You can see all the names who have made these beautiful samples uh, at the bottom of the screen. So Julie, Caroline, Jill, Carrie, um, Monique, and Helen and Rachel. Thank you uh, so much for making these gloriously beautiful, uh, gorgeous, uh, beautiful samples. Uh, now, if you want the, the embossing powers, I will say, please do go ahead and ch check out those baskets. We are, they are uh, insanely busy. Uh, now, you can see the embossing powders. Now, you are getting all four ultra fine embossing powders for £10.99. And you are saving three pounds. Ten ninety nine is your price. And now, of course, uh, sixty percent already ready uh, is gone there. Now we mentioned something about uh, glorious, beautiful uh, fabrics, didn't we? They are here. Really beautiful fabrics. Now, Kay, can you tell us a little bit about the? These fabrics looks like. Have they been block printed? They have, yes, they have indeed. So um, I was explaining on the first hour that they actually come from actually patching materials and they would put a patch on and then sew over the top with decorative canvas stitching in a, in a different colour. And so it becomes this beautiful patchwork, but the original fabric underneath has actually been hand block printed as well. So not only are you getting this beautiful fabric with a wonderful heritage, you're actually getting something that is beautifully block printed, it's got hand dyes in it and it's been hand stitched with the canvas stitch as well. And uh, we actually went to see and spend the morning with um, the women who, um, who do this incredible craft. Um, so beautiful to watch. These are just such a ridiculously good price for something that's so beautifully handmade. They are just delightful. They and really I are. was really, uh, I was, well, first of all, how big are the pieces? Okay, so they measure a minimum of 80 centimeters square, um, an absolute minimum, because I didn't find anything that was um, below that, but usually you'll get a, quite a bit more than that. Oh, so it's a nice big piece, and of course, with it being a, a canvas stitch, you actually have um, it double-sided as well, so you can use both sides. Now, also, you are getting instructions, I believe, for it, it, and, and a template, right? Yes, that's that's right. So this is a pattern that Carolyn Lakin did for me. I'm so grateful for her doing this because she's not naturally a, um, a busy sewer. And so she had to really figure this out for me. And this beautiful little bag that you can see that Paula's got there, um, she actually made out of the beautiful camphor fabric and um, the lovely silk um, um, lovely ribbons as well and yeah. she's done the whole pattern and color photographs so though you're getting that free of charge as well that pattern now i need to tell you that of course there is different options of color so we have got the green and then the blue and the red now you also get in your silk ribbon now can i say something when i love drawstring elements but one of the things that always puts me off is the cords or ribbons because they don't look good these are perfect. perfect absolutely perfect that's right if you used a normal british made ribbon like a satin ribbon it just wouldn't go it it's doesn't. just but the 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 saris ribbon now these are actually made from recycling um silk saris oh. and they um take them they recycle them they rip them into shreds they sew them together so that you get these beautiful ribbons and you can actually iron them out flat so yep. that they're much wider or you can use them scrunched up like this. But what we'll do is whichever color you go for, we have got the matching colors to complement it. So, you know, with the green, you've got these kind of greens and golds. With the red, you've got these reds, oranges, colors coming through. With the blues, they sort of got these lovely blue colors, blue oh, purples. With the aquas which and are the lovely, grays, absolutely beautiful. That. They are absolutely stunning, and also what I love, it, it, you, you were getting also the adorable adornments, aren't they? 
adornments. Well, these are incredible because these are actually handmade. Um, there's just one, the babushka is not, that's, um, that's commercially made, yeah. but all the others are wow. beautifully handmade, hand stitched. Um, the coloured bell is actually hand painted as wow. well. And they're just absolutely gorgeous to work with. Oh. And again, you're getting all of those. And even the bells at the bottom, they're Indian brass bells. And they, the sound of them is just so different. <laughs> they're gorgeous. I love the Oh, they? there is something so serene. Oh. And then... <laughs> So, and then, I mean, let's show some samples because I think uh, the bag is amazing. The, look at these ones as well. They have, they are very soft as well. They kind of feel they really are. nice. And they are, um, they are all cotton, by the way. They're all 100% cotton. Okay. Um, so um, you've got that lovely, uh, and you, they're layered as well because you've got a, a two layers of fabric there. They feel really substantial, really lovely. They're not flimsy at all. Um, they are a really nice quality. Look at this wrap that Carolyn has made. This is absolutely gorgeous for all your paint brushes, or maybe it's for your makeup brushes, or your range of pencils that you might have bought, or your coloring pens. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying and to hold it. I just I know it's times, really big. <laughs> times where I wish I had, I would had like I was a sort of regular size person well, and I had longer arms. That's the beauty of this canvas stitch fabric because it's double sided. You don't have to line it. You've just got this beautiful contrasting absolutely, that's lining. Absolutely, very good point. Also, of course, you have got something here that was made by Oh, the my friend Anne, uh, Anne Godfrey from Lincoln, and she is a star now I, I gave her some fabric and said please can you make me some masks and she did and she made the little pouches to go with them that's as well. so cool as well right i need to tell you that maybe you are like me and you love ribbon and you love silk uh we have got a uh, for you if you want at the end of the at uh, the end of the um the end of call or when you check out you can get the silk ribbon uh, uh, additionally or in, on your own or like if it is that's the only one well you need to buy something else in order to get that but uh, to buy that but um of course you can do that even if you don't go for the counter uh, fabric now uh you could do maybe something like this a shallow coming for uh, the dolls uh now if you want to go for this uh, bundle as uh, far eight five nine nine seven three then you choose red green which is and uh, of course blue and then uh now if you want to go and to go for the fabric just on its own you can uh, do that and you are you are going to get the free patterns as well 16 pounds and 50 pence is the price 167931 is your item number uh, maybe you wanted uh, you want the adornments on their own so you can have that for 12.99 is your item number and then we have got as well the artist papers there uh, we have got two options for you which are of, oh, of course they are the glorious uh, cool or uh, warm in there uh, I love those papers and now 9.99 is the price you're saving three pounds and zero zero four two zero four is your item number and of course we want to see a K demonstration uh, you know case demonstration so let's head to K thank you very much Paola that's lovely so I just wanted to very quickly show you um, this gorgeous little bag made out of the blue canthus stitching and um, that my friend Anne made for me. It's a lovely little bag that holds my teacup that oh. I bring to Hachanda. Oh, um, yeah, so, cool. so I bring my own teacup and I knives and forks and everything. So definitely this is forks. Oh, you need, you yeah, need them here. Forks, <laughs> absolutely. You can never find a fork in here. No. Um, so she's made this beautiful little bag out of um, the fabric. Um, and again, she she's made these lovely masks and everything. So you can get oh. patterns for those online really quite easily. So huge thanks to my lovely friend Anne for that, darling. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to show you uh, what we've been doing is um, I have made a little wrap um, for my journal here and what I thought I'd do is I started on the six o'clock show and we're going to actually make the whole of this journal okay so we're going to make all of these different pages throughout all the different shows um, from today all the way through tomorrow so we've already done our little bird and we've already done this one so I'm going to move on to doing some of the others as well so I will just show you 
um, what we did earlier and I've just finished these off because I made a lovely mistake under here with ah. my stamping so I thought I'd just stamp it cut it out and stick it on you know like you do with the butterfly if you go wrong <laughs> so um, I've just finished that one off and then we did the bird one as well so you can watch those on uh, catch up on rewind okay so um, how did I do this I'm not going to sew this um, on live TV because I'm not a sewer I can barely sew a straight line so what I did was I took a piece of uh, camphor fabric and I literally just thought right this is the the journal pages I'm going to be using and it needs to be able to fit loads and loads in here so that as I build up my journal um, I can actually fit it in. Also I can put lots of bits of paper and other stuff and then just wrap it up and take it with me. So the idea was uh, just cut out a piece of the camphor fabric and I've also got under here just a piece of scrap hessian type cotton yeah. that I had in my cupboard um, and then um, I just used the hessian first of all. I didn't uh, attach the camphor to it yet I just used the hessian I ironed all the bits of the the ribbon yeah. and then I actually just laid them on top one at a time and did a stitch down just to hold it and then I did the next one okay, okay and can I, I sorry down. can I interrupt yeah. you one second so apologies for that but the camphor on there and its own uh, that comes with the pattern the, the uh, blue option has now sold out so the only way to get it is with the bundle that has got also the silk ribbons uh, and the green is limited to stock so if those ones are your options now the only way to get them is with the bundle which has got also the ribbon uh, we still have got the red uh, and the, of course uh, the green uh, is limited to stock so if you want those to still you can get them on their own sorry about that that's um, okay. okay so all I've done is just sewn down the middle and then attach the next one which um, as you can see I've ironed so yeah. that it, it stretches out the uh, well doesn't stretch it but it just uh, flattens it so you've got a, a wider mm -hmm. area I've actually used a full packet of the blue ones um, so you can see that you get this many oops I've dropped one you get five balls okay yep. so I've used a whole packet of those to make this and then all I've done is I've just tucked it under attached it to the camphor I've actually made um, a little buttonhole here to put this long piece in so that all you do is just literally wrap it up this one comes through here oops like this Okay. And oh, the bells, yeah. as you can hear, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, I've literally that, just yeah. wrapped it round and put some thread round and then just put one stitch just to hold it. And then you can just um, put a nice big bow in here if you wanted to. And then I have got a little clip, there it is, that I've just stuck a couple of the lovely handmade um, adornments to it just to go on there like so oh, look at that. and then I can just take that with me and it just holds everything in it's not you know the journal itself isn't stitched yeah. in it's like a work in progress so um, so there we go so what I'm going to do now is um I'm going to start with another page for you. Okay. Well, you so, do that. Uh, can I tell everybody course. too if they have access to the website because now uh, there are queues on the phone. So if you have got access to hotchanda.com, that will be the fastest and easiest way to order. We are trying to get to you as soon as possible on the phone lines. Thank you. Sorry about that. Claire. That's okay. So I'll put my paint mat. You get a paint mat with um, any selection of your paints that you go with. I'm actually using. I've put together a selection of um, paint that will really sort of reflect um, that Indian sort of feel so I've got some nice beautiful colors so one of them is mulberry bush which is here then I've got some beautiful um, sargasso sea I think tiger lily which is this lovely orange I've got daffodil which is a bright yellow okay you yeah. know what I, they are limited to stock what the paints? The paints, yes. Oh, good grief. 
<laughs> uh, you Thank are getting you. all six. As soon as I saw these beautiful colors, I smiled. Uh, beautiful colors. If you want them, 15 pounds and 99 pence. That's the price. 666-118 is your item number. Sorry about that interruption, okay. but I think it's important to that people know that. Yeah, absolutely. So what I'm doing here is I've got some of the um, lovely cotton rag paper, and I'm just going to paint with water. I know you can't see this at the moment terribly well, but just bear with me because um, you'll see it shortly. And I'm just painting the area that I want the paint to go on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can I can see it, but um, just and bear with me. You're using the cotton rag. Does this um, absorb the water in a more, you know, kind of in a almost watercolor way? It does. Yeah, it works really beautifully. You can see how it just pulls it into the paper, and where I've wet it, that's where it will drag the paint beautifully. But it won't go over that area unless I I, I brush it. Okay. Okay. So then I'm just. I've added loads of water to this, so it's very, very pale, but it's gorgeous. Clean my brush. I'm just going to get the tiniest amount of Sargasso Sea, which is this beautiful oh, look at that. blue. Look at that. Gorgeous. And watch when it goes over the, that lovely mulberry bush colour. You get this beautiful yes. violet coming in. Mm. It's lovely, isn't it? It is. I just get the tiniest amount. It's not even a grain of rice that it's really tiny amount because it's very very pigment rich this paint so you don't need to use loads and then if you go over the top <gasps> you get this beautiful get orange yeah. as well <laughs> that's yeah. lovely isn't it so yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there and then when it goes over that Sargasso Sea that blue you get this gorgeous green and that's because we use really nice quality pigments you know, so there's no point skimping on pigments yep. because you don't get the beautiful, clear um, colours coming yeah. through. Well, they, they, you can see that even when you dilute them, they have got that true to colour. You know, you know what I mean. It's yeah, just like sometimes absolutely. when you dilute, if they become wishy-washy. These That's ones right. don't. Yeah. They still, they are lighter versions, but they still have got their, uh, how you call it, you know. Yeah, they hue. still have the, the pigments, yeah, yeah. yeah. That lovely, rich pigment colour there. Mm. So I've just got a few areas there which, when it's dry, you can leave it to dry and you can add more colour if you want it, if you want it stronger. So if I wanted more of that magenta coming through, oh, I've gone straight from the pot there and then that will actually mix with that blue and then when it's dry you end up with something oh, like this. Oh look at that. See? Isn't you, that just gorgeous? And that's, that's the beauty of yeah. good quality pigment. Yeah. Okay, so it, it does make a huge difference doesn't it? And that's why we have such a concentrated paint. Mm. There's no fillers in it, it's just loads of pigment and all good stuff, you know. Um, you, we don't have um, well, you know, the paints are, are now uh, uh, technically sold out. Now, we do have got more on extended delivery. You will, uh, they will be dispatched on the, uh, is it the 9th of October? Now, they come, of course, with that palette as well. £15.99 is the price. 6666118. It's still the same item number. It's just that we will have to wait a few more days for, uh, to receive them. Right. Uh, so, I am going to use... Um, some of the embossing powder um, so oh, yes first of all I'm actually going to do this lovely paisley here I love this um, as a nice key image and I'm just going to be using Versamark now initially you won't see much happening because I'm actually going to be doing white on white. So when I'm doing embossing, I get everything ready. I get my piece of paper to catch it with. I get my embossing pet powder with the lid off and, and then I'm ready to go. Okay, so stamp that on. It's lovely. Take that off. Powder on. And then catch that. Okay. So, there 
Okay. Yeah, you can see there. That, yeah. So there's the powdery uh, element in there. Um, we are there. there. There we are. Yeah, and you Perfect. can see it catches all that lovely detail as well. Absolutely. So then that goes back in the pot. Okay. Lovely. And then I'm going to heat that later. Now, I want to go onto here. Now, there's one thing you need to know about this cotton rag. It's absolutely stunning and it is a gorgeous texture. But that also means that when you're stamping on it, you need to do it in a, um, in a press. In a stamping platform. In a stamping yeah. platform. Which it doesn't matter what make you've got, yeah. but you need to do it in here because you're going to have to stamp a couple of times in order to get the um, the, the perfect, yeah, because yeah. That, that texture kind of is yeah. preventing at some points to stamp. So it is, yeah, is. especially with a great big stamp like this. Absolutely. So you need to be able to do it in a press maybe two or three times. Yeah. So use your Versamark. I, okay. I, personally, anyway, I use all the time a stamping platform because once you get used to it. I know, I do now. I do. <laughs> I so mean, it's, yeah. with this you need to use, I use the heel of my hand because then yeah. I get the pressure that you need because I, I, I don't have the strength in my fingers to do mm. that. So I do it once and then come back in like this mm -hmm. and then a and second course, time. If, uh, if you go for the, um, the complete collection, the, the big bundle, you yeah. get the, the concertina journal and yes, the stamps, you do. right? You get four concertina journals yeah. in there. Yes. Four of them, Tiana. Yeah. Okay. Could you join them together, all four? Oh, yes, I do. Oh. Yeah, well, that's what I would do with, with this one. Ah. That's what I was saying about the wrap. I would actually do this one, do another, and join them together. Perfect. Yeah. So either with ribbons yeah. or with ties. Now, normally you can actually see for yourself whether you've caught it, but I can't under these lights. So I'm just going to hope that, you know, I've got <laughs> it. I've got it on there. It, well, if it's going to go wrong, it can go it's, wrong. It's just we're going to be stunning. That's right. Yeah. And then it's, I'm going to go with the white yeah. over the top. Give it a flick. Ooh, that's good. That's yeah. beautiful. So you can see that Absolutely. that has taken there quite nicely. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is, um, before I heat it, you see, I'm going to do all of my embossing before I heat. Okay. So I want to do some down the sides here. So this is perfect. This is the collector's edition. And you've got two stamps on here. I snuck two stamps on. Normally you only get one with the collector's edition, but I just thought this looked really, really nice. Yeah, okay. So I think I'm going to go with this here. Okay. And this one here. Okay. And then this lovely sort of sprig of right. flowers. Yeah. Now, if you can't see where you've gone before, all you need to do yeah. is just put yourself some of the mm -hmm. detail powder on. Oops. And just pop that in there. Okay. And then like so. And then you can see see where you've gone before. Perfect. Just they are just so that. beautiful. I just think that combination of colour and the colours the are gorgeous, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. So I, I did think about making sure that we had, you know, some really beautiful colours for this, and it just shows you, mm. just gives you that feeling of warmth of being in India. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I've never been to India. I need to go, but <laughs> well, well, we have um, we have a sister company that. Um, that goes to India. Obviously, we've postponed all of our trips this mm. year, um, but you know, yeah, fingers yes, crossed. Fingers crossed, we'll be back doing it at the end of next year. So, me and Leonie are going in October. That's fabulous. And then we've got uh, we have various different um, people mm -hmm. going with us, celebrities or or you know artists. So here we go. I've just put a piece of paper here just where it finishes yeah. and here and I don't know whether you'll be able to see when I've actually heated this up but it's designed beautifully so that you can actually do a long border okay. with it 
So I'll show you that when, when we come to heat it. Okay, let me just, just in case you've nudged it with your finger or anything like that, just go over the whole area again. Give it a flick. See how fine that, yeah. that powder is. It's just fantastic. It's just really, really finely milled. So it's going to show up all those lovely thin lines as well. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do you know it, what? I have, I have to, I have to confess. Um, the thing that really got me into craft, um, this sort of craft, was I saw a demonstration at the NEC yeah. of someone embossing, and, and it just, it was just like magic. I still remember the first time I saw embossing powder. It was as a cat uh, chain in. Um, it's a uh, the cross, not, not the crossing, the um, the bridge and the Thames. Uh, I swear, near blue, uh, well, near. Um, oh, I don't know what it was. Kent in Kent somewhere. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. My my brain today is like in a fog, <laughs> kind of thing. Anyway, so um, anyway, and it was the same. Like I saw it in Boston, and it was like hooked. I know. I, it's just it's just magic, isn't it? It, it really is magic. What you like. Right, so you can see that really shines up beautifully and you can see how, I could have been a bit closer actually, I think if I'd been stamping with ink you could have seen um, it will join together beautifully. Yeah. So if I did that with a bit of ink you can see on this back piece, these, oh, look, at, look that. at that and then make sure you come up like so, look at that, oh, isn't look. that gorgeous? That's amazing. It's just beautiful is that lovely? look at that it's just really lovely there are so many um, pattern building ways that you can use this look at that and that it's is just, from the collector's edition that's it? just one of the stamps of the collector's edition that's number 45 it's this one here and of course that is included in the bigger bundle uh, uh, if you want them on their own they will be dispatched from the 8th of october and this is the one that of course number 45 that the one that uh, Kay was using uh, 11.97 uh, is the price for all three of them uh, 187 296 um, is your item number for them uh, for the uh, collector's editions on their own the details are now on the screen Okay, so this, you can go back in with your colours. Okay. So if I just take a smidgen of the Sargasso Sea. Now, when you get these, you'll see that they're really quite thick and almost, almost gel-like. That's because, obviously, we use a concentrate. So just add a tiny bit of water and you can see it really come to life. And then because I've used an embossing powder, it acts as a resist. So you don't have to be clever at painting. You yeah. just slap it on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, yeah. It's That's lovely, good. isn't it? Yep. And then I'm going to come in with magenta, that mulberry bush. So again, the tiny smell. In the pot, it looks so dark, doesn't it? No. But just add that bit of water and that colour really, really comes out. It's gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I l love I, that colour. I know, I, I tend to use this an awful lot. You know, it's just such a... I, see, I, I kind of... I, I am... I never wear pink, 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 but I love to craft. I, there's something about the sort of fuchsia pinks that is intense and is rich, and is yeah. then it goes with the cooler colors and it goes with the warmer to tones as well. Look at that when you add a little bit of yellow. Yeah, and you get that beautiful orange in the middle as well. And I've got some of this lovely Sargasso Sealer. So if I put it over the mulberry bush there, you can see that lovely violet coming oh, and I can yeah. just go over there and it just emphasizes that lovely violet and also what I've done is I've um, I've taken the words as well from the this one sunflower mandala oh, yeah. I've taken the words from there and I've just done those in in black 
Um, so I stamped it with a black ink pad and I put clear over the top. And then I can actually just, again, put a little bit of a wash on this, just making sure I catch those torn edges because at the torn edges, it will just soak up all of that lovely colour and give you a darker, distressed edge, which is fantastic. And then I'm just going to use... Not going to clean my brush. I'm just going to use that Sargasso C, that good. which comes out like a violet colour because I've I've had that in there. And, and then just wet my brush, a tiny, tiny, tiny touch of maybe the the orange. And then, yeah, ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, just with more water. I'm not putting any more paint on. Just with a bit of water, just to blend that, and you get. It's better than just putting a block colour on, you know, or stamp it onto just a, a plain sheet. It's going to match this page beautifully, isn't it? It is. It's just gorgeous. It's, and of course, you, because you are creating your own backgrounds with the paints, everything is going to coordinate. Absolutely. So what I've done is I've taken some of the beautiful sari silks and um, I've, I've straightened them out a bit by just throwing an iron on it. A little bit just so that they're wider pieces and I've just laid up a few let I've just torn the edges so that you're nice and I think that'll go down there quite nicely I think and then I think we'll have those there so okay let's just use a bit of glue on there for now okay so someone is going to, um, what we haven't said is that when we're packing all of the orders um, come Monday, I will wrap all of these up individually and just randomly give them to the girls to pop in the odd package so that you might just get, don't throw away a bit of tissue that's wrapped up because <laughs> it <laughs> might be one of the, well you might want to throw it away if you don't like it, but, but there you go. So. So that's a, another little page nearly done. I'm just going to finish off the edges just with a normal ballpoint pen, I think. Yeah, that's about the right colour. So I'm just going to put a little wiggly border mm -hmm. around here just to finish it off. You don't, you don't want it perfect because, you know, this, this cotton rag isn't perfect. It's got lovely wiggly edges. And you've got that beautiful bit of silk there. And then just... And do you do a double one? I do, yeah. I do two or three, okay. depending what I'm what Does I'm it help like. to kind of give the effect of randomness? Yes, it does. And it, it also um, encourages your eye to stay within the frame as well. Yeah. So... <laughs> Unless you are like uh, some people that, uh, like me, myself, uh, I, uh, you know, it's my, my producer is like my, myself as well. Uh, if you try to be random, you cannot be random. When you try to be neat, yeah, it's, no it's actually very hard to do that sometimes. But I always think just if you've got a shake, that's great. Yeah, yeah so that's a, another page finish. Quite simple, but really nice it's technique gorgeous. actually. I love yeah. that. Uh, and then, of course, if you want to make uh, that, uh, go for the Complete Collection because the Complete Collection brings you the uh, four of those concertina cotton rags. It brings you all the brand new stamps, of course. It brings you the Ace, Ace, uh, three A6, one A5, and of course, the three collector's editions. Now, look at those beautiful stamps, the Hemimark and Peony. We have got the Sunflower Mandala. We have got also the gorgeous, let me look at the bottom ones, the, other, the paisley background, and of course we have got the chrysanthemum as well. You have got all four of uh, these beautiful larger stamp sets. What they come to you is Indigo Blue. Now, maybe you are the first time that you are turning in and you never have heard of Indigo Blue. Well, it is a, an amazing company. It quintessentially English rubber stamps. And the rubber means that you do a lot of different techniques. There is almost virtually no ink pad that will not work onto red rubber. It's the one that you can put it into heat embossing elements. You can use it onto clay as well. 
you have got beautiful delicate and um, you know deeply edged images in here they are already cut and of course I cut into clean foam mounted now maybe you are saying well I actually love the stamps maybe I want to go for the uh, but I just want the a6 uh, rubber stamps well we have got those ones as well individual so the bottom you can see them there so there is uh there's two there's two at the bottom and one on the side so it's actually three of them 11.99 is the price for one of them then you choose the indian sunflower the chrysanthemum paisley or the paisley background now the one that you can see on you can see that the chrysanthemum paisley is the one that comes with the words and again the beautiful banner i absolutely I think this is one of my favorites because it means that you can do something like this if I put it there you can see it there we go look how gorgeous it is I just love that now 11.99 is the price remember it's an option of 070876 now you may want to go for the A5 stamp set the hummingbird and hummingbird uh, and peony now this stamp set features as well the beautiful peonies on the sides and those sentiments don't look down keep flying isn't that extraordinary think of the happiest thing if uh, okay, let, let me read it really properly think of the happiest things is the same as having wings peter pan oh of course of course and 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price for that stamp set a5 now if you were to write buy all of them individually, well, you would pay uh, eight pounds more uh, because if you want to go, go for the one day special, has got an eight pound saving from the bundle. Now you are getting all three A6 stamps as well as that beautiful A5 red rubber stamp set. Now you also have got the flexi buy option. Uh, you can spread the cost into interest free payments of 23 pounds and 98 pence also brand new and also by Janine are the collector's edition stamps now these ones are smaller in size but the beauty of this is that there is a lot of versatility due to their small size of stamps in here these ones come clean foam mounted but of course you trim them to the the size are close to it to the, the the area now you can see some of the ones that of course um, Kay has been using already in her demonstrations this one was the stamp and embossed and then color now they have been they were very busy in the previous hour they sold out now we are also very busy but they will be dispatched from the age of October now that is the restock 11 pounds and 97 pence is the price for all three of them one eight seven two nine six is your item number now we have got also a set of four cut and rug journals and this is the size of them you can see I mean I'm kind of well actually I know I'm gonna say I know that from there the tip of my finger and here so basically that's a meter Mm -hmm. So that's a meter of beautiful. No, uh, basically, I am a meter from here to here. So that's <laughs> I, I measure everything with my body. It's just, I don't know why. It's like, you know, my measurements. Good anyway, to know. Uh, Good to know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, nobody can fool me. Uh, uh, right. So we have that. So you can see it here. So you have got the one meter of beautiful cotton rag. Concerting at 15 by 15 in there. Uh, 183390 is your item number. Now, it will be dispatched from the 7th of October because it did sell out earlier. Now, if you want the concertina, four of them, you want, the, the, you want of course, the gorgeous collector's editions. If you want the three set of three A, uh, A6 stand sets and the one A5, it's kind of confused with the numbers, but yeah, one A5, three A, A6. Now, if you want the whole collection, you can have it. Now, that complete collection has an additional seven pounds saving, which means that the whole sa saving is 15 pounds. It is beautiful, it's delicate, it, everything works together. And so it means that it works out at 63 pounds and 90, uh, uh, seven pence is it 92 pence oh I was being charging extra pennies there all right if you want it uh, you can have them um, and remember there is a beautiful beautiful coordinating sounds with that taste of India's tone of the whole uh, element you can flex it by it as well nine nine zero six seven six is your item number and that is for the complete collection that includes of course the one day special right fabrics are glorious from India they I have got this special nature. I was reading about the camphor um, kind of hiding behind the elephants. 
<laughs> anyway, but I was lucky, and it was, it was really nice to have uh, the elephants out of cancer because elephants are bringing luck as well. But the cancer is, I, I was reading that it also brings, um, they kind of have a, a luck, something like that. They used it for the temples to write, so it was because it was all pieces of beautiful fabrics that they had brought that beautiful elements from their memories and good stuff, good, you know. And yeah, it was even really interesting. And I think that makes, anyway, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh, those like, elephants, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Sue Ralph has actually made these and they are just delightful, really are. I don't know how she managed it because she's just been made a grandma, so um, I just think they oh. are absolutely beautiful. Um, I just want to keep them. Um, yeah, they're absolutely they're gorgeous. And love I them love to bits. how they have used, can, you know, uh, the one day special, well, the collector's editions, uh, that's the eyes, isn't it? It is. It is. Is they're be and they're beautifully coloured. Look, and our paints are obviously um, fabric paints as well, true fabric paints. So you can actually use them to stamp and to colour images, and they are fabric safe because um, once they're cured, which um, you don't have to iron them, you can do if you want, but they cure naturally over time. Um, you can actually wash them at 30 degrees, so they work beautifully. I love them as the eyes actually. The, I, I yeah. just think it is, and it is incredible. It's a very clever way but this is the thing about the one day special and products like the cancer uh, fabrics because they coordinate they give you that taste of India that I think is such a refreshing and at the same time there is I always think India has got color and texture and you know vibrancy, vibrancy and yes absolutely and yeah really and you have show. yeah and you have captured that so what well. now here you have got three different options the green the blue and the red now now the the cancer on its own has sold out but of course it is still available in this bundle which means that you have got also the silk ribbon as well as the embellish the adorable adornments now the green is also very busy in this option and so blue is half the stock and the green is also very popular it's one of the options that is very very popular as well and you have I love how it's a patchwork of fabrics block printed and then kind of sewn together and kind of that I love how they have been kind of bounded together now I be I believe that once it's gone, it's gone. So absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Right. Yep. Yeah, so. I'm sorry about that, but we can't get anything else um, from India at the moment. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, it's going to be quite a while before we, we get anything else back. And I was thinking these, I think, I know, I was thinking, a cushion, like I was going through all, all stuff that I kind of received lately, and I kind of have my cushion covers that they were done exactly like this from India. Oh, wow. And this is something that is just, is cushion covers, think about it. You could make a couple of them with oh, these yes. ones. Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? And uh, the girls have made some gorgeous um, little bags, makeup bags. I have to draw your attention behind me to yeah. the um, bunting, which is absolutely gorgeous. So look how um, Kerry is actually, I I think it's Kerry that's done this, made this beautiful bunting and of course with it being double sided um, you don't need to line it at all and it's, it's just absolutely beautiful. It I'd is. love that in my room actually, yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, £29 pounds go and £99 pounds is the price and of course there is even more here, more samples. Look at those. Uh, you know, our producer is trying just like, oh, she wants that bunting. She really does bunting. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful fabric. Imagine a makeup bag. Imagine a craft bag and this. Now remember that you have got the option to go for the, the bundle that has got the silk ribbon or you can go with the cancer on its own with the free patterns. Those ones are included as well in the bigger bundle. However, on the on the, on the uh, cancer on its own, the green has now sold out. Now uh, that means that we only have got the red on its own, which is now extremely limited. You know what I would do if I were you? If you like the red, I would go for the red on its own and then go for the green or the blue, whichever one is your preference, with the bigger bundle. That way you are getting a little bit of taste of everything that uh, <laughs> yeah. EK has uh, put together for you. £16.50 is the price for the Canther Fabric on its own. Not with adornments, not with the resale ribbon. That's another item number. 167931 is your item number. And now with that, I need to tell you... To 
to check out your baskets because all the stock has been allocated in people's baskets. If you have it, you can check out and you still get it. If not, what happens is the basket will uh, refresh every 10 minutes and you might miss out uh, because we are going to head back to K to watch the demonstration. And you know what happens? We watch the demonstrations and we forget to check out the baskets. And of course, that means we miss out. So what I'm going to do for you uh, very quickly, I'm going to show you how wonderful these little stamps are. So there's a lot of pattern building you can do in this. So as I showed you with this lovely one um, from the collector's edition, I'm just going to use all the collector's editions at the moment. So this is number 45. And um, I was just going to show you in some coloured ink how it's really easy. Now, if you have a look at the stamp I just make sure that the edge where you're going to join up is cut really close so I know exactly where it's going to go so I need it to go round about here would be nice onto that and then you've got a really nice border there okay so the next thing I want to show you is a really simple border with this and it's got a flat bottom so it's nice yep. and easy to actually yeah. line up. It makes a difference doesn't it to line up when it you know it, it does. It helps. And you see this builds up really easily. I'm, I'm in a bit of a rush because I know that um, we've only got a few minutes left but yep. I just want to show you a few pattern building ones that you can pattern build with rubber stamps very very easily and this makes a beautiful beautiful border look at that, that so then let me show you another using this stamp here this is from number 45 so and you can use two two lots of color as well I do that quite often so I think what should we do with this one? Okay, let's oh, go look at that. with this. Let me just wipe my thumb because that's a typical thing that I'm always doing. Point to point on there. I love and that. And then fill in that bit. And Isn't that gorgeous? Using and just using two colours. Oh, by the way, I'm using Versafine Claire, yeah. uh, Warm Three. Breeze and Charming, Charming Pink. Pink. Yeah. I recognise those two colours. Yeah. They're two of my favourites as well. And I'm so pleased that Hachanda have got those in stock now yeah. So um, because I, I love them. Yeah. And then I'm going to use this little one here. We have got seconds to go. Oh, OK. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there for you to actually carry on playing with this. But there are loads of things to do. I just want to say them. thank you so much again to the DT and all the people who have um, supported us. And I will be back on in the morning at yeah, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock and 12 and 4 o'clock. And that is if it stocks last. Which reminds me to, ch to remind you to check out those baskets because that's the only way to get those gorgeous products from Indigo Blue. It's been a pleasure as always. Thank Kay. you so much. I thank enjoyed you. this show so much. Thank you so much for bringing all these beautiful products and those demonstrations as well. Uh, now stay tuned after the ocean break. Uh, is welcome to the weekend with me, just me. So keep me company. Uh, welcome to the weekend is after the break. Then at 10, Indigo Blue, one day special, a repeat of this show. And then 11, the Pargamano show. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda.
Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels, then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Welcome to the weekend! Uh, that was a high-pitched voice, wasn't it? Well, uh, you know, if you're still there, thank you. Uh, now, of course, welcome to the weekend. What it is? Well, if you're just tuning in, it's a fabulous uh, show because what we do is a preview of the One Day Specials coming up. Uh, not only One Day Specials, we kind of have a little sneaky peek of beautiful shows coming up chocolate need I say more uh, so stay tuned because it's really good and we give you the opportunity to buy those one day special or those uh, products ahead of a schedule but at the price that is gonna be on the one day special so you know what maybe you have got plans for the weekend maybe you are gonna be busy with the family or something like that immediate family not large families gatherings please um, but anyway if you have got that plans you can uh, now purchase the one day special for tomorrow or the one for Sunday and then just enjoy just enjoy the weekend and then watch it on real wind now the first and also we have got also happy hours during this show so win-win now the only thing that is missing here 
is a drink. I know the welcome to the weekend, but you can have that drink. I don't need to do it. I don't need to. to. Well, also, other thing that is missing here is the two other options that the one day special for tomorrow you are going to have. Um, yeah, I kind of think that I saw this and I was happy. Rainbows made me happy. And I know many of you mix, you know, mix, bring some joy, some vibrancy. Now, vibrancy is the, of course, the theme of the bride's uh, bundle or the bride's uh, option. And you can see in here how it is beautiful. Now, you are either going for the brides, the darks, or the lights. One of the things that is very fashionable now in not only in decorations for obviously in everywhere like the rainbows, but also in quilts, quilts that are rainbow. Now here you are getting plain dye polyester cotton bundle. Now polyester cotton is a one of kind of things that some people will prefer it because it gives it that more durability. Cotton means that it kind of has that breathability, but of course if you have not polyester, it means that it's going to be more durable. So, of course, rainbow, durable, you are thinking, well, perfect for projects that are actually for uh, children, for instance. So if you want that, this would be fabulous. And now, uh, to, uh, look at that. Now you have got, of course, it's from a Fabric Freedom, and you are getting one meter by 44 inches wide of, of each. No, no, that's, yeah, you're getting 10 of them. That's so that is absolutely phenomenal. You are getting 10 pounds. So that's two pounds. No, that, that cannot be. Really? Wow, that's really good. Now, yeah, 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 of course it is. Yeah, that's really, two pounds 79 pay per meter. Now, of course, you're saving 10 pounds, and as I mentioned, it's not 100% cotton, but it means that it's very, very, very durable. Now, I believe it's also exclusive to her chanda, and can I say, sometimes when you put, you see a bundle of colors are beautiful, but the colors are a little bit kind of, how can I say, put together in a way that is not, the vibrancy of one color doesn't show through the vibrancy of the other colors. Here, the intensity and the vibrantness uh, of vibrancy of all the, the reds, the oranges, it holds it. You can see that you still have got a lighter green, but it's a zesty green. It has this full of joy and you know what? We are missing summer already, and this brings that to life. Of course, it is the bride's collection. You have got the darks option or the lights option as well. Twenty-seven pounds and ninety-nine pence for ten pieces of one meter by forty-four inches wide fabric. That is phenomenal. Seven five nine eight four eight. And remember, with that polyester content, means that you can make something a little bit more durable, hard wearing, perfect for a play mat, for instance. Something for the children's bedroom would be absolutely ideal. Now we have mentioned the light option. We have got a picture of that that you can see there. And you can see the beautiful soft pastels that you can get. Again, you're going to get 10 pieces of one meter, uh, but basically are 120, uh, 112 centimeters by 44 inches. And then finally, we have got that dark option, those neutral colors in there, those depth of winter. Uh, perfect if you want to do some, maybe something a little bit more muted, more dark, a little bit more in, in theme. With with the winter months that we are heading towards. 759-848 is the item number. And remember, that is the one-day special that is going to be launched tomorrow at 6 o'clock. It's from Fabric Freedom. Do tune in at 6 o'clock for that one. And But you can get it now, uh, and then you can relax the weekend in case you miss it. Of course, Saturday at 6 p.m. sometimes is a busy time. Now, we have got here uh, from Colorific some stamps. Now, I did mention that we have got some happy hour deals, and I believe this one is one of those ones that has got a really amazing price in here. Now, 10.99 is the price, and remember that three, pa three uh, pounds saving, that is only for this hour. Can I say how much I like this alphabet? It has got something very, very classy. Now, this is Welcome Home, and I'm going to show it. It's photopolymer stamps, and you can see that the alphabet is in one single uh, stamp. Now, you can cut it with uh, scissors. Uh, you know, a nice pair, a sharp pair of scissors will give you, and you can do individuals. However, now, 
I would, um, you know, I would, unless I want to spell a word specifically, I would keep them like this until I need to, to use that word. Why? Well, two re different reasons. The first one is perfect for backgrounds. You can use them as a strip of, le of letters as well, giving that you that L effect, that layering building. And then also, whenever I need to spell a word, I can just cut them and then reuse them and reuse them. And it will be very easy because you can see that they have been very well spaced. Also means that it's easy to store at the time. You have got that gorgeous tree as well, the gorgeous strength of the tree. I love the triangle as well there. Why? Because you can create bunting. That can be the bunting and then you can put the letters inside of the triangle. And then you can spell, for instance, happy, happy new home, Kim. You could spell that if you wanted to. Or maybe kind of keep up the good work in, in the new home. Yes, go on. Or here it is a maybe, um, you know, a new boiler. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, that could be as well. It's an inside job, but also it could be because, you know, anyway, uh, I'm, I'm allowed to tell you. Uh, our came bought a house recently, a beautiful house, and she is, it was in a bit of a state, and she is kind of rediscovering her joy of DIY and the joys of discovering things that shouldn't be there. Hmm like nests of things that you shouldn't be in a house anyway anyway uh, moving on from that you could create a much happier sort of feel with this car kind of beautiful stands with a beautiful tree and it's like sunshine outside and bunting inside three to four one one seven is your item number ten pounds and ninety nine pence is a price three pounds saving now that is a happy hour deal which means that the, the price will go up at the end of the hour also from col uh, colorific we have got here also clear photopolymer stamps i really like these ones uh you know why because i think there is something with flowers that no matter how many flower stamps you have got you always have got a space for one more set or two or three or maybe in my case a hundred a few hundreds uh the reason is because i see this flower and i am just I love it. I love these lines. I love the sharpness. I love the little dots in there. I love how you are getting solids and outlines. It means, for instance, especially the solids. If you have got maybe the solid pigment ink pads like the Versifying Clair and the Brilliance, you stamp with them, gives you that beautiful color, and then with the outline, maybe into a deep, uh, deep dark gray or rich black over it, or even a you know a chocolatey brown chocolate we have got chocolate for you later on not for me but you know for you you can purchase anyway moving on from that very so uh, sour conversation i'll explain you why in a second uh you can see in here the gorgeous stamps another thing i love about this stamp set is a fan well first of all they are made in the uk so that's brilliant but i have never seen uh stamps that they cut clear stamps so that is that they come in a laminated um you know index card usually you see that onto like the indigo blue stamps that they are red rubber clean foam mounted but these ones are also attached to the laminated page and so that means that you have got a perfect storage uh, element so you're ready to go and you have got the perfect indication of what is in the front so you can see the and then also the stamps on the back a real size so why is so important well do you ever miss a stamp and you think i'm pretty sure i'm missing some but i'm not sure which stamp it was it well now that way you know exactly what it is and what size it is Twelve pounds and nineteen ninety-eight pence is the price for both of them. You are saving three pounds. Uh, three zero eight uh, five two four is your item number. Now stamps need paper to stamp on, so we have got some of that for you. Now this uh, this actually we don't have a massive amount of the stock, so I will jump ahead and check out those baskets for you. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence, and you're getting a hundred sheets in total. Now what it is, it is paper, but it is double-sided. So if I put it here, you can see that it has got a nice size in here. Now you have got 10 sheets per pack. So that means that you have got 10, uh, so you are getting t uh, 100, right? That's my math, yes. Uh, and then you are getting, so you are getting two different sizes for each pa paper. So you are getting actual, in actual fact, uh, 20 different patterns, right? Because you are getting 10 packs. 
So, and you're getting each one of those two. So let's show the other say, little pattern. I don't even know what it's like. And then you can see the cow, the pattern on the front. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that was, well, they did, they, they did say, well, you can be Paula this time. And it's like, oh, and once they're gone, they're gone and they're flying out. So therefore, you know what? They're literally flying out of the sand. Okay, you stay there. And it is a lovely peach, a rich peach color in there. And the peach is, you know what? I, it's, a, it's a really lovely color. If you like, if you are, Many of us and many people are afraid of orange because it's a very strong color and it's kind of quite sharp. Um, now, if you wanted to go, if, but you want to get kind of thinking, well, I like to go for the full rainbow. Peach is a lovely color to go for because it is gentle. Now, this is, of course, paper, so it has got, I would say this is about a hundred and... 30, 140 GSM. So it's a good quality paper. Uh, some of them feel a little bit thicker. So this feels more about 180, 190. That's the ballpark, unless it says here. Let me just double check. No, it doesn't say, but definitely this is more of a proper wobble. But you can see how many patterns you are getting. And I am not, I'm now, look at that. Now, very pop out so let's fit it here but also if you have got sentiments or flower stamps oh let's look for instance if you can you see if it's a stamp you could stamp it in here into black and then you can stamp the flowers can you see the flowers in here so you could do that onto those uh, bubbles uh, there 30% of the stock has already gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. Remember, it's also a happy hour deal, which means that the price will go up. And, uh, and this one is going to be, well, if there is any stock, it's going to be $49.99, if there is any stock. So therefore, if, you know, just make sure that you check out your baskets. Now, then we are going to go and there. We have got all of them. Can you see how gorgeous all of them? Let's put that one in because that way you can see all of these ones. Can you see how many? Now, um, no, yeah, just kind of look at them. So this is like 20 different pa patterns that you are getting. You are getting 10 of, well, so you are getting basically five of each, but obviously they are double-sided. All uh, right, 100 sheets in total for 12 pounds and 99 pence, which works out that you're paying 12 pounds, 12 p per uh, sheet. Uh, 655212 is your item number. Let's move on to uh and their ribbons i do love these ribbons they're really really lovely ribbons i concur to with my uh, producer lovely producer because she's like oh they're really lovely it's like yes uh christmas time um uh, i don't know uh, if I don't know about you, but I think ribbon is about quality, like the silk ribbons that the one day special that Kay had. Uh, the, imagine that the silk, the roughness, edges, and then you have put on top. Imagine wrapping your Christmas presents in beautiful fabric, and then there's a wrapping around those presents. Now you are getting 24 rolls. You are getting two of each design, and you are getting in each of them two meters. So that means that it's 48 uh, ribbons. Uh, meters of ribbon for 13 pounds and 99 pence look at the no peaking let's let's put that one. Oh, look at that oh, I love them this one no peaking oh I love that did you ever do that you kind of peeking on through the presents and looking for Santa uh, apparently my pro lovely producer used to pretend that she sleep uh, sleep um, walking into the lounge and kind of had to look it's funny, I, my mom, I don't remember a time when I didn't, you know, like, you know, what, it's like, well, anyway, I cannot say, just in case somebody's watching. Um, but um, it's super, yeah, well, it's super exciting, except this year. I'm just still a little bit bitter about the fact that, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> I think, uh, well, I'm mean, just because, I'm going to explain it, I'm not bitter. I'm just like kind of, because of obviously my family, all my family is in Spain. 
I will spend, and I have to work on Boxing Day, which I'm fine about. Uh, that means that I'm going to spend Christmas probably at my producer's house because she's, she has invited me. <laughs> Otherwise, it was going to be just wasabi and me in my, in my house. Uh, and maybe Patchy will come as well, the neighbor's cat. Anyway, moving on from that uh, you know, conversation, uh, we have got the ha 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 as well be here in here. £13.99 is the, uh, the price for 48 meters of beautiful ribbon. 481196 is your item number. I don't, don't I mean, I, I'm looking forward to Christmas actually. I'm really, I am. Really am. It's going to be fun with, uh, anyway. Uh, Tyrion Magic is, uh, well, it's a marvelous product that stiffens and stabilizes your fabric. So you spray it. So what you do, you're not getting the spray with this one, but you're getting uh, 128 fluid ounces. How much is that in two liters? Uh, if something was good in maths, not me, uh, that is, uh, you would work out because that feels like about, I don't know, three letters, I would say. Yeah, I think it's. Oh, wow. 3.8. Z, uh, 80, uh, yeah, 3.8 liters. Did I say three? I mean, I said three. I mean, if I had said four, I would have been even closer. But anyway, uh, now you are getting a massive amount of this spray. So what I would do is I would decant it into a spray, an empty spritzer bo bottle, because I love to decant. It just makes it a lot of easy. And you can see now, this reminds me of my late grandmother. She it was an amazing crafter, and she was the one who started me crafting, as well as my dad. The, the, he, she was my, my dad's mom. And one of the things she did, and the thing that she did the most, and I remember, is she did a fabric of flowers. And this is the sort of fa the product that she would use into those organzas, those beautiful soft fabrics, silks as well. So she will spritz them onto them, and then she would work with them. And then once they dry, they keep that shade. It becomes, it's perfect for hands. It's perfect for any decoration. But also, it means that, can you read that? You know, it's cutting. Now that means that you can use them for, uh, you know, dye. so if you have got your quilting fabric, you spritz it all, you let it dry, and it becomes like paper, so you can dye cut using the standard dyes. Obviously not too intricate because the nature of the woven fabric would spray, you would fray a little bit. Now, yeah, uh, so this, you will be able to die cut it. Not only, let me, let me show you, show you here. Indeed, you can use it with your Cricut or your Silhouette because you can have it here, electronic cutting machines. Now, that what it does, uh, obviously some machines nowadays, especially the Silhouette, are, because I own, I own the Silhouette, and it has got the rotary uh, cutter, so you don't necessarily need to stabilize it, but many of them, maybe you have a previous version, maybe you don't have the rotary. This this sort of product will help. Also, 10% uh, of the stock has already gone. If you want it, uh, you know, you can have it. Remember, it's uh, an amazing product. And you are, well, it's better than half price. It's a happy hour deal. You are saving 37 pounds and one pen. You just pay 34.99, five to seven to three one nine. It's something that people who do their, the hats, what, what is it called, the person that makes hats? I know the word, but I cannot think. A millionaire, millionaire. Milena, oh, my hat is what I am, but you know, oh, no, no, Milena, that's the word I was looking. Thank you, Marcus. All right, uh, we have got, can I say one thing? Can we say, yes, can we say a big, big to uh, Ben, our Ben, because he, uh, you know, good Ben. Uh, he looks, he's, he's our Benjamin Button of uh, the Hotel. He, you know, he looks like five years old and, you know. Anyway, so he has created this amazing pack shot and it shows you the beautiful, the glistening, uh, glistening and beautiful papers in here. Now, you're getting glitter felt as well here. And you can see this is glitter felt. It is fine enough that if you have got a, a mixed media dye, it will die cut it. If you have got open shapes, uh, you will be able to cut it. Yes, it is a felt. Let me show you. It is felt. Look at that. Look at that. Now, imagine a bow. I mean, I have to say, I love red, in case you haven't noticed. I love red and black, but yeah, I do. I know, shocking news, breaking news here. But, yeah, but I'm also gonna love that, you know, I also love 
those beautiful sparkle. But not necessarily I like the messiness of glitter. Sometimes you just cannot be bothered with the messiness. You want the richness, you want the light reflecting power, but you don't. Now, having felt already glitter, it's quite a special. It's not that often that you see it. And also, I'm gonna think about it. If you wanted to do glitter, maybe both, maybe you want to make Christmas ornaments for the tree. You know, something that you can bring and year after year. What about doing this? Now, you could, oh no, no bubble, you can do it with a light inside it as well. Now you can cut out bits. Now if you have got those thicker dies, you know, you know the steel rule dies, you definitely can cut them. If you have got the mixed media dies, this definitely will cut it. Now if you have got the open, so for instance a circle die that has got the blade, especially if it, the blade is right on the inside, that will cut through them as well because they are quite fine in there. Obviously it will depend on your die cutting machine, but I know I have personally used it and it works really well. Uh, pounds and 99 pence is the price but that's not all you are getting you are getting the glitter felt you are getting the traditional felt as well it's polyester which means that if you are vegan you can use it but also it means that it will let cut beautifully with those bigger open shapes you also are getting the tinsel jar can I open it because I want to show you what it is I just want to show you it's a proper tinsel now now, if you want to knit a uh, knit with it, uh, you need an eight millimeter needle. Uh, now you can see over here, 40 meters E. Uh, there is, a, uh, so it says it's 50 grams that you are getting, eight millimeters. Uh, and of course, it, unless you're USA based, in which case it's 11 size. Uh, now, the other thing I'm thinking, I mean, I can now sew, but I cannot knit, but, pom-poms also I'm thinking ear no no I'm thinking uh, bunting for Christmas can you imagine with the beautiful glitter felt you cut it into triangles and then you hang it up in here you know like this is the river like you know the cord instead of cord you're using the yarn they're laughing at me but I'm sure that you are at home it's like you know also I'm thinking that if you have got like a cone so if you have got a polyester cone you can wrap it all around it and suddenly it becomes a Christmas tree you know what I mean so imagine yeah like this wrapping Christmas presents that makes more sense that is more you know not less, less. but you can see in here like how gorgeous that look like little Christmas tree no, nobody's buying that. Uh, you know, my idea. Uh, that's what they are saying. Oh, in my ears, it's like, no, you know, Paula, no, your idea. Uh, one, two, six is eight, not two, eight is your item number. Uh, now, 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Right, moving on. Anyway, we have got the needles uh, here. Now, we have got a collection. Now, we, when we look at them, it's funny because uh, I was quite excited to see this, one, this bundle. Why? I'll tell you why. Because, um, you know, when we have got Kath, um, Katrina from Rowan Day, when we have got, uh, yesterday we had the gorgeous um, Gina B uh, from Gina B Designs, uh, you know, they, they always talk about using the right needles for the right uh, sort of technique. And this is what you need. So something that for 9 99 you have got chenille needles. Now, this is what um, I believe... Um, um, Katrina uses mostly and that has got a sharp needle but it has got a large uh, eye at the top so that means for embroidery now this also this kit in total is over a hundred needles in total now these ones are quilting needles so you have got size 5 and 9 so these ones are 27 to 33 millimeters so you have got different sizes in here then you have got the sharp needles as well in there for sewing but then you have got tapestry needles now these ones you can see them here that you have got a blunter end and then you have got that um, large eye at the top so that's the difference between a chenille needle that is still both of them have got very large eyes so you can put a lot of different threads through it including of course the beautiful silk and rayon threads but the chenille is actually quite sharp 
I believe that's the rule, yeah, because it looks very short. And the tapestry is not because it doesn't, it goes through more either sorts of fabrics or hessians. So therefore you don't need to pierce through woven fabric, but you go through the holes that the, the, the fabric has already got. And then we have got, of course, in here, um, these ones are the pearl beading needles. So what it is, is extremely fine, fine needles. Can you see it? If I put them beside these ones, you can see how they are finer. I mean, it's hard to see it, but trust me, they are much finer. And what it means is they can go through the eye, for instance, of a seed bead um, with ease. So that way, if you'd like a little bit of weeding, they are phenomenal. You have got more of the sharp needles. Uh, these ones are size 5 uh, to um, 9. And then uh, you have got the leather needles, of course, extra, very strong, so very durable, that go through the leather, natural leather. By the way, we do still have got some leather as well. And then we have got the quilting needle size three to seven. So we have got a different sizes in here. So you can see that. You have same in 12 pounds. They are from Archer. 9830058 is your item number. Uh, now, um, we have, uh, it's my thingy it went a little bit funny. Uh, we have got leather, the leather that I mentioned that we had uh, is from Goodland. Uh, you have got leather swatches, so you assorted colors. You are going to get 12 pieces in total, six by six, six by six pieces uh, in there. Then you have got uh, 16 pounds and 99 pence, saving three, 33 pounds. Uh, one six two seven six six is your item number. Now, shall we preview some? shows in the weekend i mean i'm not better at all that i'm not doing the show no i mean i'm not talking to Giannis forever because he's doing the show now jane oh jane has said oh jane i adore you thank you so much she's like well we need to see paula to eating these chocolates to know the quality am i allowed no i don't think I'm. <laughs> no i'm not Anyway, uh, they are lovingly handmade in Great Britain and look at them. I have to say, I adore chocolate. I have been to many, many, many uh, chocolate shops in, well, I would say in, um, well, I have been into a couple of continents um, and even North America. I have been many in there and in the Europe and in, even in Japan. Never seen such a pretty and Kind of a delightful, beautiful chocolates. And look at the price. Eleven ninety nine for lovingly handmade chocolates. It's it it is actually quite special. Now they are using both Belgian chocolate for them. They they are based in Somerset to produce these amazing chocolates. Look at the different options you have got there. The sewing, the knitting and the stationery. That that you're seeing of course is the sewing option in there. With the needles, look at that. This is the ruler. Isn't that just delightful? Now in as well they have been designed by the team. Flo and Care have made these ones, and you can see them here. It's 180 grams that you have got in each. Uh, look, let's look at the knitting one because look at that. <sighs> this is, you know, when it's, you know, like torture that you are holding chocolate and you are not allowed to eat it. You're not even allowed to, like, I'm not allowed to buy it right now because I want to eat it right now. Uh, oh, by the way, the Facebook Live, uh, if you are wa watching, uh, hello, thank you for joining me. Now, can I say, what is your favorite uh, chocolate? What would be? Um, truffle, maybe could it be maybe truffles, maybe dark chocolate, maybe milk chocolate, maybe white chocolate. These ones, of course, are milk chocolate or white chocolate. Our Katie, which we are very happy that she's back. Uh, now, which one is your favorite, Katie? The cho white chocolate, milk chocolate? Milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. Well, she, we can have the needle, the knitting needle there. Unfortunately, she cannot have it. Not at least in this show. Hopefully tomorrow we will be allowed to. But I love, I lo look at that. Look at that. Look at the texture of it. Look at that. It's chocolate yarn balls. It is yarn balls, yeah. Now, it's a lovely gift. 11 for 99 You know what I would be tempted to do? Is get all three of them. You know, nobody's watching now. It's, it's like, Van, uh, can you 
talk, you know, uh, talk to Katie while, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Katie needs your help. Uh, anyway, and just walk through. No, that's, the exit is that way, not this way. Anyway, uh, but you can buy all three of them and there is going to be more. Uh, do you tune in on Saturday at 2 p.m. with Yanis? Yeah. Not better that he's doing the show. Uh, 781-485. You know what, a little thing? You know, I thought he was vegan, but he's like, well, I'm going to eat some milk chocolate on Saturday. Mm. Mm. Be you know what? Leone wouldn't do that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I love Yanni, so don't worry. I just totally adore Yanni. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's just even if it's a co Anyway, let's move on from that. Uh, then we have got Celebrate uh, Harfeld collection. Uh, now, this is beautiful papers, fussy cut as he is, uh, white uh, cards, and a stencil and chipboard embell embellishments. This is a brand new company here to, to us, to Ha And it will be on Sunday. Uh, so it's on Sunday at 7, all the way from South Africa. Mm. South Africa. Uh, yeah, I, I love, you know, my, one of my friends lives in South Africa. Oh, actually, you know, now we have got a couple of friends living there. Uh, I think they are not them traveling because there are, my friend informs me that the airports are closed, but they are, of course, the papers are being sent, and of course you will have the beautiful look at that. I adore this. I adore the quality of these papers. Is really, and this is going to be the launch at Sunday at 7 p.m. with L Lauren. Is it Aaron? Uh, okay, Oren. Aaron. Ah, oh, well, I cannot pronounce the name. So let's. I. I. Just, sorry. Just sorry. Just, um. I oh, love that paper. That's so cool. That is a good paper. Now that, if it reminds them that this stencil comes in like this, so it does not quite, it's not the same pattern, but it matches the style. Now I'm well impressed, I'm really impressed, I have to say, with the quality, the quality of this paper. It's 240 some. it's not paper. That's car stock, actually. Uh, I love this. Slow down and enjoy your life. Yeah. Good times are made even better when they are shared with you. Pure happiness, miracle, memory, stresses of yesterday. We age not by years, but by stories. Oh, look, one loyal friend is worth more than a thousand fake ones. Indeed. There is no greater power on this earth than your own story. How lucky I am to uh, having something that makes saying goodbye so hard. I like the sentiments, uh, isn't it? There is so many, uh, so many beautiful papers. I haven't shown all of them. You have got uh, the doily, fussy cut doily sheet is, and I'm going to show you exactly what it is. So it's basically, for instance, that. That is a doily sheet that then you can fussy cut it. So you can see the black line so that if you follow the line, you can have a doily. However, uh, you know, you can leave it as it is. You are getting also the beautiful, uh, you know, uh, wooden elements. Is They are chipboard, but they have got that kind of, it's almost like that white chipboard that I absolutely adore because you can ink it, you can bring a lot of different things, embossing paste as well. Uh, they are really, really gorgeous. And look at the sentiment. I'm so thankful for you. I am indeed. And then you have got the embellishment pack as well, so you have got the gorgeous ribbons in here you have got the stickers the epoxy stickers not just the stickers epoxy stickers which have got that glossy domey effect in here ready to stick into your project you have got pearl embellishments metal embellishments that infinity figure figure feet figure feet i not going to pronounce it figure 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 right Fig figure of eight the figure of eight is an in infinity sign as well because it has not an end not a beginning or an, an end 
and that is yeah, actually infinity. Anyway, and we have got here the chain. They are laughing at me. I, Paula, providing the laughs at me, laughing at me. And then we have got the pros in here. Uh, six uh, five two nine eight one is your item number. And Sunday at seven p.m. with an amazing uh, per person whose name I cannot pronounce, so I will not pronounce. Erin, 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 Erin. No, I cannot. Yeah, well, the name is going to appear there because oh, I just cannot pronounce Erin. Yeah, I know. I should be able to pronounce it. I know the name, but um, anyway, uh, 34 pounds and 19 pence. Apparently, her la last name is something else. <laughs> we are doing great, aren't we? Uh, the products are amazing. Now, it's just the proper name is going to appear, but you will have that gorgeous. I absolutely adore it. Anyway, it's going to be a fabulous, a fabulous hour because it, it's Erin Britain. Britain? Britain? Britain. <laughs> Britain. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, it's just my inability to pronounce things properly sometimes like today my brain my my mouth is disengaged from my brain so my brain is fine it's well <laughs> not really <laughs> it's my mouth that cannot you know pronounce everything as you should be um, but uh, at least I'm making my lovely producer to laugh so that's in, that's important 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price for the wreath in here somebody's laughing having a good laugh at me uh, it's the only time that I can use the prepositions well is when I said people are laughing at me not with me that's the only time that you'll hear me my use of prepositions English prepositions in correct way right um, right here we have got the ragged life Christmas wreath project a pack now in here we have got the Hessian we have got a template as well of that foam core as well and then we have got the instructions as well <laughs> our lovely producer is having a um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry yeah this is the project pack now you are getting the elements and now you are getting the hessian that is already pre-printed so now you can put it straight away in here and then you kind of just sew it here now it's very interesting because it has been already pre-stitched and here I look at, if i put it like this does it look like a eyes and a mouth anybody seeing a creature <laughs> it's like two eyes and a mouth Hello. <laughs> anyway, no, uh, apparently it's just me. I hope you are, you can see it too. Uh, all right, it's me, that's him. Uh, so now, uh, the rock uh, craft is a old British uh, type of craft. And I think we have seen, you know, from the Victorian times, apparently. Now, what it is, is that you will learn how to take the, f the fabric and then to cut it into strips and then kind of wrap them around. This is a way to, um, I think it was, I think I seem to remember the story was because um, a little bit like the Kantha fabric, uh, sometimes when we have got the fabric leftovers, but more importantly, Importantly, um, fabric that has been like from things that we can no any more longer wear. Uh, of course, fabric was in, you know was in expensive. So then in Victoria, then. So then you, like lower income families, they would use it uh, for, you know, like if you have got something left over, you kind of, kind of use it maybe to wrap around it, to wrap, to create rugs, to create homes, you know, especially imagine, you know, the stone for cold uh, stone, stone cold floors. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? Well, uh, you can ask. Right, tune in Sunday at 9 a.m. Uh, you will be able <laughs> tune in and you can find all the information about uh, the wonderful um, person that is going to guess. <laughs> oh, okay, my this is going to write the name again there at the bottom of the screen. Uh, Elspeth, she's going to show us how to use it. 
Right. Uh, I just need to grab a moment, but while, you know, I need to tell you as well to check out your basket. Remember that this is a preview of some items that are going to come under the weekend, but also happy hours and the price will go up and those prices at the end of the hour. 701747 is your item number. 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price for this glorious Ragged Life Christmas Wraith project pack. Right. Uh, there is a way to save money here at her and that's becoming part of the family, becoming a freedom member. Here is Leone to tell you more about it. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom Members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Achanda Freedom today. And of course, uh, being a member of the Freedom Family is kind of an almost like an official, uh, you know, an official way of becoming part of the Hochanda family. But of course, you are, if you are watching Hochanda, you are part of the Hochanda family. And one of the companies that was there from day one, from actually the first hour, and I remember watching that first hour with Barbara, the first hour that, uh, you know, of course, Hochanda broadcast, I was Barbara Gray with Clarity and Groy, and Paul was there as well. Yeah. And you, Ben, was there. Yeah. As well. I uh, know uh, Ben was there. No, Paul wasn't there. Ben, our floor manager, was there in day one. Uh, you know, he's he's an old timer of our time. Our Ben. Anyway, Barbara. Now. Clarity, then they develop Groovy, and now of course they have acquired Parchment, uh, uh, Pergamano. So together they make this fabulous combination of the most beautiful artwork to be translated into, par um, into Parchment. Here you have going to Groovy plates. These ones are one of the largest sizes that you can see. They are the A4. Now, these ones, uh, also this bundle, the one day special that is going to be launched on Sunday at 8 p, uh, sorry, 6 p.m. It's going to be these beautiful three plates as well as 10 sheets of beautiful parchment. Now, there is this color parchment and is the beautiful aqua teal sort of tones. In here, you are getting, and I do adore these ones because if you see it, it's a wrapped collection. And what they do, they allow you to do is to create 3D um, projects and that if you kind of a score well using the scoring grooves you can create amazing amazing uh, elements that are not just uh, a flat per, um, project what it is if you can if I tilt it you can see it can you see that flaps in the sides as well so basically you are creating like a flap but it's also like an envelope so think about making uh, envelopes for Christmas think about uh, making glorious uh, beautiful decora decorations uh, then of course this is an amazing uh, kit that you have got the base in here that you can do those envelopes but then you have got the wrapping elements in here the ribbons if I put it here look at that this will be the wrapping around the beautiful ribbon and so you can do the pico cutting around it perfect for wedding decorations but look at that the beautiful it's as um, it's a special day wedding day wishes with love from me to you on your anniversary and on your engagement. Now, all the sentiments can be put in. You can pick and choose, because that's the one thing that Groovy also allows you to do. Allows you to be your own designer for parchment. Allows you to pick and choose exactly what you want for um, your uh, elements. So, for instance, you see this as template. Well, you can just use it as a template uh, for that wraparound. You want to use those beautiful snowflakes in there. You can use them. You don't need to use the whole beautiful um, plate and that to me is the amazingness of Groovy the fact that you can mix and match then you have got of course you have got in this one you have got the petal fold envelope can you see there 
Now you fold, you fold, and you fold line three. And you have got, don't hide the beauty within. You are beautiful on the inside too, which is from the heart. And can you keep a secret? Have, have a magical, then it's going first, have a magical Christmas, have a magical wedding, you could say. You have got the sentiments that then you can build on it. And that I love the singular circles in which they kind of continue. That can be perfect for almost like lace. Imagine if you are an expert in pico cutting to cut in those intricate elements, the kind of almost diamond shapes in there. There's so much potential on this. You are your own designer with ruby, uh, play, ruby the plates. Now you are getting your parchment in here that is colored. So you are getting 10 sheets of this beautiful aqua tone uh, parchment. Now also, I believe this one is the one that you can raise a little bit of the color if you use uh, an eraser from one side. But don't call me on that. You know what? Do tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for the uh, one day special. And of course, then Barbara or Paul will explain everything about them. 775-447 is your item number for this glorious set of Linda Williams is a Rap collection ruby plates. A43 of them with, of course, the 10 sheets of color parchment. It will have its flexibility, but the state, that means, that, of course, it's welcome to the weekend. So you still, you have got already the option to flexibly it. You have got the uh, the saving of 20 pounds right now but of course that saving that price it's only until the end of the hour because it welcome the weekend this is what we do we preview of um, the what is this coming as the one day specials for Saturday and Sunday 775-447 is the item number now we have got also seven day savers in here and they are from Lavange. Now, which day is today? It is Friday. When, uh, when today, uh, you know, the seven day savers are launched, it's on a Sunday. So you have got about a day and a few hours to get your seven day savers. So please do check out your baskets for them. $9.99, wow, what a bargain. You are saving 20 pounds. And of course, you know Lavange. The Vlash already are very affordable prices, already very, very attractive prices. Now, as a seven day saver, it's even better. Now, that is actually two thirds of the price off, not even how, you know, much better than half price. Now, watercolor cards. I do like a little bit of watercolor card, but you know what? I don't have, I don't, well, maybe one sheet. Oh, I have got a watercolor card, 300 GSM, with a three mil backing board. Now, that means that straight away, you can stamp on it, it will behave as a beautiful watercolor card in that beautiful soft white um, kind of uh, color board. You know, that means that it's not a harsh white. But then already with that chipboard, it means that you can then display it. Nine pounds and 84 pence is the price. And remember, they are eight three in size they are the, the you know big size now also we have got the neat pro mac ma, uh, knitting chart keeper now we all like our planners and keepers and you know planners so this would be absolutely fabulous if you are a knitter to keep all your bits in there the charts so keeping a track of your uh, you know knitting that you're doing 16 pounds and 49 pence is a price eight pounds 50 saving in that one now, paper collection, we have got in here. Now, this is beautiful. Now, they are assorted designs and colors. They are double-sided, and some of them are, I would say, 140 GSM, and some of them feel like a little bit higher. So I would say 190 or 180 GSM. Being double-sided means that you have got always two sides. So each of the, so you have got 10 different designs in the sense that you are, well, 20 designs, and then they are one in each side, so that makes sense. So you are getting 10 different packs and you are getting 10 sheets of each. So, but because it, they are double sided, you will get actually 20 designs in total. Uh, now, and that means how I see it, I say, I don't know about you at home, but in my head, what I see is like, okay, so I get five of each design. So I have got that. And then if I have this design that I like very much, I will use that one uh, uh, as well. You got kind of, you know, the, using the right side. 12 pounds and 99 pence for, uh, you know, 100 sheets, which means that you are only paying 12 pounds, uh, sorry, 12 
pence uh, per sheet or 13 pence actually I should say uh, 655212 is your item number but you know what it is a happy hour deal and that means that the price will go up at the end of the hour. Now, those beautiful lemons, those beautiful peaches, those beautiful pinks and blues, well, they are going to be out in pattern. Now, I love how you are getting tone on tone. That kind of sort of thing, that sort of pattern, it's fabulous if you like to die cut. Why? Because if you like to die cut, especially intricate patterns, you want something, something that it has got a hint of pattern but it's not a strong contrast because if you do with a strong contrast you lose the fine lines of the dye design so having that into your stash is phenomenal 655212 is your item number I'm not forgetting that you need to check out your baskets to make sure that you have got you take the advantage of the happy hour deals now those beautiful ribbons the Christmas ones perfect for wrapping presents perfect for your car making perfect maybe you know, a lot of people nowadays, uh, they are doing those gorgeous, uh, the gorgeous, um, you know, the Christmas bags, you know. So uh, there we have got, so the Christmas, um, um, you know, like... It's not sun tap um, sacks, but you know, you know the ones that, like um, you put the presents in, and then like kind of, it's not the stocking. It's just oh, how it is called. It has got a name anyway. A Santa sack. Yeah, no, give back. Uh, you know what? A Christmas Eve box but you can do it as a sack as well so you put in there the pajamas and a little present for cr the night before Christmas Christmas Eve so you have it so then you can have it and then it's like kind of and then the next morning can be full of presents that's what I was thinking of anyway for perfect for wrapping presents perfect for car making perfect for all of projects 13 pounds and 99 pence is the price you are saving a uh, 10 pounds 481196 is your item number now we have got theory oh this one is serial magic is oh oh sorry good long uh, leather swatches a uh, six by six assorted um, colors and you are getting 12 pieces in total in there uh, 16 pounds and 99 pence is the price and of course you have got that 33 pounds saving 162766 is your uh, uh, item number I like our, we call it the band pack shot. This is the band pack because, of course, he's done. This is the band, band, you know, but band, no, that, that, well, that's Italian, not the Spanish, so I don't know. Anyway, so we have got here, uh, this is glitter felt, and I'm going to show you the gold this time. Now, the, in the bag is yellow. Now, if you had felt and you wanted to glitter it, I don't recommend that to do it at home. It's, it's one of the few projects I would say. Nah. Now, of course, the, of course, you can then die cut it with open shapes, so shapes that are not too intricate that will die cut it. But if you have got something like a steel rule die, that would be amazing. 19 pounds or 99 pence is the price. You are saving 16 pounds, so it's almost uh, half price. You know what? I adore that you are getting so many sheets of felt. You are getting traditional felt. Uh, you are get how many you are getting of one, two, three, four. Uh, so you are getting eight, eight. So that would be uh, so you are getting eight times three. That would be twenty-four. Yes, and then you're getting 24 of the traditional felt, and then you are getting uh, 30 on of the glitter ones. Okay, so that is, and then of course you are getting the three uh, tinsel yarns. So that would be, see, so yeah, because you are getting five of um, the um, the gold and silver, so you are getting two of the gold, two, uh, three of the silver, and then you are getting two of the red in each pack and two of the green and one of the white. So basically, you are getting uh, 30 of the glitter ones. Yeah. Uh, you, so you're getting one of the white, two of the green, two of the red. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it. Right, uh, that is the, the eggs. And then I wanted to give a reminder of that amazing. Shall I kind of be, come here because, because uh, <coughs> now I cannot grab them all together. There's lots, but my eyes have gone immediately to three different sets. You are getting chenille needle. 
which are the sharp um, needles with a big eye. Then you have got tapestry needles, blunt uh, edge, a uh, blunt needle uh, end, and of course the large, uh, large uh, eye. And then you have got the uh, pearls and beading needles, which is extremely fine, so allows you to go through the beads, um, you know, hold. Right, it's been a pleasure as always to be here with you. So D, I'll be tomorrow at three o'clock, but stay tuned overnight with Hachanda. Well, stay tuned because Indigo Blue One Day Special is after the break. It is a repeat. I have to advise you that. And then the Fargamano show at 11 and then Scarlet Rose Crafts at 12. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Agenda.